All right. Good morning, everyone. If you're just getting here, um, I'm going to let everybody kind of settle in for, for just a minute. Um, we are about to cut to Eileen Roche's first presentation of the day. Um, and welcome. Welcome to the allbrands.com mall booth for the last day of the Houston International Quilt Festival that's virtual this year. This has been an amazing weekend so far, and we still have some really, really amazing things to come. So stay where you are. If you haven't yet, go to allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest, and you can take a look at all of the specials and the deals that we have, some of which will be going away after today. So you you do not want to miss those. Um, so in just a moment, like I said, we are going to be headed over to Eileen Roche's first presentation of the day. She is going to be continuing on with her series, uh, How to Quilt with Your Embroidery Machine. If you missed anything from the first two days, that's okay. Both of those videos are available for playback now on our YouTube channel and also on allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest. And B says hello from Western Kentucky. Hi, B. It's really good to have you. Thank you so much for coming and for tuning in today. Um, like I said, we have some really, really fantastic specials today, and you are not going to want to miss them. Um, Cindy says hello from Shelton. Thank you for coming. All right. And so here's Eileen. Eileen Roach, founder of Designs and Machine Embroidery. And I'm so excited to be here today at Quilt Fest, Saturday morning, the last day of Quilt Fest, this crazy 2020 virtual event. Thank you for joining me. And a big thank you to our friends at All Brands for hosting this class. Today, I am going to talk all about turning your embroidery machine into a long arm. I know many of you love your embroidery machines and you have quilt tops that you want to finish. So I'm going to give you some great techniques, show you some products that will help you get the job done in a manageable way. So let's go ahead and get started on the class. Now, we do have a special shopping cart for you um, to purchase all of these event specials at and along the bottom of the screen in a moment or two, you're gonna see a website address that you can go to to take advantage of this special event pricing. And of course, that's a page that we've built for our friends at All Brands and all the people who watch this class. So if you wanna get that special Quilt Fest special pricing, that's where you do it. All right, so we will head over to PowerPoint and I'm gonna to talk to you about turning your embroidery machine into a long arm. And when we do that, we're gonna talk about designs, tools, and technique. So well, not only will we look at some up close images in PowerPoint, we also have uh, a quick point to work on and uh, take a close look at how you really do it. The embroidery designs that are you are going to use to quilt with your embroidery machine are quilting designs. Now they're not beautiful fill designs or applique designs that actually decorate a quilt block or quilt top. These are the stitches that are going to secure the three layers together, creating a beautiful layer of texture all over the quilt. And there's three types of designs. There's custom quilting, nesting designs, and continuous line. Custom designs fit a specific shape. As you can see here, there's two different shapes that fill two different diamonds. One that uh, kind of, you know, pee in a pod in the center in the facets design with the diamond um, straight lines is one. And then the other is that loopy design that just fills that open negative space between those uh, pretty orange and pink diamonds. In this Fleur de Lis table runner, we have two types of uh, custom designs here. We have a stipple that actually fills all the negative space in each block. And then we have uh, quilting designs that are actually accenting the applique itself, but they're still quilting. They're not fill stitches, they're just um, running stitches. So welcome, Kay French. I hope you're in the right place too. This is Eileen Roach with uh, Quilting With Your Embroidery Machine. So thanks for joining me this morning. Custom designs can also be specific shape size like hexagons, circles, squares, and rectangles. 
Um, and nesting designs are a little different. So they are closed designs normally, and they have, are normally evenly spaced and offset, as in this fashion. So here you can see I have several rows, horizontal rows of embroidery designs that are evenly spaced, and the next row is offset to the first and third. So it's often what we see in purchased quilts, you know, like in, in a department store. And they're also, you know, used to, it, for comforters. So it's very common layout. It does add a beautiful, even texture to a quilt, but it doesn't accent the, you know, any piece or seaming that's uh, already on the quilt. Great for whole cloth quilts, for sure. Often in software, I like to uh, view, audition my quilt top, whether that's through a digital image of the quilt or an actual photograph of the quilt top that I will load into software and then debut the quilting designs on it. I can look at color and scale and see what I want to change and how to get the look that I'm really going for. Now, continuous line designs, I think, is the one that we all really want to go for. And that is when an embroidery design connects a thread to thread, right? That's absolutely amazing. If you think about it, where we've come in placement on these machines. Now, a long arm has a very wide pantograph. And, you know, they call it the pantograph. In embroidery, we call that the sewing field. Well, on a long arm, a sewing field can literally be queen, king size, you know, like 120 inches wide by the depth of the throat, maybe 24 inches to 16, something like that. But for embroiderers, we are limited to our hoops. And even though they're getting bigger, like the latest brother hoop is 10 and a half by 16, it's still a small vertical rectangle as compared to a long arm. But don't let that stop you because there's lots of ways to get around the limits of that um, hoop. So in this design, I call this design Happy Flowers. And this is uh, included in my book, Quilt With Your Embroidery Machine in Eight Easy Lessons. This looks like it's one big design, but actually it's four. And you can see here when they're color separated, where um, the top row is made up of two designs that actually link. See where the green connects right to that black uh, thread in the design on the left. And then the bottom designs, they also link, but they do not link to the designs, the row above them. They just nest. So when you have this embroidery design, this quilt design stitched in that fashion all over a large quilt, it just looks like one seamless run of stitching, which is the edge to edge look that we're all going for. Now, the key to making this happen is to have some uniquely digitized embroidery designs that change the first stitch of the design, the direction that the needle will travel throughout the design. So the image on the left shows a right start. And that means when you, uh, of course, you would use a template. We're going to, I'm going to show all you, show you all these techniques over on the machine. You would use a template with a crosshair centering the needle over the crosshair and then advance to stitch number one to confirm that that design is going to stitch right next to the previously stitched design. And by using those right and left designs, that helps you navigate across a quilt because sometimes you'll be going from the right border towards the middle of the quilt and then from the middle of the quilt over to the right border. So you would use you know, the right or left start. Okay, so here we are right on, on the machine. I actually have the same quilt uh, on my machine that we'll get to in a moment. But here you can see how on the template, that line of stitching is actually connecting to the previously stitched design. That's the goal that we're all looking for and easy to do with templates and navigation on your machine. And the same would be true um, when you're right at the machine then you're going to advance to stitch number one and confirm that they're going to connect. Now, you know, how close do we have to be? That's pretty close. It's about a stitch or two apart. Not the end of the world if it doesn't connect. You know, on a quilt, on a quilt like a quilt that's maybe 60 inches wide by 72 inches in length, you're going to do about 50 hoopings, anywhere from 35 to 50 hoopings, depending on your hoop size. 
So that's a lot of precision placement. And, you know, you may relax your standards a little as you get to hooping number 19, let's say. And, you know, I often will, after I do all my quilting, I will go back in at the sewing machine and then just connect a couple stitches with straight stitches if I so desire. Otherwise, nobody's going to know. Okay. So we talked about those two embroidery designs. Look, let's look at some other embroidery designs. Um, I've written recently two quilt books, the flower box quilt, which is that large quilt on the left, and it's all applique, custom quilting, and also all over quilting. But Quilt With Your Embroidery Machine in Eight Easy Lessons is a kind of like a Bible for quilting with your embroidery machine. It discusses how, what types of designs to use, all the tools that you're going to need, how to lay out the embroidery designs, how to do the math so you know what size the design should be to fill that space, depending on your hoop size. And in it comes 35 embroidery designs, all for six by 10 or larger hoops. So you can see we have some uh, full blocks and some custom shaped designs like the hexagons and the squares. And then we also have some of our edge to edge designs, continuous line stitching. So, but in order to make all this happen, I'm a firm believer in using a magnetic hoop. I actually invented the snap hoop monster and that has enabled me and thousands of embroiderers to treat their embroidery machine like a long arm because the beauty of these hoops, there's two great points when quilting with your embroidery um, machine is, they're flat hoops. So you're not struggling with an inner and outer ring and trying to get your quilt in, you know, in that standard hoop under, over the inner and outer ring. It's just flat, super easy to use. When you are uh, working on a quilt, you don't have to remove the frame, the quilt, the, the hoop from the machine. You just lift that top frame and advance the fabric, drop that top frame back down. So that makes speed stitching at the machine because otherwise on a standard hoop you are literally going to have to remove the hoop and the quilt from the machine all 50 times that it takes you to quilt your entire quilt so too much way too much let's go over and take a look at the hoops so when you purchase a hoop you uh if you were to go into all brand store you would find this hoop on you know in their store and it looks just like this. This is the packaging. This is nothing but a sleeve that slides over the box that's inside with all the guts. But if you order it today at this um, event and it's shipped from our Dallas location, then you get it in a white box, same box as the other, just minus that sleeve. It does have its identifying label on the edge, which tells you it's an eight by eight gives you the machine compatibility, and it just has a small label that says this is an eco-friendly box. So I just want you to know that it is identical to the other. Some people say, oh, you know, I didn't get the same thing. Absolutely identical. It's a new move that we are taking. So let's uh, take a look at an actual hoop. They come in many, many different sizes, and they are recognized by your machine. The attachment has been designed so it mimics or actually duplicates your standard embroidery hoops. This is a brother four by four. When this is attached to the machine, the machine knows it's a four by four and acts accordingly. Here is the nine and a half by 14. Same thing, that machine is going to recognize that attachment and allow you to stitch that entire sewing field. Now you'll notice that these hoops come with this corrugated plastic that's in the center. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We call this our, um, our magnetic shield, and we use it to store the hoops. And the reason why we like to do that is they're really strong, and it's hard to separate when it's just magnet on metal. It's possible, but for ease of use, we use that magnetic shield. I also use that magnetic shield to transport the hoop if I'm working on you know, whatever project, a t-shirt or a onesie, whatever I'm hooping, and then I have to move to the machine, I put that magnetic shield underneath the hooped item and carry it to the machine like that. And that way it keeps everything right where we want it. Now, when you are quilting with an embroidery machine, you are also going to need 
a hoop guard. Now, hoop guard is a metal barrier that just snaps right into place on the edge of the hoop. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at how that works. So now on it, I probably wouldn't use a four by four hoop when I'm in uh, doing a quilt, but it's a good, ex you know, um, it's a small hoop to fit this video screen so it shows. Now you'll notice there's a, the, the right angle barrier, and then there's a channel here that is sized the very same size as our magnetic frame. And then I just snap that into place. And when it's attached, it stays in place and fabric like a terry cloth towel, a quilt roll cannot fall into the sewing field. And that's what's really key. We don't want that to, you know, we want to allow this barrier to keep that fabric out of harm's way and out of the sewing field. So I always attach that. You only need one, even on a big hoop. So many people want to know, are, the hoops, um, are magnetic hoops safe for my machine? Well, they most certainly are. And I'm going to show you a uh, scissor test that we often do to illustrate how strong the hoops are. So I can attach a pair of scissors to the wrong side or the magnetic side, the bottom side of the hoop. But then when I attach the hoop to the metal bottom and I try to attach it, it won't stay. It just falls from the bottom. It's just not holding on there. So the reason why it won't hold is because the magnetic force is now stopped by this metal base. So um, it's very safe for your machine. And you know, 25 years ago, when they came out with the first home embroidery machine, we weren't allowed to put a magnetic pin cushion near our machines. But today, you know, the brain of your beautiful computerized embroidery machine is about the size of your thumbnail. Think about your cell phone, right? The cell phone that's in your pocket is, um, you know, 200 times more powerful than those first embroidery machines. So don't worry about that. And when they are thoroughly tested on all machines, thoroughly tested on all machines. So let's go back to PowerPoint so you can, I can show you where you're going to get that hoop. So you can shop right below the video. Now, if you are over on All Brands page, if you just go to that website that's listed at the bottom of the screen, this is where you're going to get the special event pricing. And in that uh, cart, in, in, on that page, locate your machine brand and then your hoop size and the machine model. And that will tell you that it's compatible with your machine. If, it, if you get a, a, a sign that says not available or unavailable, that means it's the wrong size for your machine. Like it's not compatible. For instance, if, if you select a nine and a half by 14 and your machine really only has a five by seven sewing field, that it will not let you select that hoop. Okay. so. What do we do next? Well, our biggest challenge is always handling the bulk of the quilt. Now, as we just discussed, I showed you the different sizes that the hoops come in and so forth. And you should know that your embroidery machine was created to specifically handle the largest sewing field that's allowed on that machine. So for that beautiful top of the line luminaire, that 10 and a half by 16 sewing field, is about brother's commitment to size, right? They're not expecting um, you to quilt a queen size quilt on that machine and handle the bulk of the quilt. You would not use um, a, a like a Mini Cooper to pull a big ski boat, right? That just doesn't make sense. No matter how powerful we think that Mini Cooper is, it's not gonna do, do the job perfectly. So here is a jelly roll quilt that I'm showing you in a standard hoop and how it is positioned on a regular sewing table. So you can see in the front, it's falling down, dragging. In the back, same thing. It's all hanging all over. The only place it's secured at this moment is actually in that standard hoop. And once I press go, it is most likely going to pop out of the hoop just as it has here. And um, so there is a simple solution that you could do at home. It's, it's not perfect, but it is a workaround. So you take an ironing board and you raise the ironing board so it's level with the machine bed, not the table, 
but the machine bed, the surface that your hoop is going to sit on. And then cover that ironing board with some vinyl. In this instance, that yellow fabric is a marine vinyl, so it's got a nice slick surface. And I've covered the whole ironing board and underneath the sewing machine. The cardboard tube that is in this image is there to illustrate that the ironing board should be level with the top of the machine bed. So that you don't need the cardboard tube. You just wanna make sure that it's level. And then when you are working on your quilt, now you can see that the back of the quilt right now, I'm like in the center of the quilt on the right hand side of the quilt. And you can see a very large portion of that quilt is supported by that ironing board. But the front, not so much, not so much. So you would still have to sit at the machine probably and lift that quilt so that it's not dragging during the embroidery process. But working in that fashion um, spurred me to create a tool that was really the right tool for the job. Like go out and get a, you know, a, a large truck to pull that ski boat, right? So that's why I invented the weightless quilter. And the weightless quilter is a floor frame that sits underneath your sewing furniture and has flex poles that stand up from the floor frame and clamp onto the quilt. And it literally sways with the quilt. So let's take a look at how it sets up. It has four floor bars. And it is, we include four bars in case you are using it for free motion quilting. You know, there's lots of options that people want to use the weightless quilter for. But for embroidery, we show three poles, three floor bars here, but frankly, I always just use two. I use the one on the left and the one on the back. And then corner brackets, you'll see, are in each corner. And even when I just use the two bars, I do use brackets on uh, all through the corner and then all two ends of those poles, but bars, sorry. And then there's my flex poles. They fit into those floor brackets and uh, they have fabric clamps on the other end that are gonna hold the quilt. So let's take a look. Here's the machine and here it is with a quilt. And you can see now my quilt is flat. It's held out all behind the machine and it could also be forward depending on where you are stitching the quilt at that time. So why don't we go over and take a look at the quilt. Let's go take a look at the weightless quilter. Now, the long shot is that you can see it is uh, set up, surround the machine. And you know what? I'm, I already have my embroidery design uh, up on the screen. So I'm just going to hit the trace so that you can see how this weightless quilter moves during the embroidery process. See how it's just moving the quilt? It's allowing the quilt to move with the hoop. It's not fighting it, it's just staying right with it. And so once it finishes this, and I'm not right center where I wanna be, so let me pop in there. First, I wanna show you the box that it comes in. It, it's small, it, and it's, so it's very portable, stores easily, it's just long poles and, and some floor bars. And here's a flex bar, a flex pole, and you can see how flexible it is. So it's fiberglass and it will bend with the quilt. It won't fight the quilt. You get eight of these. You get four that are skinny and four that are thicker. And the thicker ones are more rigid. They still flex, but not as much. And that's for very large quilts and heavy quilts like minky and flannel, that kind of thing. So, uh, now I have my embroidery template that I print out of software positioned on my quilt. And my job now is to use the, uh, well, select the right design. I don't have the right design here. So let's go back and do that. We will uh, hit OK and return. I'm going to delete that. And go back into the USB and select right happy. There we go. And because I'm now working on the right, portion of the quilt, I'm actually going to rotate this. We never mirror image embroidery designs in this fashion um, because we, you know, we just want to rotate it. We're now, my quilt's been rotated, so that's what I want to do next. Now that R, that letter R, I don't know if you can see that, but if we switch cameras, I can let you see um, 
pretty close there. That letter R is telling you that that's the right start of the embroidery design. And you won't actually stitch it. It is a satin stitch letter R and you won't actually stitch it, but it's there. So you have a graphic reference on your screen. If it wasn't there, you wouldn't know what it was. So you wouldn't know if it was a right start or a left start. So now I'm going to um, use my, my jog keys to move my needle dead center. You know how that is, right? <laughs> Once you hit it carefully and then when you let go, okay, there we go. So here we are and you can see I'm centered. I've already positioned it so the start is right where I want it. And I'm going to lift the presser foot and then release that template. Now these templates, I print in software and we have free software that you are able to download and uh, use from our website to print templates or size embroidery designs. And that's called the Embroidery Tool Shed. And um, this paper is print and stick target template paper. So it's tacky. It has a piece of protective paper on the wrong, on the other side of it. And when I put it into the computer printer, it just prints out my template and then I separate the two layers and I can use this design to stitch all of my embroidery on this quilt, the entire quilt. So now last thing I do is make sure I'm taut in the hoop, right? I just feel that fabric and I wanna make sure that there's nothing underneath, no folds or pleats, but I have basted, pin basted my quilt. So um, I know that it, there aren't any big folds or pleats. So then we'll just go ahead and let that roll. And then we'll switch back to the big camera so you can see how that's going to sway as we do the embroidery. I'll just kind of stay out of harm's way. But you also see how that hoop guard allows, let me see if I can slide in here, um, how that hoop guard creates that barrier and allows the uh, quilt roll to stay out of the sewing field. It just keeps it out of harm's way. And so it's so easy to just let the machine do its stitching. You have the bulk of the quilt is you know, managed with the weightless quilter. You have the magnetic hoop. It's gonna make it so easy to re-hoop. And then you have the hoop guard that will stop the quilt from rolling into the sewing field. And once this stops, we will then advance the fabric. And you know that's what everybody wants to know how to do for sure, because it, that's the biggest challenge. But you know, I'm just gonna lift that top frame, store it over the head of the machine, and I won't have to worry about it as I advance. So we'll give that a minute to stitch. It's not very long, they're super fast. And I guess I could move that big camera out of the way so you get a better look at it. It's almost done. And remember, it's not actually gonna stitch that letter R. It will stop after the first color and then I'll just go back to zero so that you know I don't actually wanna stitch the letter R. It is a separate color in the design so the machine will absolutely stop in order to uh, change thread, which we won't need to do. So Happy Flower is a nice swirly design that just travels across the field and it really adds a lot of texture to the quilt. And yet it's very forgiving because it's concave and convex. There are no hard lines, which can be very challenging to align on a quilt. So if you're a beginner, um, that's these types of Quilting designs are the right ones to go with. Soft, flowing curves that, you know, are very forgiving. So we are almost done. One little swirl, a couple more swirls in that tiny flower, and then it will uh, stop and we'll advance the quilt. And then I'm gonna show you how I baste my quilts because that's a pretty fun technique. I actually use pull noodles. And so, uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's a real um, time saver and it's also a uh, keeps you off the floor so you're not crawling around on the floor. 
But notice how that how that hoop guard just keeps that quilt roll from falling in. I don't even have it rolled up very special or anything. Okay, so now we're just gonna lift this top frame and I just hang it over the edge of, over the hood of the machine. And then I'm going to position my template and I guess we'll go um, to the right over here. And I'll just slide it underneath. And I'm going to take a moment to position it like we sh like I showed you in the PowerPoint. And you know, it's a little fussy and it's not a whole lot. And I wanna make sure I don't have any pins in that sewing field. So I'll remove them as we go. This one will probably get caught down here. And I always close them as I go because I find that um, it's just, you know, easier than I just pick them up and put them in, their in the tin and off we go. Okay, so one more time. The one thing about these tacky um, templates, I mean, they're great, but when they're brand new, when you've only used it for like one or two hoopings, boy, are they tacky. All right, so now in our design, we're going to go back to zero. And that's going to move the needle so that it's at the center of the design. And then with the top frame hovered, I'm just moving my quilt so that I am centering that needle over that crosshair. And I wanna take a moment and make sure I'm square. And there's several ways to do that. One is by eyeball. Another would be to maybe use seam lines. If you, uh, this is a cheater quilt, so I don't really have any seams. But I'll use the jog keys to advance, oh, not advance, but move the hoop. And then I'll show you in the trace feature that I will then just go north. And I wanna keep an eye on my template. And if I am stay, staying centered over my crosshair, then I know I'm good to go. So that's pretty close. It's only off a tiny, like maybe a millimeter. And then I like to go back to center and then I'll stitch my design. Now, if, you know, you can take a moment if you wanna reposition the quilt on the weightless quilter, like, Maybe if you have some strain on one corner, you would release a fabric clamp and uh, you know change the position of the fabric. Isn't that fun? So easy. It's so easy, really it is. Okay, so I hope that you, uh, yeah, Kay French, you can't get down on the floor anymore. I know, I can't get down on the floor anymore either. So you are gonna love this next technique. So let's switch over to the overhead cam. And now I did not invent this, but I just thought I would show you how to do it. So here is, I've been doing this for years. This is a pull noodle and I cut a small section just to show you a small section. But when I do a big quilt, I get you know two pull noodles and I tape them together. So you, with just packing tape, that's what I use, clear cellophane tape. So we're going to take our quilt top. Now, this is just a piece of fabric, but we're gonna pretend that this is our quilt top. And just like you were um, gonna add, you know, your quilt top to the sandwich, it would be right side up, right? So we'll lay this fabric on our work surface, right side up, and then I'll pull the edge the straight edge and just use the pins. That's the beauty of the pool noodle. You can use straight pins and just pin right into it. Now I do suggest that you pin all the way in, push them all the way in because on a big quilt, you're gonna have several pins and um, you know they if they're sticking out, they'll make a little bit of a mess. Now, some people like to take a ruler and draw a sharp line um, so that you can align the edge of the fabric with that sharp line. And on a big quilt, that's probably a good idea because pool noodles can tend to bend, you know? So if you have a straight line as a reference, that's very helpful. I also put my poles from the weightless quilter inside the pool noodle to keep it rigid during this process. Okay, so then I'm just gonna roll. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the time to make sure it's nice and flat and I've already you know, prepared my quilt top by pressing it, making sure everything was exactly as I wanted. It's my finished quilt top. And there you have it. There's my quilt top. Now I've already taken the time to do my backing. 
and the backing we roll wrong side up. So here's the difference in this is the backing wrong side up, quilt top right side up, just like you were making a quilt sandwich, you know, rolling around down on the floor. Okay, so we'll start with our quilt back and we'll allow, you know, leave as much, roll out as much quilt as your work surface will allow you to. I actually do this on the dining room table and I do have a, some leaves that go into my dining room table. I can make it about a hundred inches long if I need it, but most of my quilts are 65, no more than that. Okay, then we take our batting and we're going to lay our batting over our backing. And I always cut my batting larger than my quilt top and backing to allow a uh, space for hooping because when I want to quilt right to the edge, I'm probably going to need something out there so I can hoop it. So that's what I do right to uh, a couple inches beyond. And then I take my top and you do want to take a moment here and make sure that you are aligning the top with the backing and then you unroll it. And then you take your pins and you start pinning. Now, I, I don't baste with the pins like normally, if you were doing this on a, on a sewing machine, you would do about a hands width apart. I, you don't need that many when you're quilting with a monster hoop because the monster hoop is really the, um, the tool that is going to add the tension to the quilt. So um, I don't, I don't put that many pins in it, but we'll put a couple more. And I just realized I didn't have all my pins out. So we'll take a moment to uh, grab my pins. And I do like to use this little tool. It's called Quick Clip. Um, and you get that almost anywhere, any quilt shop boy, that's awesome for closing, you know, your, your safety pins. And, um, you know, when you're doing a whole big expanse, super easy, you just use that little tool and it closes it for you super fast. So I'll do one more pin and then I'll show you how we're going to advance to the next section. And you would just apply this very same technique on any size quilt, any size quilt at all. So um, I then advance the quilt off the table. I let it fall off the table, flip back the batting and pull back the backing roll smooth the batting in place, smooth that in place, roll out the quilt top, start pinning again. And you'll just do that the whole width of the quilt, the whole length. So fun, super easy. Yeah, okay. So what do we have next? Oh, okay. Um, let's move over to PowerPoint so I can show you what another tick, trick that I love to use the weightless quilter for is binding. You know, the binding is the last part of a, a quilt. It's the very last thing that you have to do. You've already pieced it. Maybe you've done applique. All of those special touches that you added to your quilt and you quilted it, you possibly added a label and the binding is the last thing. And I'll tell you that I find that to be pretty laborious and the quilt is very heavy at that point it, because it has all that thread in it. But that weightless quilter will hold that quilt up so that I can just run down each side with the binding and it makes that work so easy. Just love it. Yep. Just love that. So if you purchase the weightless quilter, you know, everybody's sewing room is a little bit different. The setup is a little different. So this image, this graphic here illustrates the setup that I have in my studio right here. So that's a pretty small table that I'm on. It's about 36 inches in width. And so my weightless quilter surrounds my small table. Of course, because we're embroiderers, our hoop is to the left side of the machine. So that's where my weightless quilter is going to go, right at the left edge of the table and behind it. And uh, it is 32 inches in length, each floor bar. And you know, your, most of your tables are not 32 inches in depth, right? So it's okay. The weightless quilter is going to go around it, you know, outside of it. Now, if you have a larger table, you may, this is like a six or eight foot table, just a folding table. And your machine would most likely be centered in that table. 
So now I put the weightless quilter floor bars underneath the table. Super easy to do. You know, you just want it to be near the pantograph, near the hoop. You don't want it so far away from the hoop that the fabric is straining to hold, you know, that the weightless quilter is straining to hold the uh, quilt. And then maybe you have, you know, beautiful furniture that is uh, very heavy and it possibly could be all the way on the floor without any legs or feet or casters. So in that case, then your uh, weightless quilter would also go behind and to the left of your furniture. The crossbars are, the floor bars are three quarters of an inch in height. So you just have to make sure if you want to put the weightless quilter under your furniture, do you have at least three quarters inch clearance? And frankly, it should probably be an inch clearance so that you know you can get it under there and get it out, right? Now, many people like to use the weightless quilter for free motion quilting. And, you know, when many machines are made so that you sit at it perpendicular and um, then the quilt surrounds the machine on the right and the left. And then your throat is, you know, away from you. So in that instance, you could use the, oh, I'm sorry, the weightless quilter on uh, both the right and the left and also on the back. And many people actually at this point will use two floor bars behind the machine to make that expanse wider so that it holds a bigger quilt. But uh, it most certainly takes all that pressure and all that weight and the strain that you put on your shoulders and your upper back when you are trying to maneuver a quilt during either free motion quilting or even as you're trying to rehoop and so forth on the um, on uh, on an embroidery machine. So if you don't have any questions and you know it's kind of funny teaching this class because there's two platforms. I know many of you are watching from all brands page and maybe you're typing questions in that page but I don't see them. Uh, at all. So if you have questions for me, you would have to come over to this shopping page and watch the video there. That's where I'm seeing your comments and can answer. And that's also where that special pricing is. So, you know, every Thursday at one o'clock, I do a Facebook live and a YouTube live. It's a simultaneous broadcast. And we talk all things embroidery, all things embroidery. And uh, we call our broadcast between friends. And in 2020, we every once a month we gave away a design and it we called them the dime doors so let's take a look at those dime doors in january uh we had kind of an urban door with you know brick and a, a dark brown door a little bit of snow some skis stashed in the corner and then February was like a snowy cabin with a snowman and a Valentine's box, a post office box. And then March was a celebration of my Irish heritage. And you'll notice the address on the door is 317 in recognition of St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. And, um, and then April was the potting shed. So cute. I mean, these little embroidery designs are, well, they're six by 10 inches. They fit six by 10 hoops and they're free on our website. So you can still go get them. You can just go over to our website and download all 12 doors. Kay French wants to know, is there special pricing on our hoops? And on Bernina, there absolutely is. If you go to that website, shop designs, dot com pages dime presents quilting with an embroidery machine you'll be taken to the special event pricing and you can find your bernina hoops there in may as we were you know struggling and we still are with covid we i kind of gave a nod to uh essential workers and that little sign in the emergency room in the emergency uh ward sign says heroes work here June was a nod to many people who celebrate wedding anniversaries, and uh, it's a church door and that beautiful rose trellis that you know travels surrounds the door. And July, I, you know, I'm a I'm a beach girl, so that was a nod to the beach house that I wish I was in, right? And then uh, for those of you who don't get to the beach but have uh, lots of fun memories at the lake the August edition of the door was a lake house. And then in September, we had an awful lot of fun with a gnome and that tree trunk shows uh, some really special techniques on quilting with your embroidery machine. We added some 
tool to the door, some netting to the door to uh, create some depth to that door. And yet it's really just all one piece of fabric. That brown, the whole tree trunk is one piece of fabric, but some manipulation between Trapunto and that tool. And all the instructions for the doors are included in your download. And when you download it, it's in multi-formats. October most certainly was a nod to Halloween. We had little mice and spiders and a big spider web and a brooms, which super fun. And then in November, you know, uh, all the hay was in the barn. So it was a good time of year to give uh, recognition to the American farmer. And what December wouldn't be without gingerbread. So I thought that was a great way to close out 2020. But I want to show you what some of there are uh, people who join us on Facebook have done with these doors. And oh my goodness. So every week I search the, the web, really social media, Facebook, and I type in hashtag dime door and people have posted their version of the door. And then I show those versions to everyone on Thursdays. So here's a good look at November. The one on the left is my November. And then Robin Madsen Rhodes, she did her version. Notice she's got a pig flying in the sky. How fun is that? But she actually made her doors open and she put an animal inside. So how great is that? You wouldn't believe the ingenuity that we have witnessed through 2020 by people doing these doors and just joining along and having a lot of fun. So uh, I hope you'll take advantage of it. The doors are going to be up on that website until New Year's Eve 2020. And after that, poof, they're gone. In 2021, we have a whole new program that you can enjoy and it will be a free download every month. And we will start that on January 7th, Thursday, January 7th. So I hope you'll join me there. So I'd like to give a big thank you to our friends at All Brands and everybody at Quilt Fest. This has really been a delight to teach this class here in the comfort of my own studio. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you take advantage of the special event pricing. It's only here today. All right, everyone. So that was Eileen Roche's first presentation of the day. That was how to quilt with your embroidery machine. Now, just to be, um, just so you know, we have the dime specials on dimes website. So normally I would tell you to go to allbrands.com for these deals. However, um, we are going to ask that you go over to shop dot designs that's d z g n s dot com and you can shop all of those specials there um and thank you so much jean for tuning in i agree i eileen has really really amazing presentations she is such a great teacher um and lorraine yes you're very welcome we loved hosting eileen this weekend and if you missed this class don't worry, she is going to be doing another class at the end of the day um, called Hooping 101. And you'll be able to learn a little bit more about Dimes Hooping, um, all of their hooping products. And if you missed a little bit of this one and you are just tuning in, don't worry. After we go off the air this evening, all of this will be available on playback at allbrands.com slash quiltfest, or you can find it all on our Facebook or our YouTube channels. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, if you just showed up, hi, happy Saturday. Uh, my name is Callie and this is the allbrands.com mall booth at the virtual Houston Quilt Festival this year. Um, so thank you all so very much for tuning in. Thank you so much, Thea, for tuning in. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. So we are gonna be, um, we have a really packed schedule today. So I'm very, very excited to share what we have today with all of you. Um, we will be doing a bunch of giveaways later on in the day. And we're not, we're gonna be giving away gift cards, but we're not just gonna be giving away all brands gift cards. We will be giving away some products as well. Um, thank you so very much, Donna, for tuning in. We really, really appreciate it. Um, 
So like I said, we are going to be giving a bunch of stuff away. Uh, please stay tuned and stay watching. While you're at it, you can hop on over to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and you can shop all of the deals that we have going on today. Um, and you can uh, just go take a look at everything else we've got going on as well. Um, so we are going to head to a very, very quick commercial break. It's only five minutes. So sit back, stay tuned, and we are going to be coming back with Hoop Tech products. And well, they'll be telling you a little bit more about their products as well. In the meantime, uh, go ahead and sound off in the comments. Let's get a little roll call. Where are you all watching from? Because I love to know that information. I'm just, I'm always so curious. Carolyn says, hi from South Dakota. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Um, and thank you all again so very much for tuning in. Like I said, we will be going to a very quick commercial break. So stay tuned and we will be right back. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
Welcome back, everyone. Uh, during the commercial break, I saw that you were all tuning in from different parts of the country. That's so exciting. So thank you all again so much for joining us for this last day of the virtual Houston Quilt Festival. My name is Callie and this is the allbrands.com mall booth. So again, thank you. Thank you so very much for coming. We will be broadcasting all day today. We've been going for about an hour now, but we have about seven more to go. So you have plenty of time to tune in, take a look at all of the specials that we have going on and uh, enjoying the show on this lovely Saturday. And I saw a lot of y'all saying it was very cold where you are. It's pretty cold over here too. This is, uh, I'm, we're located in Baton Rouge, or at least I'm, I'm in Baton Rouge right now. And it is, it's pretty chilly. Um, so now we are going to bring on Justin and Joe from Hoop Tech, and I want y'all to stay until the end because we will be giving away a $10 All Brands gift card at the end of their demonstration. So let me bring them on really quick. Hello. Hi, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Hoop Tech products. We're doing pretty oh, good. It's a nice today? sunny day, a little chilly, but it's a nice sunny day. And uh, we're happy to have you all along with us today. Well, we plan to all show right, so what you, you got for us today, Joe? So on a lot of different items with our paddle type flat clamps. I'm uh, going to show you how to do a, a, a daddy's little girl on a onesie. We've got uh, a, a sleeve warmer. We've got a sock. We've got how to sew uh, designs on a bag. Uh, we've got various shoes and boots. Uh, we've got gloves. We've got koozies and we've got uh, uh, karate belts here. Uh, we have products for all these things. We'll also be showing you how to do uh, like name tapes for uh, military, uh, luggage tags, dog collars, sides of hats, uh, and pockets on, on dress shirts. So we have many different products that uh, uh, are specialized for different areas and well, uh, let's start out with uh, how we would sew the, uh, the the onesie here. So everybody always likes to get it placed just just perfect. And a little a little trick that I do is is I print out the exact design from our uh, embroidery software, and then I place it exactly where I want it on a onesie because uh, when you put it on the clamp, it, it moves around. You can't really see where it's at. So once I get this this uh, uh, place like that, then, I, then I'll go over to my clamp and let me see, I think I'm going to use a, I think I'm going to use this one here, which is our stronghold large window clamp and I'll open it up and here's my backing and a little trick that I've done to hold my backing in place is I'll, I'll put it on my clamp like this and I'll fold it over and then I'll take a little piece of tape and I'll tape this, I've, which is what I've done here. So now when I slip the backing on here, I don't have to worry about my backing moving around. So now what I'll do is I'll just slip this onesie on like this. See, now I can locate exactly where I want it to sew. And if you notice, I got the little crosshairs in the center of my design. I just lo locate my uh, needle right there, and then I'll take this off, and I'm ready to sew. Now, how these attach to the machine uh, is with an adapter bracket like this. So we have a, a, a PR655 here. I'll show you how it attaches. And all of the other clamps will attach in a very similar fashion. So I'll take the gray screws out like this, like this <laughs> and I'll put the adapter on like that. And then I'll put these little knobs back in. And that's how, that's how they attach to the machine. And then, and then you're ready to sew. So that's just an easy way of doing a light garment like that. Um, we also have, and this is called our, our strong clamp, strong large window clamp. 
and this is a little smaller version. Now this one, if you notice, it had a knob to tighten down the clamping windows. Now the clamp, what the knob does is it gives you a little bit more adjustability during your clamp. It's not just on or off. You can tighten it down, move it around, tighten it down a little bit more. Uh, we also use those on our shoe clamps uh, and uh, it, it, cause a lot of shoes are very thick. So it takes a little bit of time uh, to get it uh, clamped down. So this is our, this is our uh, glove clamp size. And uh, what we have here is we need a piece of backing. So if you take a, a regular piece of cap backing and you cut it down like this, and then you cut off the corners like this, then what we can do is there's a slot right in the front of this window and I stick it up through the bottom like this and then I fold this in like that and now I'm ready to put on whatever it is that I want to sew. So it might be that I want to do a, a glove. So I'll just open my glove up and slide it on like that and then I'll bring my lever down. If I want to tighten it, I move it clockwise position. If I want to loosen it, I go the other way. So, and this is how, so now, now the, 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 you got plenty of stretch in the glove here, but you can sew your design. So another thing you can do with a window of this size is uh, you can do small areas on bags and things like that. Uh, here's one of our sample bags that we've done. And you can see that we've sewn in many different places. Uh, this particular area up here is very small. And we did it on the glove clamp like that. Now, what I've done, again, like what I, I did with the, uh, the, the onesie, is I put my design right exactly where I wanted it. And then I used it when I loaded it up uh, to line it up. But here is the some backing and then you would take this area here and put it on and then clamp it down and now you're ready to sew that area there so I did that I did this corner with that I did this corner with that with hoop tech products and it's just it's a nice way of getting in a little tight spots uh, you can also do gloves. I mean, uh, you can also do socks with it. So this is a sports sock. I think it's a baseball sock. Again, you slip it on like that. You clamp it down and you're ready to go. It attaches to your machine the same way that the Stronghold clamp does. So if you, uh, you want to do shoes, we've got our shoe clamp. This was our original flat paddle type clamp that was designed for soccer shoot. And it has the, the knob uh, tightening and loosening. And when you loosen it up, it opens it up. So if I wanted to do a shoe like this, now these don't require backing because shoes are so stiff that, that the backing is really irrelevant. But the way you do this is, is you find a spot that you want and then you clamp this down and tighten it and now you're ready to sew it's a good strong hold now we recommend that when you're doing a shoe because there's not a lot of room there your sewing arm still has to be inside the shoe uh, put it on and do a trace and and then watch the window and watch the shoe within that window very closely if the shoe does not move while it's going through the trace then it won't move uh, when it's actually sewing so but you will see the, the shoe move back and forth like this because it is there's not a lot of room in there and uh, it takes a it takes a lot of stress on the machine but anyway uh, so that's a way that you can, you can uh, do shoes like this uh, this is a heavy shoe this is a very heavy duty clamp we can also do lighter weight shoes in a in a uh, strong hold clamp the same one that we did on uh, uh, for the for the onesie we'll take this off 
And I'll get my backing out of there. Get my backing on here. Hey Joe. Yes. While you're uh, while you're changing those, we actually have some questions from viewers. Um, so we have Melanie asking if these are for home single needle embroidery machines. Now these are for multi needle embroidery it's machines. Multi -needle. Right? That's correct. Okay, and we also have a question from Karen who would like to know if you can use these on a persona. Uh, yeah, yes, you can use them on a persona. Uh, All right. The, the persona is very similar to the PR machines and the baby lock machines. And so they will fit if there's enough travel. All right, awesome, thank you. <laughs> so here's a canvas high top gym, uh, shoe and we would slide that in like this. And then clamp this down. And now we have this whole area to sew. So it, it holds real well. And uh, generally the canvas shoes have got a little bit more room in them than, than stiff soccer type shoes. But that's, that's uh, something else that we can sew in this stronghold clamp. Uh, we also have uh, other options on how to mount these. What, what I've been showing you is an adapter that goes onto your drive bar. And if you have a multi-head machine or you want to you want to do these tubular, uh, like you do a hoop, we can also adapt them to a tubular type design, which is the same as same distance and everything as you would have on a regular type hoop, except that. We, we can mount it in this way, which is quick change in and out, uh, uh, the same way you do a regular plastic hoop. Uh, another product that we have that does straps and webbing, dog collars, leashes, uh, luggage tags, and things like that. This is our, this is our uh, strap clamp. And what it is, is it has two, two clamping sides, one here and one here, and the fabric is stretched between it. So if I was going to do like this army name tape, I put it in one side like this, and I clamp it down nice and tight. Then I, then I pull and stretch this out very tightly, and then I lock this side down. Now this is in here extremely it's, it's stretched out extremely taut and you don't have to use backing in here and, and it comes out almost the same on the front as it does on the back because it's stretched out so so tightly uh, so this is this is our uh, army name tape so what machines can it be used on uh it can be used on any of the machines really we have, we have adapters for the, the brother machines and and all the larger you know Tajima, Melco, PRs, and our, I mean uh, Bairds and, and those. Uh, we can also do this is a dog collar. Callie might have a question. All righty. Yeah, we have another question from uh, from Ruth. She wants to know if she can use these clamps on her SWF yes. embroidery machine. Yes. All right. We have a. Uh, Almost all of our products that we make, we make the basic clamp or cap frame or whatever. It's uh, it's generic, and then we adapt with adapters on all the clamps and slim lines and things like that that we have. We have different adapters that bolt onto those uh, uh, particular clamps that adapt to your particular machine. So you know, if we look at it like here, this is for this is for a PR. That's what the bracket looks like for a PR baby lock. Uh, uh, this one here is for uh, for Tajima, and then we have them for Melcos and SWFs and ZSKs and everyone. So we have many, many, many different uh, uh, adapters. So they, they it will work for a lot of uh, different machines. So if we're going to do a dog collar, it's it's, it's going to be the same way. This is a this is a webbing nylon webbing uh, we we clamp one side in place now this is a lot thicker so i'm going to back this off a little bit 
and then stretch this out and then lock this slide down and now I can now I can sew this so that's a very secure hold on here and uh, this will this will work from a very very narrow this is only a half inch wide and you can still get a lot of lettering on it, but it's uh, it's it's very it's very secure. And this, of course, is a luggage tag. We we made these for a company that makes a lot of these out in California, and they 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 buy blanks like this, they embroider them, and then they they put them together, add a few things, and then this is what attaches to your luggage so that you can find it at the airport when we when and if we we fly again. So, <laughs> so who knows? Now we also have another clamp that's very similar and this is the side of cap so if you notice it's, it's a lot like this except that it has an offset here and this extra spring piece right here this was designed to hold the side of a cap in an area, in an area on the side of the cap uh, doing it flat so if i had this cap like this i wanted to do this particular logo on it I just opened up the snapback. I would put in a piece of backing. Let me see that's not big enough. Where's my backing for that? I thought I had it. There you go. I'll put my backing in, then. I turn my sweatband out and I put my cap on like this. The bill goes in that little raised area and this edge here allows you to line it up very accurately with that with that uh, sweatband. See now I just I'll stretch it out flat. There's nothing worse than getting a design on there that's, that's not straight. So that's how we line that up and we can do a cap back like this uh, flat. You can also do di different areas on bags as well and anything else that you can you can you can clamp in here. In, in what instances would you use a flat clamp over a cap driver? If I had we have a large customer that makes a lot of hats uh, for the sporting industry and they put their logo on there. Sometimes they import the hats and they just want to put their logo on uh, and they can do this on a flat setup on any machine. They don't have to have a, a cap driver mounted or anything else. Plus, it, it frames up very, very quickly. Uh, so I think that that's the advantage of it. And if you don't want, you know, if you if you don't want to put your driver on, uh, then you can just you can just throw this up here. You can even do it tubular uh, with that tubular arm adapters, and uh, you can do what you need to do on the side and 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 move on. So. Okay, Callie has another question. Yes, we have another question from a viewer. So Thea really loves all of these, and she was wondering if these are available as a combo set, or do you have to buy each one individually? Well, we we have been selling these as as a, a la carte as each each individual. That way, you know, we don't want to force the customer to buy a whole bunch of them. Uh, some they may use, some may, they may not use. Uh, so uh, each embroider knows their product line, they know their customer and they know which one would, would help them out the, the most. So, well, we don't, we can put a set together for you, but, but we don't necessarily uh, sell them as sex. Uh, out of the ones that you've shown, is there one that's very versatile, would you say? Like the, maybe the stronghold? I think probably a stronghold. This will give you uh, a large sew field. It's, it's, it's not as strong as the shoe clamp for doing real heavy leather uh, shoes or uh, plastic shoes or soccer or cleats for football. Uh, but canvas shoes. canvas shoes is fine. And then, you know, you got, you got a nice size uh, sewing window. You have an adjustable clamp tension on here. Uh, so it is, it is pretty versatile. Uh, now, if I was going to do, let's say I was going to do a, uh, a, a this, boot, this boot here, See, I could just, I could slip this on. 
you know, very easily locate it where I want and tighten this down. So I can do, I can do this boot. Uh, we did the front of the onesie with this. Uh, you could do spots on the backpack. You could do, yeah, you could do spots on the backpack. Yeah, like, like, like this here. That, that could go on there like that. I would obviously unbutton that, but this would fit on here and then, and in a lot of other places. Uh, if I wanted to do, if I wanted to do, uh, some initials or something on a strap, um, uh, because it, this is adjustable, uh, this is quite thick, but see, I could still get through and put, uh, uh, initials or a number or, uh, even a small logo on, on there. Okay. Yeah. Even, that might be a, that might be stretching it a little bit, but that's on the that's on the handle, and as long as uh, your design wasn't too big, you could probably get away, get away with doing that as well. So we do have we still have koozies, which we can also do on this clamp. This is cooler neoprene cooler sleeves and they slip on like this actually this one was done on a clamp like that so you can see that that this is like a big rubber band but even if i'm moving this all over the place the so feel here is it moving so the size of your design really depends on on how large your sewing arm is and how much power your uh your machine has to drive it uh, this is one that's already sewn together and here's here's some that uh, that are velcro opened up. You can open these up, uh, and these can, these will slip it very easily like this, and you can clamp that like that. So it's a very it's a very strong hold. What else can we show you today? Um, this is a a beginner's lightweight karate belt. We can do on the strap clamp. We actually we also have a, a heavier, a larger version of this. This is an eight-inch version. We also have a thirteen-inch version for uh, adult large uh, clamps or, or, or uh, karate belts. So we have another viewer question. Um, Annie, uh, watching over on YouTube, wants to know if this clamp or the clamps need to be screwed onto the table. Can they be screwed onto the table? Do they need to be? Oh, no, no, no. These, this is oh, this is only here uh, for demonstration purposes. Do you want to hoop on the machine so they can see? Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, I don't have a program in here. Let me uh, get a quick... Quick program. So Joe is going to show you how to hoop on the machine, which is typically how people do it. Uh, he's simply demonstrating on the table today, just so that you have an unobstructed view of what he's doing. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit. I'm going to open the clamp up. Uh, I'm going to get some backing. Mount it here. And do on there just to keep it you know, let's let's say we want to sew on the some initials or something right on the strap of this uh, visor so i'll put my backing on like this and i'll slide my strap in here like that and i'll square it up a little bit i'll tighten it down then I'll position, I'll position my, oops, there you go, and that's, that's how, now I would, I would hit so and go. Okay. So we have a little bit of a clarifying question from Annie again. She was talking about the yellow clamps to hold the hoops. Um, but I'm assuming the answer is still the same. Like that's 
the yellow are you talking about this i believe so yeah okay these 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 are the uh, uh basically demonstrator modules that we use to demonstrate our products at the shows and things since we we, we want to be able to quickly slip them on and off uh and so this is not typically how you would set it up. You would do it just like I did over here. You would put it on the machine, slide it on, clamp it down. Uh, and so. And, and so. Are these available? Yes, they are. You know, we have them. But most people just, just uh, you know, clamp it up right on the machine. Yeah. Did, did that answer the question? I believe it did. Um, Annie, I hope that answered your question. But if not, um, go ahead and you can clarify in the comments and we'll we'll keep we'll keep firing off questions. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Another thing that we'd like to show you, uh, it's not a flat clamp, but it is it is a, it's pocket clamps that we have. Now these work on a driver. Uh, and what they do is they give you a little bit of extra room inside a, uh, a finished uh, dress pocket. So we have a small little mini framing gauge that, that supports these, that this fits on like this. And if we wanted to do a pocket like on this black shirt, we've done this logo. Now this is not sewn through, but it's sewn on the front of the pocket. I would take and cut a piece of backing to fit inside the pocket like this. And you slide that in and then you loosen this little wrench and this goes on the gauge with the backing like that and then you tighten this down and it has a, a rubber uh, non-slip gasket on the on the upper side here which holds which holds the fabric so then this comes off and you can see you've got room here on the inside you've got your backing supported and you're able to do a, a fairly good size logo uh, on the front of the pocket now depending on the kind of machine you have the larger the sewing arm the larger the pocket needs to be or the smaller the design but this does give you an option of doing uh, logos on the fronts of pockets. We've got this one here, and we did this one here on a white shirt. You said this was you sewing the small pocket clamp, just a, kind of a demo. And how does this mount onto the machine? This mounts on the machine uh, with a driver. And what's a cap driver? A cap driver is the tool mechanism, the adapter that changes the machine from flat uh, going left to right, front to back, to uh, front to back, and then a rotary motion. Okay. Uh, I just want everyone to get a visual because everyone calls the cap driver something different. So I want to make sure people. This is understand. a cap driver for the, the Brother PR type machines. And you can see that this will go on like that and then slide into place and click in. And now this is, this will go like this on the machine going arm going through here so this is the same thing that uh, uh that your standard cap drive cap frames uh, work on um, as well as uh, our cap back uh, our gen 2 uh, our bucket cap uh, so it's a uh, most machines have a driver uh, that you use for caps and these products fit onto that driver okay Callie has a question um, so we don't have another question, um, but this does about wrap up our time today. Okay. Um, I know that flew, that oh, really? completely flew by. <laughs> we were having fun. I know, I know. Um, but I'll see if anyone has any more questions. You can go ahead and fire those off in the chat. And in addition, we are going to be giving away that $10 All Brands gift card. So go ahead and comment as well. Even if you don't have a question, comment, share. It's time for our first giveaway of the day. Um, so someone actually did ask a question and Janie wants to know, is it Janome MB4 compatible? I'm not sure which one she was referring to though. 
the MB4 is a, is a small four color machine. And I don't believe that it has a driver, so this would not be compatible. Uh, we do have adapters for the flat clamps for Janome. It's just because it's so small, it doesn't have as much range in terms of uh, movement front to back and left to right. But we do have adapters for Janome. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Everybody is thanking y'all so much because this has been a really awesome presentation. Um, in fact, we have a viewer on YouTube that said it was very thorough and she loved it. So thank you. Oh, good. We um, for us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can go ahead. <laughs> oh, he said we appreciate them for stopping. Oh. oh, okay. I'm sorry. I totally missed what you said and I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Thank you all so much for your time. We really, really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for making the mall booth at the Quilt Fest so much fun and so interesting. We really, really appreciate it. Well, we had we fun doing it. All right, well, thanks y'all. We'll, we'll see, see you later. Soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right, y'all, so that was Hoop Tech over at, uh, over in the mall booth. Um, and I believe that we do have our first gift card winner. Um, so give me just a minute, but I'm looking at everyone commenting and thank you all so very much for watching this presentation. It's been so much fun. So I think we have our first gift card winner. If we could, let's see that name, Peggy Anderson. Hey, congrats, Peggy. You are the winner of our first $10 All Brands gift card of the day. So thank you so very much for tuning in. And you won. So if you would, uh, please email events at allbrands.com and give us your name, your phone number, and your email address. Um, and thank you. There are going to be plenty more giveaways going on throughout the day. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We are gonna go to a very, very quick commercial break. And then we will have a couple of videos and some information from Arrow Sewing Cabinets. So don't go anywhere, grab a snack and we'll be right back. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. 
Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Sorry, didn't realize I was muted there. <laughs> the, the wonders of <laughs> live broadcasting. Um, so Jane is wondering what's next, and I will tell you what's next. So we are going to be hearing from Arrow Cabinets uh, next up, and we're going to be learning a little bit about all of their awesome sewing furniture. Um, I'm not quite sure if you can see it behind me, but I have one of their... Um, one of their tables up here in my little sewing studio. Um, I believe that is the Gidget 2, if you're curious. Um, and we are just gonna be learning a little bit more about what they have to offer. But stay tuned after uh, we see their little video because we will be doing another $10 All Brands gift card giveaway. So for those of you that missed the first one, never fear. We will be doing these all day. And we'll be giving away some actual products as well. And some of those giveaways today are going to be pretty big. Um, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. Um, so thank you all again so very much for joining us. Um, like I said, stay till the end for our little giveaway that we're going to be doing. Um, and without further ado, let's hear from Arrow. Hi, I'm Valerie with Kangaroo Sewing Furniture, and welcome to Kangaroo Sewing Furniture Booth Virtual Booth 2020. I'm so excited to be here today and to be discussing some of Kangaroo's signature pieces, and even more excited to be here with my colleague and sewing extraordinaire, <laughs> Lynn. And I'm going to correct you, not it's sewing extraordinaire. I love to sew. I'm Lynn from Kangaroo Sewing Furniture. Kangaroo Sewing Furniture is a quality company that makes quality sewing furniture. And I'm really excited to be able to talk about the four pieces we have here with us today. So 
Mallory, what is a sewing cabinet? Great question, Lynn. So let's start off right now. This is our Wallaby 2. This is one of our signature pieces. It comes in two different colors, which is teak and ash white. It's got a lot of added features to it. It's got nice heavy duty locking casters, just like all of our kangaroo products mm -hmm. do. And it's also got a great space to store your serger. So you have that out of your way. And then it's also got great storage. That's what I love about our kangaroo cabinets is that we love organization. So mm -hmm. we can pick up where we left off with the project. This one, our thread is right there at our fingertips. I love the fact that you do have a special niche for your serger. You have a storage drawer underneath there. I love the fact that a lot of us sew in a multi-purpose room. Mm -hmm. So those casters are really important for us to be able to move it away from a wall or move it to a different section because all of the cabinets also have one of these amazing quilt leaves. And again, when you're sewing, to have the support for those larger projects is amazing. You might not use it all the time, but oh, to have it available and then to have the casters that are heavy duty that allow Absolutely. you to access it. Absolutely. Amazingly awesome. The other thing that I really love is our airlift mechanism. You go down into your storage position. It moves um, all the way up to our free arm position. And then importantly, it goes into a flatbed position and that mm -hmm. keeps that project nice and um, flush with your sewing surface. So the other thing I love about this cabinet and with all of the kangaroo cabinets is that it's nice and when you're in the flat put, flat arm position mm -hmm. is that it's great and comfortable for your wrist when you're sitting there oh. and sewing for hours on end. Good point, Val, I forgot. Kangaroo is so um, in tune to ergonomics and mm -hmm. really developing a cabinet that keeps us sewing in comfort and sewing longer. So yes, Absolutely. so our wrists are at that 90, um, 90 degree angle and mm -hmm. um, not tipped or pitched and you have access to all of the things that you need. So, and your back, oh goodness, it's really amazing. It makes yes. a huge difference. Absolutely. Having a quality cabinet. The other nice thing about the um, Wallaby is that when you are done sewing for the rest of the day, you are able to close this up and it'll fit in a nice smaller footprint in that extra room that you have or even in your sewing room. Right. We both yeah. Have yeah. When the kids come home, you know, and you've taken over their bedroom, you can lock this up. Again, all of the cabinets do have a locking mechanism. So it'll keep little fingers away from our sharps, our scissors, pins, rotary cutter, anything that could, you know, injure somebody or just keeps them away from our precious sewing things. Absolutely. So. Well, let's show them how these casters work. All right, I'll move out our next cabinet. All right, Lynn, what we have here is our Kangaroo and Joey 2. The nice thing that about the Kangaroo and Joey, again, as all of our cabinets do, we have the heavy duty locking casters. And the nice thing about the Kangaroo and Joey, it comes with this little Joey that is movable and you can put it wherever you would like for however you are going to need it during your project. All of us sewers have different needs and different configurations that we like to sew in. So yes, sometimes you need that extra support on the left-hand side, mm -hmm. and this is really amazing. So you can pull out this drawer, pop on this cover, and you have a nice flat surface. Joey, <laughs> I love Joey. <laughs> That's what makes Kangaroo Joey a little bit different. Um, it's a very quality piece of sewing furniture, and Joey can move to the other side if you would want um, to exit extra space over there. Say you need um, maybe a pressing mat or a little cutting mat there. You can mm -hmm. you can do that quite quickly if you have Joey on the right hand side. Um, I love it because it too, like all of the cabinets, has that really big quilt leaf. So again, from a workspace standpoint, Absolutely. this one has it. And again, I can't stress enough, this one has storage. Mm -hmm. um, it has three relatively large drawers. 
So what you could do, you can put any number of sewing things in there from your books to your project bags to um, uh, extra thread, anything mm -hmm. that we need. So it does provide a little bit more storage than some of our other cabinets. And that's one of the things that makes the kangaroo joey so special. And don't forget about that lock. The lock. <laughs> don't take my sewing scissors, Val. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy does not want to look for her sewing scissors. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. The other nice thing, like all of our other cabinets are have as well, is you are have you have the option to order an acrylic insert that fits very nice around your sewing machine and sits nice in the sewing well of your cabinet. And this does come off, and you can just then push your machine down to the storage position when you're done at the end of the night. The one thing that I will admit, again, kangaroo is so important. They pay so much attention to the ergonomics of your sewing. And again, with it being in that flat bed position and having that acrylic insert, it keeps your project flowing smoothly. And it again, does. your wrist at that proper angle. Absolutely. So, really the nice, nice thing too is when it is done, just like all of our other cabinets, this does close up very nicely. and does not take up much room in your sewing room no. or your basement, wherever you are sitting at. I love this little guy. This is a nice little cabinet. This is our Bandicoot 2. This one also comes in teak and ash white. And it's this one is perfect for people who have smaller spaces. Mm -hmm. This one has a little bit of storage on both sides of the cabinets, doors here. What I love about this one, again, um, even for beginner sewers, it's, it's mm -hmm. perfect for their needs. You do have your thread spools here. You have two storage cubbies on the bottom. Again, you know, extra fabric, thread, um, bobbins, rotary cutter, scissors, pins, whatever all those it may that be. We need. Um, yep. The other thing that I really, really like about it is it also, like all of the other cabinets, has that airlift. Yes, it does. But not only for our beginner sewers, um, this is really nice for a person that has a second machine maybe, or Absolutely. maybe has downsized and just wants to sew in a, a smaller footprint. This mm -hmm. is absolutely perfect. Again, attention to the ergonomics. You're still able to sit at a comfortable position. Your wrists can stay in that comfortable position because again, it has that air yeah. lift. Absolutely. So um, it allows you to sew in comfort and sew longer. I and absolutely, that. and it does take up very little space right. I in your it. sewing room. And it has some really strong magnetic catches. So you can see that the doors don't swing around. Mm -hmm. So Bandicoot, it's a great entry, it, entry mm -hmm. level. It's a great one for a secondary machine or even just needing a smaller footprint. Yep, if you've got that smaller space. Yep, this is perfect. Oh, my favorite. I'm this sorry. Is, that's okay. <laughs> We're supposed to be talking to the customer, and I'm like, oh, I'm shopping for myself. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. This is our dingo cabinet. Um, the nice thing about our dingo cabinet, it is great for storage. It has mm -hmm. the nine. Drawers to store your projects or whatever else in. They are soft closing drawers. So that is a really nice feature. Mm -hmm. um, you can store loads of things because this also is a cutting table and you can get a mat for the top of this. Yep. So I would probably keep my rotary cutters, my rulers, anything else um, that I would need for the project I'm working on. Um, absolutely fantastic here yeah i always have reference books too <laughs> the nice thing is too it's great and it's perfect at height level for standing when you're sitting standing here and working you don't have to worry about bending over it is right, right. here it's perfect to use those rotary right. cutters when you're cutting on the top here 
and you don't have to worry about stretching your arms too yeah. much. And again, for ergonomics, when you are cutting, it is important that you have the ability to have a little downward pressure yes. and you're not hunched over, that you're at a really comfortable angle because our projects, when we start cutting, can, we can be cutting for a very long length of time. So again, ergonomics, not only with sewing, but with cutting. And Kangaroo has addressed that. Yeah. Yes, Love they it. have. And this can be used for multiple things. If it's if you're yeah. a scrapper, yep. you know, you can use it for scrapbooking. You know, scrapbooking, or a lot of people do that. Um, is that Cricut? Yep, I love doing that. And again, can we stress enough the locking to keep the little fingers away from our things or our husbands away from our scissors or whatever else? Whatever we want to put in there. Need. Hide yes. your Christmas presents in. <laughs> so, dingo. And, you know, Val, I should mention, this actually does fold into a fairly nice small footprint, it too. It is, you know, what is it, 40 inches across, mm -hmm. and it's it's smaller, yeah. two and a half deep. Compact. Compact. And it, it matches up very nicely, too, with another cabinet. And it completes that sewing ensemble. So yes. as we get into sewing and we learn that we need more organization and we need more, more storage, yep. um, to have a cutting area that's ex, you know just exclusively for our cutting, yep. and it matches really nicely with our cabinets so that we can sew in comfort longer. So between the cutting and the sewing and having this nice little area here and all of it, can fold into a fairly compact footprint. Yes. So keeps your rooms free if you need that. And all that storage and all of our cabinets makes your room look nice and neat and organized. Right. And I love the casters because I have had to move these around. <laughs> because I don't have all that space and I've had Absolutely. to move mine around. And I really, really appreciate those smooth mm -hmm. gliding casters yep. because I love the product. Well, another thing to finish off that sewing room is our hydraulic chairs. This is our really nice um, bright button hydraulic chair, which goes from 18 to 22 inches in height. And that's really important because if I'm understanding it, a lot of sewing cabinets are um, made for somebody that may be, um, I think it's like five, four, kind of an average, and I, you know, I'm not sure. But because I'm on the shorter end, the adjustable height is so very important because I'm gonna be able to raise it up so that I can keep my wrists in a nice position. The mm -hmm. other thing is we're all different with our inseams. It's really important when you're sitting on a chair for ergonomics is to have that L shape to our body. So nice and straight and our thighs parallel to the floor. I know you're going for that lumbar support because after I've yes. sewn a while, I do yep. tend to sit on the edge of my chair, but after I've sewn for a while and I just want to regroup, see where I'm at, this lumbar support is amazing. Hits you right where you need it. It's, yes. it's really supportive, yep. really nice. So underneath my leg and in my, in my back, the lumbar. The other thing I have to point out about this chair is not just the adjustable and the ergonomics. Oh, not going there yet, girlfriend. We're talking about this five-star wheelbase. Mm -hmm. I have sewn on chairs that are let's just say less than nice. Um, mm -hmm. They were, they're okay. Um, but how many of us have been sewing and you're chain piecing and a piece of fabric falls on the floor? Oh, you, you know, bend I over? roll my eye and I go, are you kidding me? Well, with this chair, I'm able just to bend over, scoop down, pick it up. Absolutely. My other chair assisted me to the floor. <laughs> Had that happen a time or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now let's make the magic happen, Val, because... Absolutely. It has this amazing storage underneath your seat. And what mm -hmm. do you keep in there, Lynn? Um, actually, I'm going to be embarrassed to admit, you told me that I was a so quilter extraordinaire. Not so much. I sometimes keep my reference manuals in here if I need to learn how to finish off that binding. And I'm really going to confess... I also keep um, some chocolate because absolutely sometimes my projects don't go quite as well and I become mm -hmm. best friends with my seam <laughs> ripper again. It's an extension of my fingers. So um, I keep a little snack in there when I need it. So yeah. um, it this, doesn't hurt. No, you know, it keeps it away from the kids and those sneaky husbands. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the 360 mobility of this chair, you know, I mm -hmm. can go from one axis. Uh, one point to another 
yep. say your wallaby, we go back to that where it had that serger space. Yep. So I'm sewing and now I want to check on my serging project, you know, yep. or I want to just, just spin. step over here and I'm, I'm spinning on it. And again, the base stability. So there's a safety element to it as well as just absolutely having some really fun fabric that makes me smile. Yep. We've got the solids and we've got the bright colors as well to fit in any sewing room. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right. Well, that concludes Kangaroo's virtual booth. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. And we're so glad to spend time with all of our quilters and crafters out there looking to finally build that dream sewing room and sewing studio. We hope you had fun and hopefully you spotted your dream kangaroo sewing cabinet. Again, I'm Valerie with Kangaroo. And I'm Lynn with Kangaroo. Thank you so much and hope you have a wonderful day. Happy sewing. All right, y'all. So that was our awesome presentation from Arrow showing off those kangaroo branded cabinets and those sewing chairs. Um, now I, I saw that we had a few people asking some questions in the comments, um, specifically about the openings of these tables um, or these cabinets. And I will say that they do have, they offer different sizes of opening depending on the cabinet. Um, so we do offer all of these on our website. And I would strongly recommend that you go check those out on our site um, because they, you know, they do vary, right? Um, but we have measuring instructions and all of that other information on our website as well. And if you are um, curious and interested in buying one of these, you can purchase a separate um, one of those little inserts to put on the top of your table um, to use with that little electric lift that they offer as well. Um, so you have plenty of options and you can go over to allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest um, and you can go take a look at what we have on our category page for all of the arrow and kangaroo cabinets. So now with that said, uh, it's time for our next $10 gift card giveaway. Um, so go ahead and give us some comments. If you're watching on Facebook, go ahead and share this video again. There should be a share button right below that video uh, down on the bottom right, I believe, if you're looking at this on phone. Um, and share this with your friends. Let them know what you're watching. Hopefully they'll hop in too um, because these are some really, really great giveaways and we're going to be giving away a whole lot more later on in the day. Um, B asked a question, said, is there a way to lock the seat from opening when putting the chair in a car to go to retreat? Now, uh, B, I'm not entirely sure about a locking mechanism. Um, I will see if we can get someone to figure that out for you. Um, but as far as I'm aware, it is a pretty sturdy little opening um, with a hinge. So I don't think you would have to be too worried about it, you know, maybe tipping sideways and spilling open if you have this in a car. Um, and thank you so much for liking and sharing me. Ah, I'm so excited for this next giveaway. Um, it is, it's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Dana says hello from Michigan. Hi, Dana from Michigan. Oh my goodness. It's probably freezing up there today, isn't it? I feel like it definitely is. Um, and Carolyn says there are so many options and yeah, there really are. Um, there, that was just scratching the surface of all that Arrow and Kangaroo are offering. So please go over to our website and go see all of the other ones that they have, um, that we have on our site. Um, and we do offer a lot of different colors. We offer a lot of, um, there are usually multiple colors that you can order a lot of those Arrow cabinets in. Um, usually it's white, or a teak option. Um, so please go ahead and look, uh, go ahead and look at those because there are a lot of things and they fit really, really well. Um, they can fit really well in any sewing room, sewing space. Um, and I agree, Jane, I would, I love those chairs. I need to pick one up. I think that they are absolutely awesome. Uh, Michelle says hi from California. Hi again, Michelle. It's really great to see you again. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting um, and it's so great to see everyone again. And uh, we've only been streaming for 
almost two hours now, but we still have a really good bit of the day to go. Um, we have we have a really, really long ways to go today for our last Quilt Fest day. Um, Lori says, hi from Illinois, but in Texas, welcoming our new granddaughter. Well, congratulations, Lori. That's so that's so exciting. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy for you. That's great. Um, Delfina is asking, do you have to be on Facebook to win? And you do not. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, just go ahead and leave us a comment. You will still be entered in for that giveaway. Um, Cynthia said in North Carolina, spending the day with you. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Donna says, hi from Rockport, Texas, and it's so cold here too for us. And I agree. <laughs> I mean, I know if I said, oh wow, it's only, you know, 40 degrees here, I'm sure a bunch of Northerners would probably laugh at me, but I'm freezing. I'm absolutely freezing in this weather. Um, I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to it at all. Um, so I believe we have a name for our giveaway. And if we do, let's see it. Dana, Dana, you have won our snack, our second $10 All Brands uh, gift card of the day. So congrats, Dana. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Um, so if you would, Dana, if you are still watching, please send us an email over at events at allbrands.com and make sure you leave us your name, your phone number and your email address and we will get that gift card out to you. So thank you so much for tuning in y'all. So we have a really, really packed schedule for the rest of the day, um, but don't go anywhere. We are gonna go to a very, very quick commercial break. Um, and then after our commercial break, we are going to be having Philip Ulchi from Laura Star talking about those spectacular irons and that hygienic steam. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
All right, everyone, we're back. So if you are just joining us, hi, my name is Callie, and this is the allbrands.com mall booth at the virtual Houston Quilt Festival. Um, thank you so very much for tuning in this year. I know this is such a strange year with, um, with doing this virtually, but we hope that you are still enjoying this and hopefully next year we can all see each other in person in Houston. This is actually my first quilt festival um, and I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, um, but this has been a blast so far. And if you have been watching over the last three days, um, you've Really, uh, you, you've seen a lot. I'm sure you've seen a lot. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, so now we're going to pivot into talking about some really, really awesome irons uh, from Laura Star. And today we have Philip Olchi from Laura Star here to talk with us about them. So let's bring Philip on. Hey, Philip. Good morning, Kelly. How's it going? It's going great. How's it going over there? Over oh, pretty good. It's cold, but. Uh... It's hot in here because of the steam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we have we have a little quick presentation. Um, so you're going to show us some cool new stuff, um, but we will be giving away a ten dollar All Brands gift card after Philip's presentation. So stick around, and if you have any questions for Philip during the presentation, go ahead and stick them in the comments, and we will try to answer those live. Hello, Barbara. I love Laura Star too. I have one of their uh, one of their ironing boards and their iron right behind me, and I am in love with it. So let's see what you got for us today, Philip. Thank you very much, Kelly. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's always interesting to see when people for the first time use Laura Star, they are amazed that an iron can actually be so advanced and so easy to use. Before I was working for Laura Star, I also ironed my own clothes and, and I said, okay, let's try out these Laura Stars and see how really they work. And I was like amazed how much more fun especially it is to iron your clothes with a Laura Star. And for those of you that do not know Laura Star, Laura Star is a Swiss company and they have been in the business for over 40 years. It's a family owned company and all of the products are made in Europe. So it's really a Swiss promise. It's a Swiss quality product. And I think this is really where we set us apart also from the competition. I'm assuming many of you have experienced when you buy an iron and it probably breaks after a year or two because it starts to leak. And with Laura Star, you get an iron that really is built to last. On average, our irons last 10 plus years. So it's really an investment. Yes, they are a little bit more expensive, but it's really an investment into a product that will last you for multiple years. And even if you have any issues after, uh, after five, six, seven, eight years, we can service and repair the iron for you. So it's not a throwaway product. It's really a product that is designed to last and bring you joy to your house for a long time. And um, this is something really special. The second thing that really is special about Laura Star is our dry microfine steam. So our steam is really, really special. First of all, it's a very powerful steam, as you can see. So you can see it's a lot of steam that's coming out here, but it's actually also a dry steam. So you can do this. And as you can see, my hand is not wet. And what you probably also noticed, I didn't burn myself. So Laura Star has a really, really unique steam. I can actually even give myself a little, a little facial without burning my face off. You could never do this with any other iron because a regular iron just produces hot, wet steam. Our lower star irons produce a dry microfine steam. And this is so great because our steam particles are actually more a gas than a steam. And because they're so fine, they can really penetrate deep into the fibers of your textiles and loosen all these fibers. And on top of that, also kill all germs, bacteria, dust mites, and especially also the coronavirus in your textiles. So what you can do with our irons is, or with our steam especially, you can take your mask or any other ma uh, textiles and sanitize them. So we have a certification that we can say that we kill 99.9% .9 of germs, bacteria, dust mites, fungi, and coronavirus in your textiles. So you can really purify your, your masks, for example, easily we all know if we touch the masks all the time if we put them in our pocket um, we put so many bacteria and other germs into this mask and they can have bad reactions with our face 
but obviously not only the mask, you can use this on your upholstery. You can use this for your clothes at home. You can use it even on other surfaces. So this is really a unique steam that Laura Star has, this dry microfine steam that makes it much easier for you to iron. It helps you to purify your clothes. It helps you to kill germs and bacteria in your textiles. Think about the quilts, the baby quilts or other textiles you don't want to wash every time you wear them just because they maybe are a little wrinkly. With Laura Star, you really can get those germs out of those textiles, out of those quilts without actually having to wash them. It, it also takes out some of the odors. So it's really a helpful tool for you to take care of your textiles at home without using a lot of chemicals. And especially right now, obviously with the coronavirus, this is especially important. So this is what sets us apart from the competition is really our steam, our quality and the features that we have in our irons. But before I talk about more about the features that we have in our irons, I want to introduce you to the, to the two different models or systems that we have. We have the Laura Star systems the I have it right now in front of me, the Laura Star Smart U, which is our top of the line product. And then we also have the Laura Star lift line. And this is the Laura Star lift line. Uh, the Laura Star lift line is designed for you if you have your own ironing board, ironing station, ironing pressing mat, whatever you have in your sewing or a laundry room, this is a tool that you can use. It's obviously also a great steamer. You can take this around your house and steam different types of curtains, textiles, whatever you have. This is also obviously a little bit more affordable than the big system. What you have with the Laura Star Lift is a wonderful big tank that's easily removable. So if you run out of water, you can just go fill this up and put it back in. You don't have to turn off the iron, but it also holds a lot of water. You can obviously have this on the floor and then you use this on your ironing board or you can have it sit on your ironing board. Uh, we even sell um, steam carts for the lifts. So if you want to use this as a steamer, you can use this around the house in the steam cart. So this is really a three in one tool. It's a wonderful iron, it's a steamer, and it's a purifier because it has the same quality of steam as the big systems have, that hygienic steam, that dry microfine steam. So you really get a great product for a good price. Within the lift line, we have three different models. We have the regular lifts, we have the lift plus, and the lift extra. All of the different models have the same dimensions, have the same quality, have the same steam. The difference is a little bit in the features and the accessories that you get with each model. I have here right now the Lift Extra, which is the top of the line model. And the uniqueness of the top of the line model here is that we have a 3D sole plate, a full aluminum 3D sole plate. And as you can see, we don't have any holes here. We have a channel where the steam comes out. And that channel is really nice to help you distribute the steam very evenly over the whole surface of the iron. As you can also see, we only have holes in, on the top of the iron uh, and no holes on the, on, the, on the bottom. And I'm assuming most of you irons that you have out there have holes everywhere. And that's actually not really good because what you want to have is that the fibers get loosened up with the steam on the top of the iron and then the bottom of the iron will actually set the, the fibers in place. So if you have holes all over your iron, you're actually just gonna loosen the fibers and you never have the chance to really set them in place so that they don't re-wrinkle. And that's really professional with Laura Star. In addition, all of our Laura Star irons, as you can see, uh, they have the same shape, no matter if you got buy a system or if you buy a, a lift, they are designed very ergonomically. That means if you press down, the center of gravity is exactly here in the middle. Your iron at home, when you press down, probably that happens. So if you want to really press down wrinkles up front here, you really have to press down a lot because you have to force it down. With Laura Star, because the center of gravity is in the middle, you only have to press down a little bit and the weight gets distributed perfectly evenly over the whole surface of the iron. It's also lightweight because all the steam gets produced here in the boiler and not in the iron. And it's also the water obviously gets stored here. So it's lightweight. It has a steam button on the left and on the right hand. So you can use it with your left hand and with your right hand. I think Laura Star is probably the only iron that can be used as a left-hander and as a right-hander. And then on top of that, it's really ergonomically shaped. So when you hold it, for example, if you have issues with carpal tunnel or arthritis, this is really ergonomically shaped. It's lightweight, so you could iron for a long time and it doesn't hurt your arms or anything like that.
So this is really something, again, special about LoraStar that our design is really designed for you, for ergonomics, for ease of use, and not just a clunky big iron iron that's just heavy and, and doesn't really uh, work great in your hand. This is really designed like a professional iron. And it obviously looks also really nice because it's an Italian designer that designed this um, LoraStar lift here. So this is our lift series. As mentioned, it's portable. You can have this in your steam cart. You can have this with your own ironing board. It works great with if you have a wool pressing mat, um, perfectly fine. Then besides the lift, we have our systems. And obviously our systems are the highlight of LoraStar and it's really what LoraStar is really known for is that we have a system where you have the boiler down here, you have a hose, and then you have the, here the iron and then the active table, that's all one product. And in this active table here, you have a fan. That fan blows up air or it sucks down air. And this is really a great beneficial tool because it helps you to cut down your ironing time, be more precise, be more efficient. And as I said, it makes more fun ironing your, iron your clothes or your quilts with this product. And let me show you now how this active table works and why it is so great. So I have here a silk shirt. And you've probably all experienced this before. When you iron your clothes or your shirts, you start to iron and you get to a wrinkle and you're like, iron this wrinkle into your clothes. And that's obviously a big pain. And with LoraStar, because we have this active table, when I touch the iron here, it will blow up my fabric. So you can see now I have an air cushion underneath my fabric now. So when I go iron now, it actually already pulls my wrinkles apart and there's no way for me to wrinkle or iron these wrinkles into my fabric. So it's very easy. I'll just go in a few seconds. I have all my wrinkles out and there's no chance for me to iron in any of these wrinkles. So as you can see, all these wrinkles are out, perfectly out in a few seconds. So it's so much faster, so much more efficient when you um, use your lower start to get those wrinkles out. In addition, when you have a silk blouse like this, a cool thing is also what you can do because we have such a powerful steam, you can steam out your, your arms or your, your arms like this just by blowing in the steam. So you get you can get out the wrinkles so easy because we have this powerful steam that can really blow up um, your fabric like this. Many of you probably are quilters and you probably know this problem. When you have batting, uh, you get it out of the box, it has these lines, it may, is maybe super wrinkly and it's hard to get those wrinkles or folds out of batting because you cannot really iron batting. Again, because we have this blow function, we can now actually hover over this batting and just steam it. And in a few seconds, your batting is super fluffy, and doesn't have any wrinkles, and most important, it's dry. If you would do this with your whole iron at home, you would again, would put, put a lot of moisture into your fibers, you would fold it up and it would start to re-wrinkle again. Not with LoraStar because we have this unique dry microfine steam. So you can really um, get wrinkles out of batting very easily. A lot of people that have a long arm at home actually have one of these lifts sitting next to the long, long arm because you can go over when you load the batting or the fabric and get those wrinkles out very easily with our steam. So this is something to consider if you have a long arm and you have this problem probably also that you have wrinkles when you load fabric. I was showing you now how you what the benefit is if you blow up the air and and as I said you can also suck down the air and uh, again many of you probably know this problem if you have a big piece of fabric like a backing like a curtain or a tablecloth you start to iron and as soon as the fabric hits the floor you will or it will re-wrinkle and this is the, this is the problem because again your iron at home creates wet steam and what we can do with lower star is first of all we can take this big piece of fabric and we can fold it up in multiple layers and we can iron multiple layers at the same time and because we have that powerful steam in combination with the suction function where it really pulls now the steam through all these layers it, we can easily iron out multiple layers at the same time so i'll show you how to do that right now so all i need to do is go over like this the steam now really gets pulled through all these layers and i have four perfectly ironed layers in few seconds. So imagine how much time you save. 
especially when you normally iron this, it would take you minutes, you know, 10 minutes or so to iron this big piece of fabric. Now it's a small piece like this that I can iron in under one minute. So it's a huge time saver and obviously it makes again ironing more fun and you're not so frustrated that you start ironing and you have to start again because it's re-wrinkles. So this is really handy because of the um, suction function. Then with Lower Star, we also obviously have um, a very hot sole plate. Our sole plate is very hot. So you don't want to touch maybe t-shirts or other delicate fabrics because obviously it gets shiny or the prints here on my t-shirt get stick, uh, stick to my surface. So every Lower Star comes equipped with a protective sole plate. So as you can see, there is no temperature control here. It's always on very hot. So if you want to reduce the temperature of the sole plate, all you need to do is add it to the sole plate. You still have the steam and the temperature of the sole plate gets reduced. So now you can go over any type of delicate fabric without getting it shiny, without having to turn, for example, the t-shirt inside out or having to use a pressing cloth. So this is really handy again. And once you're done, you just take the, the protective sole plate off and you're good to go with the hot iron again. And I think this is really something that, that a lot of consumers maybe are also a little confused. If you buy an iron now, a lot of times they will tell you, oh, you know, our iron is made for any type of fabric. And the only reason why they can say that is because they take down the temperature of your iron, ironing sole plate. And I can, and this is especially important that you want to have a very hot ironing surface if you do a lot of applique. So, or fusing, for example. So I have here some pieces of fabric and when you do applique normally, you have um, two a fiber or you have some fusible or you have, I have here steam seam that you want to adhere to each other. So at home, you probably put your iron onto this or would put on this for like 10 seconds because your iron is not really hot. With Lower Star, because we have a really hot surface and in combination with steam, all it takes is one or two seconds and you will not be able to take this off. And the same is if you have fusible bedding or other products that you try to fuse together, you don't have to leave your iron now with Lower Star on for like five or 10 seconds. It's so much faster because of the heat of our surface. And you could never achieve the same results with a traditional iron because the temperature is not the same. So as you can see, it's really a hot iron and it's a hot iron that will last you a long time. Because again, our, all of our Lower Star are built to last. You have a two year warranty in our products. We can service them for you and uh, we can repair them for you. Um, interesting is also, or important to know is also that you can use tap water with our irons. They're built to be used with tap water. Um, we have a big, tank here with the system. As you can see, there fits a lot of water in here. There's a filter that takes out all the minerals that are in your water. Obviously that filter needs to be changed from time to time uh, to have good results. As mentioned before, our Lower Star iron is not only a great iron, but it's actually also the world's best steamer. So I'm assuming many, uh, many of you maybe do not even iron their clothes anymore or your kids maybe, they don't even have an iron anymore, but what you have is a steamer. And you probably know it takes quite a long time to steam something. And you can see I have here a super wrinkly jacket and see how fast I can steam my clothes with Lower Star. In just a few seconds, this is perfectly steamed. There's no more wrinkles here and it's especially important it's dry again if you do this with a regular steamer first of all it would take you super long and second again you would pump a lot of moisture into your fabric and you put this jacket back into the closet it starts to re-wrinkle because the moisture dries and then the wrinkles come back so that's again why it's so important to have with lower star this dry microfine steam with our top of the land product with our smart u we have a few more exciting features First of all, we have a, a pulse steam. So regular steam is like this. If you go slow and if you don't want to use as much steam, we have a feature called pulse steam. Now the steam comes out like this. So as you can also hear, now you can go very slow and be very precise when you do your pressing of your seams or if you want to iron more slow and you don't uh, incorporate as much steam into your fibers. 
Second feature that we have with the Smart U is something called Sand Steam. If you iron for a long time, or if you have a big piece of fabric, um, you maybe don't want to press the steam button all the time. So in here's a sensor, and it recognizes the movements of my iron. So whenever I go forward now, steam will come out without me having to press any buttons. So this is great if you don't want to go like press a steam button all the time. Um, a wonderful feature. Um, the pulse steam is also included in the Lift Extra and the Lift Pulse. So those are also equipped with this special type of steam. The systems are all height adjustable, so you can obviously make them perfect for your size. If you want to have it higher or lower, you can fold them up. They are rolls, you can roll it around in your house and obviously store it in your closet if you don't want to have it out all the time. Um, on the ironing boards here, we have some wonderful lines. They are great if you have blocks or if you want to reshape your fabrics, they help you to really make sure that everything is straight. Um, so it's another great benefit for you as a quilter. All of our lower star irons also come with a dual auto shut off. So that means if you turn on your iron and you don't touch it for 10 minutes, it will turn off. But if you want it to stay on forever or forever until you turn it off, you can actually press this button for a few seconds longer and then the iron will not turn off. So you have the option, either it will turn off automatically after 10 minutes or it will not turn off. And then obviously you, it's your, it's your responsibility to turn it off after you're done with your, let's say, sewing project. But obviously this is great, so you don't have to come back and forth and turn it on and off all the time. But you have the option between those two functions. If, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we have a okay. few questions from some viewers, um, and these are some pretty good questions, so I wanted to yeah. run them by you. Um, so we have someone asking, um, like, if you could show kind of the cart uh, situation, but I know you probably can't really mess with it because of your setup, um, but could you tell us how that ironing board I can show you, down? yes. It's actually pretty, pretty easy, but I have to take off my, my microphone here. For a <laughs> so you can see, I just, I just put this down. There's actually an iron rest that I can put on my iron, even if it's hot. I'll take it all the way up, and then I just have to do a lift it up here, and then it collapses down. So now you can roll it around. And once you're done, you can just pull it up again. Just put this up. And you're good to go again. Oh, hopefully you can still hear me. Sorry, my microphone. Oh, that's okay. No, we could definitely. I, I could definitely. Okay, hear sorry. You that. So did you see? Um, it was fairly was easy to fold it up. Yeah, they're they're yeah. really really easy to work with. And someone else was asking um, how much water the tank holds. And I want to yeah, say it's I don't pretty, know exactly it's large, how much water it is, but right? it's a large tank. Um, and the cool thing is, even if you run out of water. You don't have to turn off the iron. You just take this out, fill it up with water, or you can even leave it, leave it inside, tap it up. Um, so, but it's a fairly big tank um, that holds a lot of water. So I maybe change this every other day or so if I iron a lot. But you know, right now I do demos, so obviously I use a lot of steam. So I would like to mention, y'all, it's time for our $10 gift card giveaway. So go ahead and get those comments, likes, and shares in. And we're going to answer one more question um, before we have to move on. So um, someone else was wondering if the ironing board comes in a rectangle shape for ironing wider fabrics. Now, I would argue that you probably wouldn't even need a rectangular shape because it this is ironing board hard. is already you can pretty see, wide. I can even right? like put this ironing rest on the side so you have a really, I think it's, 50 inches, or what did you say? I think we looked it up yesterday. Um, so it's fairly large. It is. Um, so, it's 49 yeah. inches long. Uh, but if you really want the rectangular area, then you can also just get the lift um, and have your rectangular set up uh, with a wool pressing mat, for example, if this is super important to you. But as I said, this is a huge or really nice size table or ironing board that fits big pieces of fabrics. All right. 
Well, that was really, really informative, Philip. And y'all have really amazing products at Laura Star. Every time I hear about the steam and everything, I am just, yeah. my mind is just blown. Um, we have one more question from someone. Uh, Mary is wondering how often you need to change. Obviously, that depends on. a little bit how often you iron. You know, the more water you filter through, the more you have to um, change it. But I would say on normal use, you know, I would say every three or four months. That's kind of like the 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 way how you uh, have to change your filter. If you don't want to change your filter as often, I recommend just go and buy store store bought spring water because obviously that has less minerals inside, and then you don't have to change your filter as often. And I would also like to point out to everyone watching um, that All Brands is offering a bunch of deals over at allbrands.com slash quiltfest. Um, we are getting, we are going to be offering three additional anti-scale cartridges with the Laura Star Lift, the Lift Plus, and the Lift Extra. And this offer ends today. Yeah. So, and the same is with the smart iron. So if you buy, if you're thinking about getting an iron, it's really that time to get one because they're on sale. They are, you can finance them. You get those free accessories, you get free shipping. So you can get everything that normally people only dream of, but only the offer ends today. So make sure if you're really interested, place your order today. Um, it's really an amazing offer. Thank you very much, Kelly, for having me. It was Thank a pleasure you. talking to you and presenting to you. Have a great day and uh, see you next time. Thank you. We'll see you next time, Philip. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, bye bye. Bye. All right, y'all. So that was Philip Ulchi from Laura Star. I also would like to point out that we are offering 12 month 0% interest financing on all of those active boards that you saw today. So the Smart I, the Smart U, Philip was working on. We are offering 12 month 0% interest financing. So, and this offer ends today. So if you really, really want one of those, I highly recommend them. I think that they are quality products for every person, for every use, and they are incredible. So let's pull that name for our $10 gift card. Let's see if we have a name yet. Jane. Jane, oh my goodness, congratulations, Jane. You have won a $10 All Brands gift card. Um, so Jane, if you would, congratulations. Uh, please go ahead and send an email to events at allbrands.com and give us your name, your phone number, and your email address so we can get that out to you. Congratulations, oh my goodness. Um, so, Thank you all so much for tuning in to Philip Alchi's presentation. If you just missed it, that's okay. You can definitely go back and watch the playback of these after we go off the air around 6 p.m. Central Time. So don't go anywhere. We are going to go to a very, very quick commercial break. And then we are going to be hearing from Angel Jepson from Everstone. So don't go anywhere. Like and share this with your friends in the meantime, or go to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and shop those deals while we have our little break. And we will be right back.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup. Or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. All right, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you have just tuned in, hi, my name is Callie and this is the allbrands.com mall booth at the virtual Houston Quilt Festival this year. So now uh, you just heard from Philip Olchi from Laura Starr, and if you missed it, no worries. You can go ahead and rewatch this playback uh, after we go off the air around 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, and so we are gonna bring on now, we're gonna bring on Angel Jepson uh, over at Eversone. And she's got some really exciting new, mach uh, another machine to show us today. And um, we are offering some really, really amazing Eversone bundles. So if you haven't checked those out yet, you should definitely go to allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest and you can find all of the bundles and all of the stuff that we are throwing in with these new ever sewn machines there. So let me bring on Angel Raya real quick. Hi, Angel. Oh, oh, Angel, I think you're muted. <laughs> oh, that's okay. There we go. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Thanks for having me today. Happy Saturday, well, thank everyone. You. Thank you. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to show everyone our Eversone Sparrow QE sewing machine. 
This is our quilters edition. And it's one of my favorite machines. It's what I usually have out on my sewing table. Um, it has over 70 stitch patterns and an eight inch sewing throw, which really helps when you're putting your uh, quilt sandwich together and doing your binding. Uh, there is a knee lift on this machine. And I wonder, there we go. Yeah. This is our only machine that has the knee lift on it. So that is a great feature when you're coming up on some uh, thicker fabric that you're working with. Um, it also has an auto threader, which works really well. And um, two, it has an auto cutter. We've got our cutter button right here. And we have manual cutters on both sides of the stitch right there. Um, it's got an adjustable speed control like most of our Sparrow sewing machines, which is really great for uh, detailed sewing or working with new sewers. And it comes with a, a unique accessory tray compared to the other machines that we have. So I'm going to slide this off so that way I can. Oh, there went my knee lifter. So when you slide the accessory tray out, or you can leave it on the machine when you do this, but it has a little organizer in there, which is cool and kind of unique to the other Eversone machines. And when you pull that out, there's even more accessories in there and probably room to store more than what it already comes with, which is really handy. And then it just slides back on really smoothly there. Um, so with this machine, I believe it comes with a satin foot, an overcasting foot, a blind foot, and a zipper foot. And when you purchase today, you get the quilting foot kit included with this. And then that will come with a quarter inch um, sewing foot there. It actually has six feet in here, including an even feet attachment, left and right quilting guide, a snap on one quarter inch foot with blade, and a snap on one quarter inch patchwork foot with a free motion all metal foot with large opening with a storage box. And the nice thing about that embroidery foot, this machine does allow you to drop the feed dogs. So when you are binding your quilt together or doing other embroidery projects, um, you're able to do that. It also comes with a straight stitch plate. So when you're stitching, that will really help uh, keep the fabric from getting caught. And it also comes with the zigzag stitch plate. So that is pretty great. And I don't... The, the feel of this machine, it's just really solid. I mean, all, all of the Eversun machines are really great, but something about this one is my favorite. And when you get started, it will go through and uh, calibrate itself to make sure that the needle is where it needs to be. And then it'll take off and go for you. Um, I know for the weekend, I have time planned to work with this machine on making my Holly Jolly quilt, and I will be using my other ever sewn sewing accessories. Uh, All Brands has the big starter sewing kit that ever sewn offers, and I really like it. It comes with a nice size cutting mat and a rotary cutter and the acrylic ruler with a bunch of other really great stuff. So it's gonna be perfect for working on my Holly Jolly quilt here that I've got started. I don't know about anybody else, but I have a lot of Christmas projects left to put together yet. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. 
<laughs> so um, I, I wanted to hop in real quick and say that we are offering some really, really great deals. Um, we're going to be, we have like a little bundle that we're offering um, with this machine for the festival. Um, so if you pick this machine up, um, I want to say this offer expires very soon. Uh, so if you do end up picking up this machine, um, we are also throwing in that quilting foot kit, like you said, um, and we are also offering, we're throwing in that 22 and a half inch extension table for the Sparrow QE. So not only that, um, those are the two things that we are offering for free. Now we do have um, optional bundles that we are going to be selling. Um, we have the gold bundle and we have the silver bundle. So the silver bundle has, um, I want to say it is the storage cart, like the little rolling um, storage case for or the bag for this machine. And we're also offering the Westerly sampler, the six piece template starter set with this as well. So if you have been watching and if you've been seeing what we've been uh, discussing with the So Steady Westerly educators, you can get started quilting and everything on this machine with one of these bundles and with the free specials that we're offering too. Now, the gold bundle is a little different. Um, the gold bundle, I believe, throws in more machine feet. So we're gonna be throwing in that sparrow cording foot, um, the gathering foot, the hemming foot, um, a little sewing accessory box, and the ever sewn rechargeable light. And this is a little add-on bundle that you can get as well with this machine. Um, so I just wanted to hop on and say that. And if any of y'all do have any questions about this machine or any of the stuff that I just mentioned, leave a comment and we'll try to answer those live and make sure you're still sticking in, sticking with us because we are doing another giveaway after this. But Angel, you go ahead and back to it. All right, that's awesome. Those are great kits uh, that you have available for everybody. The uh, light is one of the most popular ever sewn products. So people really like that. Our machines do have a good amount of lighting in them, but I mean, everybody can use a little extra light when they're sewing, I think. I know I can. Another thing that if you don't get the package with the rolling tote, another thing that All Brands has is the carrying bag. And this is how I usually store my machines when I'm switching between them, going back and forth. I didn't always have a dedicated sewing room. So it's really nice to keep everything together. Yesterday I showed our uh, Sparrow 30S, which comes with an extension tray, and that all fits easily in one of these bags. So this actually has the sewing table and everything for a sewing machine along with everything else in there which it's not too big, but it's not too small, just perfect size. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about these ever sewn products and I definitely hope you guys have a lot of fun sewing with our machines. Um, they just, they work really well. Oh yeah. So we have a question from Nancy who's watching on Facebook. She wants to know how much this machine weighs. Oh, Nancy, I'm sorry. I, I don't have that off the top of my head. I'm going to guess, I remember I've seen it, I want to say 15, 16 pounds. Let's see. I'm going to see if we can find it on our, um, on our page for you, Nancy, because I would also like to know. But if I find that information, I will pop right back in and I'll let you know. That sounds great. Um, so the quilt project that I have going on right now is, uh, Susie Quilts Thrive Quilt. And I don't know, I need to find a way to store my projects when I go from one to the other. I had every intention of getting that project done. And I think a lot of quilters out there have the same, uh, same thing happen. But yeah, it's always great using the machines and the accessories that come with everything. Um, you were exactly right, Angel. It is 16 pounds. So okay. you nailed it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah, you totally nailed it. 
Great. I think all of the uh, Eversun Sparrow machines are below 20 pounds. They're very light. Yeah. yeah. Even I, I have the, the Sparrow 30S behind me um, and I've played around with it. If y'all were watching yesterday, I, I mentioned that as well. Um, super light, super easy just to pick up, put anywhere I need it. Fantastic. These are a really fantastic line of machines. And Cindy says they're great looking machines. And I agree. I think they're so pretty. <laughs> yes, very smooth. And this machine is a little bit different than some of the others because let's see what I can do here. It has a lot more detail on exactly how to thread the machine and has a different type of bobbin winder. So this machine is unique from most of our other Sparrow machines. I, um, the digital programming on the front of the machine is really nice. It, it's pretty easy to switch and give yourself the extra quarter inch on one side or the other. And of course I do that while the needle is in the fabric, but yeah, it'll switch right over for you, which is handy. Oh, there we go. It does have the tack cut, which is always nice. So that way you don't have to do your reverse uh, stitch to tighten everything down. Um, and we do have a lot of stitches on this machine as well. I think I said 70 stitches. So when yeah. you open that, yeah. that lid, they're right there for you, which makes it easy. and You don't have to worry about losing anything. So that is really handy. And let's see, it's fairly quiet when I'm sewing. I know when I started with this machine, I was used to using an older machine and I was, really impressed with how quiet, I mean, a sewing machine is going to be noisy, but it is fairly quiet compared to other machines that I have used in the past. So that is awesome, If especially if you're a late night quilter like myself, uh, you don't keep the rest of the family up listening to your machines. Um, yeah. And I, I also wanted to mention there are um, there are already machine feet that come with this uh, with the QE when you order it online with us. Um, so I, I was just taking a look around and um, I wanted to point out that this comes with the machine purchase. You can get um, the satin foot, that overcasting foot, the blind foot, the zipper foot. Um, and those four all come with the machine along with a bunch of, oh, and the, the buttonhole foot, um, I believe as well. Um, so this has a lot of stuff that we're throwing in with it. And we have a question from B on Facebook. Um, she's wondering if the thread spindle sits up for thread that needs to unwind differently. It actually comes with, I believe, I haven't used this one in that way, so let's see here. Yes, it, it does. It stands right up. I don't know if you can see that with this camera. So there's no extra piece. It just moves for you which is really nice. I think this is our only machine that works that way. Super. And I should point out as well, um, if, if you are curious about the other machine feet that we are offering um, with this machine, so it's a quilting foot kit. Um, and is it, I believe it's the deluxe quilting foot kit that we are throwing in. Um, just this month. Um, and that includes the applique foot, um, a quarter inch patchwork foot, um, a stitch and inch foot, the seven millimeter snap on. Um, let's see. And I believe it includes a quilting foot, roller foot, 
an open toe free motion foot, a walking foot, and an open toe walking foot. So you have a ton of options, a ton, a ton of options with this uh, free special that we are throwing in. Um, and I also should mention that this is a pretty, I mean, that's that's a pretty good deal for, for your money. That set of feet by itself is $80, but we're throwing it in for free. So if you are curious and if you're really interested in buying one of these machines, now is definitely the time to do it. Um, and it looks like B has another question and it's, does it have a clear bobbin cover so you can see how close you are to running out? Yes, it does. It's a top loading bobbin. I don't know. Am I? Oh, here, yeah. Okay. There we go. So yeah, it has the top loading bobbin with the clear case, which is really great. And it has the one quarter inch, I don't know how close I'm getting there, marker on both of the stitch plates, the straight stitch plate and the zigzag plate. So that is really great. And it looks like we have another question from someone. Um, she is wondering um, if there is a foot for vinyl, but I, I would argue the walking foot is probably pretty good for, for that. Um, I would agree. I would think if anything, um, it would probably be the uh, different type of needle that you might want to use. Um, I know some of them are a lot sharper than others. So yeah, I think the walking foot would probably be really good. We have ever some cork fabric and I know the walking foot works really nice on that, which maybe isn't quite the same as vinyl, but it's a little different. And um, I know you said that a different needle would be really useful. Um, if you are interested, um, we do offer packs of needles like for costumes um, that would include probably a needle that would be great for sewing vinyl. Um, there are some packs that we offer for sewing spandex, um, but if you'd like any more information on that, please let us know in the chat and we can get that to you. But I think this is a gorgeous machine. I mean, it, it's, I love all of the Eversewn machines. And if you've tuned in for the last two days, you know how much I love these machines. Um, I think that you're really getting a fantastic deal for your money, especially with these, um, because there is a lot that we are throwing in this month. So, and, and even on top of that, just the machine by itself with all of its built-in features for the price, this is a really, really fantastic uh, line of machines. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Whether it's a gift for someone else or a gift for you, it is uh, great to work with. All yeah. of the machines are. So it's time for our next $10 gift card giveaway. So if you would like to be in the running for that gift card, go ahead and leave us a comment. If you're on Facebook, uh, react to this post, go ahead and share this video with your friends. Um, and we will be pulling for that giveaway in just a minute. Um, but Angel, I think that wraps up our time together. This little half hour like flew by. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's been great getting to share our products with everybody. And I'm excited to be here, even though COVID kind of changed the way we were doing things this year, but yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we could still make it happen. Oh my goodness. Um, this has been this has been a whole lot of fun. So thank you so, so much for coming on and hopefully we'll see you soon. Hopefully next year in Houston, yeah. everybody can get together and we can see each other in person. I am so looking forward to that. And thank All you. Right. Yeah. Well, Take care, Angel, and hopefully we'll see you very soon. All right. Thanks. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was Angel Jepson over at Eversown. Thank you so much for watching all of our little presentations and demonstrations that we've been working on um, for the last through like the last two days and then today is our final day um so keep getting those comments in go ahead and share this post share it publicly share it with your friends so they can tune in and watch because like i said these are some really really incredible deals that we're offering and you're not going to want to miss this um these ever deals i believe we are offering them until the end of the month so you do have plenty of time but if you're looking for a nice little christmas gift to treat yourself i think that this is 
the perfect time for you to go ahead and pick up one of these. Um, I absolutely love them. I think that especially for someone who is interested in starting off quilting and not really knowing where to start, this plus the silver bundle with the bag and those Westerly starter templates will really, really put you in the right spot. Because remember, if you buy this machine this month, you're getting the machine, you're getting that deluxe quilting foot kit, and you're getting the extension table. So if you get all of that and the silver bundle, you can jump right into quilting. And even if even if you're not really familiar with it, I think that we have a lot of resources um, from our Westerly educators and a bunch of other educators that we've had on for, uh, for the festival this weekend who can definitely offer you some other amazing information and even some more products to really start in that quilting game strong. Um, so let's pull a name for our our next $10 gift card. Let's see if we have a name. Marilyn, Marilyn Whitco, you have won a $10 All Brands gift card. So congratulations. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Um, so since you did win that gift card, um, we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get that gift card to you. So if you would, Marilyn, please email events at allbrands.com and make sure that you give us your name, your phone number, and your email address so we can get that out to you. So we are gonna go to a very, very brief commercial break. Don't go anywhere stay right where you're at um because coming up next we are going to be hearing from martelli about some of their amazing products i have one of the workstations behind me if you can see it it is a really fantastic piece of sewing furniture it is incredible so you're going to want to hear a little bit more from them uh, in about five minutes but in the meantime don't go anywhere and we will be right back with more giveaways and more live demos so stay tuned At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Hey, everybody. Brian. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
All right, welcome everybody. We're back. Thank you for staying tuned in. Uh, if you are just joining us, hi, my name is Callie and this is the allbrands.com mall booth at the Houston Virtual Quilt Festival this year. So thank you so very much for tuning in. If you have joined us over the last few days, you know, how you, you've probably heard me say how much I love Martelli's products and uh, there's a good reason for that. They are all absolutely incredible. Um, um, so today we're going to be hearing a little bit more about this mat bundle that they are offering uh, or that we're offering through this uh, throughout the Houston Quilt Festival. Um, this is a fantastic bundle. Um, and if you are curious about their um, furniture or their, their work tables like the one behind me, um, then you can go ahead and go watch the video from yesterday and the day before um, because we talked about the signature workstation bundle. And I believe that there was another one that we talked about. Um, I want to say it was the workstation bundle and then the signature sewing station bundle, those two. So those are from Friday or Thursday and Friday. So if you missed those, hop on in and uh, give those a watch as well because they have some really, really fantastic information to offer. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're gonna go ahead and watch this video. Unfortunately, um, that Martelli could not be with us live for the festival, but that's okay because we got some really fantastic video content from them. So let me bring on Martelli. Hey everybody, Brian Jordan here, Danny Graham from Martelli Enterprises out of Pensacola, Florida. Welcome to the Virtual Quilt Fest in the allbrands.com booth. We are happy to be here. This is the exclusive provider for you for Martelli Tools. And we're going to go over some bundles today, okay? Uh, these are going to be some really, really good bundles. We're going to start with one of the most underrated products in our entire catalog. Is that right? Absolutely. This is the machine and foot pedal pad bundles. We're going to have two sizes for you today. Now, uh, what you need to do is get with all brands, and, and I'm, there's a way you're going to be able to uh, order these real quick and easy. Got any questions at all, make sure you give Barbara a heads up, and she'll take care of you, just like she always does. All right, going on first is our standard bundle. Here, hold that, Mr. Uh, yes, Mr. Vanna White. So, with Martelli, we make all these tools and templates so that they don't slip and slide for you. But the cool thing about the, uh, the machine pad and the foot pedal pad is we don't want them sliding either. So whether you're working on a featherweight, whether you're working on your Janome or whatever mm -hmm. machine, your brother machine that you're using, it does not matter. We want them to sit on this pad. It eliminates vibration and it takes care of that, it, it, the internal parts, right? Mm -hmm. So, but longevity. It, longevity. Yes, Good sir. one, Danny. Yes. Good. But it doesn't slip. I can move this all I want. It will not slip or slide. So it's never going to rock off or slide off your table. So this is our 11 by 17 one. And this is our, what is this one? The nine by nine, the nine by nine foot pedal pad. You'll never chase that foot pedal pad again, ever. So this is great. So this is the standard setup. Now we have for big, go big or go home. A lot of you have larger machines. So now we have a 12 by 21 pad that will fit most in every and all machines. You're going to love it. Okay. And then we have the 10 by 14 for those extra large foot pedal pads. You're going to want to get the big ones if you have a larger setup, right? Mm -hmm. So those things are going to be wonderful. So get this. Here's what we're going to do for those. If you want the standard machine and foot pedal pad, okay, this will fit your, all your regular domestic machines. No problem. This is still a wonderful product. This one is going to go for that retails around $40 for the package. We're going to do it for $34 with allbrands.com booth, okay? $34 for the machine and the foot pedal pad. Now, the larger setup where you have the bigger, the extra large, and then the extra large foot pedal pad, this one is going to go at retail at $55 or so, $50, $60 between that. This one's going for $48 for both. Both sides have that, uh, the no slip grip on there that we just showed you, eliminates vibration. Those are the two setups. So the machine and foot pedal pad bundles are wonderful. Smaller setup, which is not that small, $48. And then the larger setup, uh, I'm sorry, $34 for the smaller one. You're, everybody's <laughs> buying that one then, aren't they? $48 for, for the one. larger setup. When you can get this larger setup for $48, you need to go ahead get and it. jump on it. Because you have to buy these individual. We bundled them for uh, all brands. Okay. Moving it on, bring over the roundabout. This is one of our most popular items, if not the most popular, other than our workstations, which you'll have to see that day, which day that is. Okay, 
Here is the roundabout bundle. Now, here's what's going to happen here. We're going to give you a full, full setup with this. This roundabout bundle. Now, Danny, what's underneath this? Nice stainless steel ball bearings. And it's the most on the market, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So when you spin your base, it doesn't get out of control. It's a regulated roll. So you have your Martelli mat, your cutting commercial grade mat, 16 inches, right? Once you set it on there, it's a beautiful spin. It doesn't go out of line. You don't get those wobble cuts. It won't tip off. It won't roll over. It won't dip in the middle. That's 45 and 60. No, flippity floppities. Okay. He's good for some things, right? Flippity floppity. It's never going to bowl in the middle. Squaring up block. You have a 45 and 60 degree uh, lines on your mat. So you have a perfect, wonderful mat. Wonderful for like. Applique. Applique. What about retreats, workshops, mm, uh, traveling? traveling. You're, you're going to some applique that you just said. But we also give you the ironing board to go with it. Okay, so this ironing board is awesome. Keep it to the side. Don't put it on top of this mat. We don't want your mat going. That's right. So, but press, do all your stuff right there, but it's a full kind of workstation in one when you're on the go. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. So all three pieces, but it doesn't stop there. Okay. Like they always say, and there's more. That's right. So remember the grip that we just showed you on the machine pad. We put that on a ruler. This is a four by 16 ruler it goes right across this and it won't move at all. So now you have a perfect placement for all of your material that you're going to cut all of. Once it grips it, it grips it. There's no slippage anymore. Okay. So you got a four by 16. We're also throwing in the rotary color, the Martelli rotary color, the number one ergonomic cutter on the market by far. Remember, hold it like this, point at what you're cutting finger on the side. You've got a uh, grip on right here that flips open. Wonderful ergonomic cutting right there so much easier but that's not enough we're going to go ahead and throw in the five pack of blades you've got six blades to load you're good for that that is amazing what we're doing here for this package now this package if you bought everything separately hey, would be the ironing, man. the ironing board all of this to so think about this all of this no fabric all three layers pieces base cutting mat ironing board ruler five pack of blades and the Martelli cutter. It is a full roundabout bundle. Look at all the stuff that comes with this. Okay, so that roundabout is about a $200 product. It looks around $198. Let's just call that what it is, Danny. Mm -hmm. That's 200 bucks, all right? We're gonna do this for 159 for the entire setup, okay? So all of those pieces, this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, roundabout bundle. It gives you everything you possibly would need for your workshops, retreats, uh, classes, uh, training, even when you go to all brands to do a class. How about that? That's right. Right? Okay. So that's the two bundle setups immediately, right? Now we're going to get on to one of our most popular uh, bundle setups, and that are our two mat bundles. We didn't want to just do one. We're going to do two mat bundle setups. What is that? Well, our Martelli workstation mat or mat that goes on the workstations is double sided. You have a uh, Purple, and then you have a yellow. This is for color contrasting. Look at us using a darker color fabric, or it just has a little bit of darkness. It's going to pull out those uh, numbers and measurements a lot easier when you work on a light on top of a dark, and like a dark on top of a light. Mm -hmm. That's why we use this. This will be for lighter colors right there. Look at those numbers placed on the outside, not the inside. That's what you want. You don't ever want to have to peel your fabric back to see what you're trying to cut. Okay. We want to be able to see our numbers visibly. So we did a 26 by 38 mat. So now you've got your pull, full yard that you can actually pull out your numbers without ever losing the measurements. Our lines, the lines are not thick lines. They're like a 16th of an inch. What does that tell me? That tells me it's a true ruler measurement, 100% accurate mat that you're going to get all your measurements pulled perfectly accurate every single time. You won't have to worry about that at all. Okay. What about self-healing? The reason we we picked what we do here. Now, he's going to cut this mat right there. He, look how, like, he's jabbing it like nothing. I can't feel that at all, at all. And here's the reason why. We make it similar to like a, a PVC style astroturfy material. So it's similar to the stuff that make football fields. So it's super, 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 super resilient. Uh, and that's what you want out of your mat. You want it to last a long, long time. It may be even your last mat that you own. Okay, squaring up block on them, 45 and 60 uh, degree marks all the way across. But that's not all. We're going to give you the ruler that comes with it. Danny, what are the measurements on our 
uh, 24 inch no slip slip ruler right here. What do we got? You have your inch and a quarter, your one inch, your half inch, inch and a half, two and a quarter, inch and five eighths, two and a half, three inch, four inch, and your five and a quarter. So all your major strip sizes. That's right. <laughs> I mean, one more time. Yeah. Uh, here's the crazy thing about that. That is everything you'd ever need, even in your odds and end sizes. So mm -hmm. let's do this. One inch. What are we going to do right now? We do a one inch by strip. Okay. Take your and line, that's line a up, finicky line. cut. All he's doing is match lines. There's lines going all the way across everybody. So there's no, 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 no measuring. We're square that fabric up with lines. That's it. And all you're doing is matching a line on top of a line. How easy is that? Super easy. But it's in order to make that cut, it's awkward. Watch all the layers of fabric. Fabric stays right there with the ruler. Make a super easy cut. 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 And, cut. and there perfect. we have a perfect laser straight bias strip. Notice you can't even tell where the cut is. Look at that. That is super clean. Now, that wasn't just one layer, was it? No, that's a couple. Two, three, four quick layers. Some of you don't even do four layers, and that's the bias. Look how easy, clean, and perfectly accurate that was. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is perfect. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. When you allow the tools to work around you, you do not have to work around them. That is for sure. <laughs> so, that being said, we're also going to put the Martelli cutter in there. Now, let's go over this real quick while we got an angle. The cutter, oh, yeah, here's the Martelli Enterprise out of Pensacola, <laughs> Florida. Here we go. Here's how you hold our cutter. I want you to put your finger on top, and I want you to just get a good grip on there, okay? On the side, there's that little toggle right there. Look at the black little rubber strip that's right there. That black rubber strip is going to help me it's your tire. open it. It's my tire. That's right. It's, it's going to help me open it. And to close it, use your middle finger. Just try not to point it at anybody and then flip it back. Okay. Roll forward, flip it back. And then on the side, there's a little bubble right there. You can comfortably put your finger right inside that. Now I'm completely ergonomic and I'm not diving into my mat. I'm rolling on my mat and my cuts are going to be super clean. My blades are going to last tremendously longer. And that is how a Martelli ergonomic rotary cutter looks in your hands. And it is great. The proper way. The proper way to do things. Okay. So I'm going to flip this back and close it because we always want to close our cutters. There. There. Now we're also going to throw in the five pack of tungsten Martelli blades. Okay. These things will last you about three to five times longer than what you're used to cutting with because they're made out of that tungsten. It's a carbide and it is awesome. You're gonna love working with these cutters and the blades to go with it. You will not wanna change. So pulling it back and we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with this mat bundle. Now we also have two mat bundles for you. We're gonna do the large mat that you're seeing here. This is the 26 by 38 mat. So we're gonna roll over here and then we're also gonna be able to give you the larger option of our mat. Now this mat right here is 30 by 60. Okay. So this is our big gigantic mats. We love this mat. Everybody loves this mat. Uh, same thing, same dynamic. We've got purple and we've got yellow. We've got oversized lines. We've got numbers on the outside. We've got the same lines and the grids worked out on, but this one is 30 inches by 60. It is a huge mat. Okay. So, same thing applies when we do this. We're going to let you take care and we're going to get you the cutter. And we're also going to get you the blades to go with it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you that strip ruler that had 10 different strip sizes embedded into it with no slipping whatsoever, right? That's right. Okay. So that being said, let me grab my little cheat card. I'm going to come back over here to the 30 by 60. Come follow me. Follow me. Come on. <laughs> we're having a good time today. All right. So that being said, remember the large mat bundle that we did. That is a large mat bundle, 26 by 38 that we worked on and did all the cuts with. That mat bundle with the cutter, with the blades, with the strip ruler, and with the mat retails about 189 Let's call it 190 200 bucks, mm -hmm. right? 190 to $200. Allbrands.com booth during this event is going to do that full mat bundle for $169.99. That is a crazy good deal. That's good. Wonderful, wonderful bundle. What's this size? Nope. This size we're gonna change off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to ask Barbara on that one. <laughs> so the extra large mat bundle, this is the 30 by 60 mat. Same thing applies. Your cutter, your blades, and your uh, white strip ruler that we did, the 10 different strip sizes strip ruler or 24 inch strip ruler. That retails $249.99. Let's add the penny, it's $250. This one is going for $209.99, and I promise you that uh, the mat alone is almost $200. Yeah. So you, uh, that is a wonderful, wonderful good deal 
with the Auburn Smooth. Now, I want you to let them know what, what kind of hand you are. Our, hand, our cutters are hand-specific. So if you're a left hand, let them know you're left hand. If you're right hand, let them know you're right hand. But they're also going to do one more thing for you. Let them know whether you want the 45 millimeter cutter or the 60 millimeter cutter, and they'll take care of you. Have any questions? Like I said, get with allbrands.com or Barbara. They're wonderful people to work with and to deal with, and uh, they'll uh, they'll take care of you there. So any questions, they can answer that for you. So 250 down to 209 dollars and 99 cents for this mat bundle. And then let's go back over here real quick. And then this, the 26 by 38 map bundle is going to be $169.99. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bundle deals. And then we also have the, uh, the machine and foot pedal pad bundles. Uh, smaller bundle is going to be $34 for the machine and foot pedal pad. The larger one's going to be $48 uh, for the machine and foot pedal pad that we saw earlier. And then our roundabout bundles. Uh, let them know if you're left-handed, right-handed with that bundle as well. Uh, that one comes from $200 to $159, and that came with a lot of stuff with it. This is a wonderful opportunity to get your bundles today. Uh, I can't say enough about it. It's it's a really good deal. That's why you're here at the virtual uh, quilt festival, though. That's right. Don't and miss out. Yeah. So we appreciate you for joining. Uh, like I said, any questions, uh, get with allbrands.com, and they will be happy, happy, happy to help you. As uh, From us in Pensacola, Florida with Martelli Enterprises. Danny Graham signing off and Brian Jordan signing off too. We'll see you down the road. Thank you. All right, everyone. So that was our presentation from Martelli. And can y'all believe those prices? I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think we did a pretty good job. And uh, we have a viewer on YouTube saying that the bundle is worth it. And that they just bought the mat last year at the quilt show. And if they had gotten the bundle, would have saved money and got those extra goodies. And yes, yes, this is so true. Um, so Peggy says amazing products. They really are amazing. I love Martelli's products. You probably can't really see it behind me. Oh, no, you can't. I've got the roundabout set right behind me and I am obsessed with it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Oh my goodness. Um, so Judy says so many great products being shown and I agree. And, and Martelli just, Oh my goodness. They find ways to just blow my mind all the time, all the time. Um, all the time. Sandra says, uh, or Nancy says, nice deals. And Sandra says, my wish list is growing. And yes, I agree. Carolyn says, great prices. They are fantastic. Oh my goodness. So exciting. So, so, so exciting. Um, so if you have, um, if you just tuned in, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in with us. My name is Callie and this is the allbrands.com mall booth here at the virtual Houston Quilt Festival. Um, so thank you very, very much for tuning in. If you are curious about where to get these or any of these bundles, you can head on over to allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest to see the specials. We have special pricing over there, should be all available in Martelli's category page. And you can go look at those awesome mat bundles and go pick some of those up because they are really fantastic. Um, Elizabeth says, I bought the roundabout bundle at the show in Houston in 2018, love it. And yeah, it's really, it's really, really amazing. Um, so let's see, Kathleen says, how do you ship the larger 30 by 60 mat? And that is a fantastic question. Um, I am not entirely sure how we ship those, but if you would like to look into that before you buy them, you can go ahead and email customer service. Um, I believe we ship all of this through USPS, but don't quote me on that. That might not be true, um, but you can go ahead and email our customer service to get more information on that. That is csrgroup at allbrands.com. One more time, that is csrgroup at allbrands.com. Um, Janet says, the Martelli products are wonderful. And yes, they really are. Oh my goodness. Carolyn is asking, how long are the specials good for? Um, that is a fantastic question. Thank you for asking. Um, so I believe that these specials end today. So if you would like to get this Martelli special show pricing, hop on over to allbrands.com forward slash Quilt Fest, and you can get all of that. Uh, Cynthia says, I guess I'm going to have to come out of retirement. <laughs> oh my goodness. You definitely, if you should buy these, that's point blank, you should buy these.
absolutely a worthwhile investment. Um, Elizabeth says, my 30 by 60 mat came in a box rolled up and it flattened out on the table right away. And yes, that is absolutely true. Um, let me see if I can hop over real quick. Hopefully you can still hear me, but I'll kind of show you how easy these, uh, these flop away, basically. So hang on just a second. So not quite sure how well you can see this, but this is one of the workstations and the mat already comes inside and it lifts up like this. You have the other side with the yellow on there. And then even if you do have it kind of rolled up and out, um, these are very, very firm. So see that I have it kind of tilted. It comes right back down and it flattens out perfectly. So it'll go right back into place. It kind of falls into place because of the plastic, but it falls right back into place. Very, very easy. So even if it does come to you rolled up, um, like Elizabeth said, it will flatten out very easily. Um, Janice is asking, is there a special on just the rotary cutter? Um, there is not on just the rotary cutter, but I can say that those ergonomic rotary cutters that you saw in that video are on sale right now for $24.99, which is a fantastic deal for such an amazing uh, ergonomic product. And we do offer different packs of replacement blades. So we offer just one, you can get three, and I believe you can get five as well. Um, B is asking, um, if someone want a gift certificate today, could they use it today on these sales? Yes, I believe you can. Um, if you do end up running into any issues with that, you can email that customer service email address and they will get that squared away with you. Um, and Marilyn says, what a great mat. Yeah, these are, <laughs> these are really, really incredible mats. Um, so with that said, I think now it's time for us to do another $10 All Brands gift certificate giveaway. So go ahead and get those comments in there because this is another gift card giveaway. You know the drill by now if you've been watching. Get those comments in there, get those likes in there, get those shares in there, and you will have a chance to win another $10 All Brands gift card that I believe you can use on these specials. Um, so while y'all are getting your names in before we choose, um, Donna has a question. Is there a special on just the roundabout? I have everything else. Um, so we do offer that roundabout package. Um, I believe that the roundabout, just the roundabout um, by itself. Now, don't quote me on this. Um, yeah, don't, don't quote me on the price at all. Um, but... If you are curious, uh, I want to say the roundabout set. You know what? I will get that price for you, actually. Um, I will get that price for you. Um, so actually, I will also point out that we are offering a another little Martelli cutting mat. Um, we are offering the mini roundabout, and this is brand new. Um, we just added this to the site a couple days ago, actually. Um, this is the mini 10 inch roundabout set and it is eighty nine ninety nine. Um, so let me, um, let's see, I, I see we're getting all these, I guess, see, we're getting all these comments in here. That's fantastic. Uh, loving every minute of this. There goes my whole day watching your show. Love it. Good, good. Come spend your time with us. Uh, and you remember, you can always hop in and out, get a snack, come back. All of this will be available for playback. Uh, after we finish our broadcast around 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you do have to go for any reason, it's all good. You can come back and watch it later. We will have this back later. Um, Jane is wondering what the customer service email is. Again, it is csrgroup at allbrands.com. So let me repeat that one more time. It is csrgroup at allbrands.com. So that's it if you are curious or if you do have any questions, we will get back to you, excuse me, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, Marilyn says, you're doing a wonderful job, Callie. Thank you for all the useful information. Thank you for watching, Marilyn. Oh my goodness. And congrats on that gift card win earlier. That was fantastic. Um, so let's go ahead and pick that name for our next $10 gift card giveaway. Let's see if we have a name. Let's see if we have a name. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sally, Sally C, congratulations. You have just won a $10 All Brands gift card. Ah, that's so exciting. Okay, so Sally, 
go ahead and send an email to events at allbrands.com with your name, your phone number, and your email address so we can get that gift card out to you. And congratulations again. And don't worry, if you keep missing all the giveaways, that is a-okay. We are doing plenty more throughout the day. Um, and you are not going to want to miss those because we have some really, really fun stuff uh, coming later. Um, so we are going to go for a very, very quick commercial break again. Um, go ahead, grab a snack, go to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and go look at those specials while you're at it. Um, and so we will be right back and we have Joanne from Brewer talking about a new product and we'll have another giveaway. So stay tuned. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
everybody. Welcome back. We're back. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little, that little brief break that we had. Um, so if you are just joining us, hello, hi, thank you for tuning in. My name is Callie and this is the allbrands.com mall booth here at the virtual Houston Quilt Festival this year. So thank you so very much for tuning in. If there is some stuff that you missed either from today or from the last two days, that's okay, no worries. Playbacks for the last two videos from yesterday and Thursday are already up on allbrands.com slash quiltfest. Um, and all of this today will be on that same site, allbrands.com slash quiltfest. Uh, they will be back up and running as soon as we get off the air at right around 6 p.m. Central Time. So if there's anything you missed today, don't worry. Check back around that time and you can come back and watch all of today. Or if you just want to relive it because today's been a blast, because it has. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and thank you all so very much for tuning in. Um, Y'all are all awesome. Uh, Judy's back again. Thank you, Miss Judy. Thank you for coming back. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, this has been such a fantastic day. Oh my gosh, this has been such a fantastic weekend. Um, like I said earlier, this is my first quilt festival, my first Houston quilt festival, like period, point blank. Um, this isn't what I expected, but I absolutely am loving this. I am enjoying this so very much. So thank you all for tuning in and thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, host this booth and hang out with you guys. Uh, Christy says such a fun few days. I agree. This has been a really fantastic few days. And uh, Jane agrees. This has been so much fun. So thank you all so very much for tuning in. Um, so next, uh, I teased it a little bit before the commercial break, but we do have Joanne Nielsen from Brewer. Uh, she has been here with us live for the last two days. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it today. Um, Elizabeth Smith says, still here. Thank you for sticking with us, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, so Joanne couldn't be with us live today, unfortunately, but that's okay because we have video from Joanne and she is gonna be showing us this really, really awesome new iron from Brewer. It is fantastic. It's called the Euro Steam. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Shirley. I have really enjoyed this. I'm glad I'm making this a very memorable time for y'all. Larry said your intermission music will be in my head for the next month, but it's been fun. I know it's such an earworm. I find myself dancing to it during our little <laughs> commercial breaks. Oh my goodness. Um, loving it. Thank you. I'm loving it too. I'm having a fantastic time hanging out with everyone. So Thank you for sticking around with us. Um, so stick around for after Joanne's little presentation about the Euro Steam. Um, this is an iron available for pre-order. It's not available just yet, but you can pre-order it on our website over at allbrands.com forward slash quiltfest. And you can uh, take a look at all of that product information. It's already up on our site. Um, Cindy said, hi again from California. <laughs> I love it. I love that so much. Thank you so much for tuning in, Cindy. Uh, Elizabeth says that we've done a great job with the virtual show and hope that we'll continue it. Well, you're in luck, Elizabeth. Actually, um, if you haven't tuned in on the All Brands Facebook before, um, Barbara, who is running our brother booth, does live streams pretty much every week, uh, pretty consistently. So if you do want some more of this live stream goodness, you can go ahead and hop in. Um, we let y'all know. We'll keep you updated on the Facebook page. And if you don't already like our Facebook page, you know, if you're watching from, uh, from YouTube or something, uh, then go ahead and give us a like, follow our page, take a look at what we're going to be up to because we're going to be doing so much more after quilt fest so much more i hope you caught the pun i hope you caught that pun there <laughs> um babette said i've been jumping back and forth between you and barb she's dancing during the breaks as well yes oh my gosh it's it's a little earworm i love it so much um so before i chat y'all's ears off for forever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get Joanne, uh, get Joanne's video up for y'all so you can take a look at this awesome new Euro Steam iron. So let's see if we can get Joanne up here. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Joanne and I work for Brewer 
We are a distributor for all brands. And today I'm here to bring you or actually show you something that is brand spanking new. I actually just got this sample in today and uh, I wanted to show it to you. So you're very special. This group that is uh, viewing this is actually the first to see this product. It's called the Euro Steam Duo Iron. And here's what makes it so special. It, ha it looks like a regular iron, actually, if you look at it from this side. But this is the button that turns it on and locks the steam in place or um, lets you put it on as you need it. So right now I have it off, but it does two things. It works as an iron. So if you take a look at this, I have a, a little uh, foot block here that we can certainly can certainly use to be flat. So here we go. I'm going to give it a, a little press with this iron and I'm going to put the steam on and you can hear it pump up the chamber and there it goes. Wow, this gets hot too. Look at that steam. I hope you can see the steam that's that's coming out and that's what it looks at looks like. Actually, by the way, I'm demoing this on the Nifty Notions wool pressing mat. Uh, that's something that is also available that All Brands has on their website. And uh, this is what it looks like, only of course the mat is in here. It's a 14 by 14 uh, all natural wool mat that is great for foot blocks or anything small, applique pieces, something like that. So. Um, let me show you another great feature about this iron. Another, so here's what makes it extra special. And like I said, you're the first to see. It has a, uh, the reason they call it a duo or a duet is it has a rotating head. So the, the face plate on that is very hot. But if you turn it like this, locks in place, and now I'm going to leave the seam on. You can, can you see the seam? You can vertically seam things as you're, if you're, uh, fabric was hanging. So we'll just hold this up and see what it does. I realize it might be hard to see. Maybe we'll do it there. So I'm going to steam this like this. Look at that. And the crease is out. It also comes with some adaptable heads that you can put on. There you go. You can also use these for steaming. Um, let me turn it back around and show you. And it, it rotates very easily. 180 degrees. You just slip this plate on if you want to do some garment steaming. And then they also have this one, which is nice. So you can put this right up to your fabric and steam away. So we'll see them both ways. So it's a great product. You're the first to see it. They should be in stock very shortly. And we're really excited to have this. And uh, let me take the plate off. Comes off just as easy as this. Little snap. Iron away. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And I hope you're excited or as excited about this iron, this little steam engine. They call it a little, it's a Euro Duet Iron. Like I said, brand new, just got the sample in and wanted to make it available for everybody to see at the virtual quilt show. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Stay safe, have a happy holiday, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, and thank you all brands. All right, so that was Joanne Nielsen over at Brewer. This is a very clever little iron, Peggy. I agree. Um, and so while y'all are here, uh, I want to go ahead and do another little roll call in the comments. Uh, I want y'all to sound off and tell me where you're watching from because I love finding that out. I love knowing that information just to see how far you know, across the country, around the world, um, folks are coming in to watch. I think it's really, really fantastic. And just to, to get some more of your friends watching too, because I think that these are some really fantastic deals and this is some stuff that 
you really aren't going to be able to get at any other time, um, especially at these prices. So um, go ahead and share this with your friends as well. Share it on Facebook. Uh, I believe you can go over to um, that little share button. It's down in the bottom right hand of the screen. Uh, you can just click share now on Facebook, or you could just copy the link on if you're watching on YouTube and then share it that way. Um, whatever way that you prefer, really. Um, oh my goodness, we have so many folks sign, uh, sounding off. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we got Washington State. Um, we've got some more folks from Kentucky in here as well. Maryland's watching from Pittsburgh. Thank you so much for watching. Annie is in San Antonio. Wow. Uh, oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, Thea is still in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've got Cindy over in Phoenix. And Carolyn, you've been here all day. Yes, you have. Uh, and you're watching from South Dakota. Deborah Crum, you were watching yesterday, I believe. Deborah, you won a gift card yesterday. So congratulations again on that. Um, and you're watching from Florida. Um, so we've got St. Paul, Minnesota. Cool, sunny day. Oh my goodness. It's probably freezing. I, I would probably think it's freezing. Honestly, <laughs> I probably would. Uh, Fort Jennings, Ohio. So that's in Northwest Ohio. Thank you for that. Um, we've got North Mississippi. Awesome. New Jersey. Sally C is from New Jersey. Um, Babette is in Louisiana. Thank you so much. You've been watching for a while, Babette. So I appreciate that. Um, we've got Janet over in Virginia as well. That is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so very much for coming. Um, and keep sounding off because I love to know where y'all are from. Um, and this is something that Joanne uh, did not mention on uh, while she was doing her, her video, but I wanted to point this out for y'all. Um, so we are actually offering this iron right now. So if you take a look over here, uh, if you take a look over at our, ooh, if you take a look over at our website, allbrands.com, if you go to allbrands.com slash quilt fest, Nancy's watching from Puerto Rico. Wow, thank you so much for joining us. Oh my goodness. Um, so this is our Euro Steam Iron. This is the Euro Steam Iron that you can get through allbrands.com. Go to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and take a look at this because you saw the demos. I think that the demo speaks for itself. This is a really wonderful little nifty travel iron. Um, I, I think that it could even, I mean, not even just a travel iron. This is a fantastic iron all around. Um, so we have all the information available on our website right now. We have all of the attachments that it comes with as well. Um, and a few more images if you're curious. Um, this machine is absolutely wonderful. Um, and something else that I thought that I should mention, we talked a little bit about this on Thursday, but I wanted to bring it up again. Um, so we also have these really awesome Panasonic irons that are available through Brewer. Now, this one is an older discontinued model, uh, unfortunately, but the newer ones are even better. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this iron real quick before we draw for our next giveaway. Um, and we will we'll get started on that later. Um, so this is a Panasonic iron that you can get through us uh, that we get through Brewer. And these are some really these are really fantastic. Now, you might look at it at first and you see that sole plate. Uh, it looks pretty unique. It's not like you would normally expect from an iron. Right. Um, and let's see, Elizabeth says, I have the cordless iron, love it, me too. So the cool thing about this iron is specifically the sole plate. Now this is an older one, like I said, so this one has a stainless steel sole plate. If you do get the newer ones, which you can get on our website, they are up right now, they have a ceramic sole plate, which is even better. Um, and the great thing about this is that because it is shaped the way that it is, you can iron from all directions. It is so, so, so neat. Um, and like uh, like Elizabeth in the comments pointed out, this is a cordless iron. So it comes attached, it comes on this little base, like I um, like I took it out. It comes on this little base and it has, it functions both as a base and as its own little carrying case, right? And so all you do is you put this on the, okay, on the thing and you heard that little click, you put it on there like that. And it's got the cord back here that telescopes out, right? And it telescopes right back in as well. Um, 
and it has three different heat settings. I'm not quite sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can, um, but it does offer three different heat settings. And this thing also really puts out some pretty serious steam as well. Um, this thing can get hot, hot. It's really, really great. Um, and like a viewer pointed out, it is really good for the edges. It's so good for edges. Um, I found, so I, I actually, this is mine. Um, and I find that this is extremely useful for ironing all those little fiddly bits when I make face masks for folks. Um, it has become an indispensable tool between this and my tailoring ham for making masks. This has been the most fantastic tool. So like I said, this is an older model. So this little sole plate here is going to look different on newer models. It's going to be made of ceramic and not stainless steel, which is even better. So I'm thinking about upgrading this one, honestly. Um, and something else that I want to point out real quick. So I don't know if you can see it right there. There is a little button on this, uh, this iron. So if you take that button and you hold on to this iron while it's not on, obviously, if you hold on to that button, and let's see if I can do this here. Probably not, knowing my luck. Um, <laughs> okay, so if you notice, you press that button, and then you can take this little part out. So what this is, this is the place that holds all of your water, right, for your steam. Um, this one opens, and it opens right up here. You can just go ahead to the sink, fill that up, and then pop that bad boy back on your iron. It makes a little click, and you're good. You're good to go. Um, so let me put this back away, but I also want to point out it, this, the base and this little plastic part are its own little carrying case. These are some really, really awesome irons. So let me go ahead and show you where you can get these. So let's see if you go over to allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest uh you can go ahead and get these irons now this is the newer model this is the panasonic niwl 607 um this is it and um thea you um that is a really good question so the advantage of the ceramic versus the stainless as another viewer uh pointed out it does conduct heat better so this one can get hotter the new ones can get hotter um, and they do get a little bit hotter than the old models. Um, and you don't have any of that like scuffing. I mean, that's purely aesthetic, but I, I like it. You don't really get as much of that scratching and scuffing on the sole plate. Um, but this is our page for it. The new models we offer at $129.99 and we have a bunch of different options for colors. They have that rose gold that you see right there. We have this beautiful green or that blue kind of teal almost turquoise. Uh, we also have this really gorgeous champagne color as well. And like I said, this is a really, really fantastic iron. Um, it's incredible. So I think it's about time for us to do another $10 gift card giveaway. So go ahead and sound off in the comments. Give us some comments. Give us some shares. Give us some likes anything um let's see and uh so we will go ahead and pull a name for that very soon um so deborah is asking for a link for this i will show you exactly how to get to this so let me um let me pull up the all brand site for you real fast and i'll let you i'll show y'all exactly how i get to all of these specials oh she found it but i'm going to show y'all anyway so this is allbrands.com and look at that there's my face so if you see this little carousel right here, the Quilt Festival, click on that. And then you can scroll all the way down. And then you can take a look at our schedule as well. So we have a schedule going on for the rest of the day. Um, this is both the Brother Booth and the AllBrands.com Mall Booth. Um, but you can go ahead and shop while you are watching. So maybe you got it pulled up on your phone. You can go ahead and shop on your computer. Up to you. Um, and so you can scroll through all of these brands that we have, all of the ones that we are showing and that we have shown over the last few days are here. Um, and so if I keep going, click on Brewer, and that just opened a new tab that I'm going to have to share my screen for. So hang on just a moment. Let me share my screen again for y'all. So that will take you to a new tab and it will show you Brewer. So now if you go all the way down here, we have our coupon, which is something else that I need to mention for uh, from December 3rd. So third, let this this past Thursday all the way through December 31st, you will get 10 percent off 
all of the products that are featured on this brewer category page. So you can go ahead and scroll down. And that is the first thing that you click that you see right here. We have those two irons right up there immediately for you. Um, so that's that. And that's how you get to everything. So you can scroll through those little carousels. You can see what brands we have and you can click right on those brands for their specific category pages for all of our specials. Um, so let me see. Let me just make sure we have some questions. Um, how long does it take to get a gift card if you win? That is a very fantastic question. And I'm not entirely sure, Joy. Um, I believe that when you get your information to um, events at allbrands.com, if you do end up winning, uh, they will update you with information on that. Uh, I apologize that I don't have a more specific answer for you, but I hope that at least clears it up. Um, Cindy says, learning a lot. Yes, me too. Honestly, I've learned a lot from our presenters. Um, and I thought that I knew so much about all these products and it turns out there is a lot for me to learn. So we're all learning. This has been a really, really fantastic experience. Um, Donna says, I love that teal blue green color and that iron. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. He says, I really like that iron. Good Christmas gift to me. Absolutely. Tis the season to treat yourself. Oh my goodness. Like now is the time. Like I said, you can get 10% off of those Brewer accessories on that category page um, with that code Brewer 10 off at checkout. So if you are curious and you would like to look at all of the stuff that we are offering, all of those specials uh, for the Quilt Fest through Brewer, go ahead and check out that category page. I showed y'all how to get there. Um, and if not, if you can't remember how to get there, just go to allbrands.com slash quilt fest. <laughs> Donna said, what I learned is I want a lot of stuff. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh my goodness. I'm going to spend all of my money on sewing stuff. Like, easily i'm not even buying i'm, I'm not even going to buy christmas gifts for other people it's all just all for me <laughs> um elizabeth said i was told they're sending the gift cards on monday well perfect there you go so hopefully that is your answer i hope that clears everything up for y'all um and yes self-love 2020 hey this has been a rough year so let's buy some stuff for ourselves um so i believe it is time for us to announce our next $10 give gift card giveaway winner. And it was Paulette. Oh my gosh. Well, Paulette, you said you would love the gift card. Well, you got one. So congrats. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for tuning in, Paulette. Um, you guys have been, y'all have been amazing just to hang out with. Um, and so congratulations to you, Paulette. So if you win uh, a gift card, and Paulette, if you're watching this, I hope you're still watching, uh, go ahead and email events at allbrands.com uh, and please give us your name, your email address, and your phone number, and we will get that out to you. Um, and so, congratulations. Oh my gosh, that's so, so exciting. Um, so we have just, a, I'm going to field a few more questions in the comments real quick. Um, so Thea asked, how do you go back and forth between the two booths? So I see you're watching on YouTube, Thea. Um, if you do end up, if you do want to go over to Barbara's booth, um, you can go to YouTube, go to our All Brands YouTube account, and it should say that we are live in two different places. So you should be able to click on either or, or you could be like our, um, our viewer who I, I believe her name was Anne, uh, who was watching on her tablet and her phone at the same time. So you can always bounce back and forth. Why not? Um, Lorraine says, wow, what a great day. And today really has been fantastic. So stay tuned. Um, we are going to go to a very, very quick commercial break. Uh, but after the break, we are going to be bringing on Brent Taylor from Durkee. And we have a really, really awesome giveaway for, for Durkee. I'm not going to spoil anything, um, but it's not just going to be a gift card. I'll say that. I'll say that. All right. So we will be back in about five minutes, but stay tuned for Durkee. Don't go anywhere.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you if you've been watching, if you just tuned in, hey, we're so glad that you are here. So thank you so very much for coming. Um, so you uh, just saw a little presentation from Joanne Nielsen over at Brewer, and we gave away another $10 All Brands gift card right after her presentation. Uh, if you missed that, that's A-OK. -okay. It's all good. Hey, you're very welcome, Paulette. Congratulations on the gift card win. Um, so if you are curious or if you have missed some stuff, no worries. You can go ahead and check out allbrands.com slash quiltfest. Those should have all of the days of the festival. So we have playback available for the first two already. Um, and then if you go through, um, there's a little carousel up at the top of that page um, and you will be able to see day three you can go ahead and watch that live so um we have thea over in the comments who wanted to um she's having trouble getting a day three at the brother booth so if you are curious so you'll see in the carousel we have day two up right now since uh that's like the playback that we have that's most recent if you keep scrolling through this carousel that was one two now three times 
Uh, if you just click on this little arrow right here three times, you'll be able to find the brother booth and the mall booth. So if you do need to go anywhere, close out YouTube or Facebook or anything, that's a okay. You can go ahead and uh, and go ahead and find us on the website. So it's all good. Um, and again, like I said, that playback is already up. Uh, you can go ahead and go to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and go ahead and shop these specials. Um, but let me stop talking uh, because we have a lot of presenters and a very packed schedule. Nancy is wondering, are the So Steady demos coming? And yes, they are. We will have Kate Quinn with us at 2.30 central time so right after uh, our next presenter who i'm going to bring on so we have brent from Durkee back with us again today to talk to us about some really awesome stuff and to do a pretty cool giveaway but i'm not going to spoil that just yet so let's bring him on hi brent can you hear us brent hear me i cannot hear you yeah okay i can hear you now <laughs> okay all right it just came through well good afternoon and hello everybody Hello, it's so good to see you again, Brent. <laughs> great, great to see you. Day day three, right? Day three, final day. My, my only hope for this whole deal is that everybody's having a great time, making the best of the situation they possibly can, and hoping, like I'm hoping, that we're face-to-face -face this time next year in Houston. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I bet you are too. Okay. Well, today is kind of a wind-up. On Thursday, we talked specifically about single needle easy frame products with our cap frames and our easy frames products that we make for single needle machines yesterday we talked about multi-needle machines again cap frames easy frames and a variety of products that we have for the multi-needle machines today we have reserved to talk the entire time or the short period of time that we really have about the packages that we have available for all of the different um, single needle and multi-needle machines and we're going to go through there uh, fairly quickly but I do want to say this, Callie, when I finish with this next statement or two, if you will, tell them what they need to do to be involved in trying to win this, this giveaway, this door prize today, because folks, I'll tease it this much. This door prize that we're going to be giving away at the end of the program is worth about $500. So don't take it lightly. Be, do whatever Callie says to do right now to get your name in the pot. So Callie, tell them what to do. $500. Okay. Y'all heard that right. You heard that right. $500. That is how much this prize is worth. So keep on watching and keep on watching through Brent's demo. Now, what I want you to start doing now, because this is going to, this is going to be a pretty contentious giveaway. Go ahead and start commenting now. Put all of those comments in there. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, doesn't matter. Put those comments in there. Go ahead and give us a like or a share if you're on Facebook as well. And uh, you, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, this is like blowing my mind here. Uh, comment now, get in here and enjoy. Um, so B, if you're wondering, uh, somebody said that they couldn't hear what you had just said. We are giving away, and by we, I mean Durkee is, Durkee is giving away a prize over, worth over, fi worth $500. Sorry, I'm jumping all over my words here because like, oh my gosh, this is wild. So y'all get in there, like and share, and I will let Brent take over. All right, sounds great. Well, since we started on Thursday with the single needle products, I want to talk about the single needle packages that we have available first. And I'll start with this. And hopefully you can see at the very top of this uh, board where it says package number one. Now, what I'm, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to bore you with the fact that there are six different packages. I'm just going to show you one. And these are packages of single needle easy frames. And let me explain, because we talked about this on Thursday, but in case you weren't with us, what I'm about to say next is really important. Some folks, and I'm going to lay this down, some folks have the mistaken idea that if your machine's sewing capability, that is the, the sewing field of your machine, and I'll use this as an example. Let's say that it's a machine that has a maximum sewing field of eight by eight or I should say eight by 12. Your machine will read all hoops from eight by 12 down. It would read an eight by eight, seven by 12, six and a quarter by 10 and a quarter, six by six, five by seven, four by four, anything eight by 12 or smaller. If you were thinking, you know what? I'd like to have one of those nine, nine and a half by 14 frames. And you purchased it and you put it on your machine, your machine would just sit there and go, huh? It has no idea. It will not read it. It makes no, it won't, it won't work in your machine. So please understand 
The reason we have six of these packages, if you go to, to Allbrand's website and you look at them there, or if you go to our website, using it as a resource and, and find your package, then go back to Allbrand's to make your purchase. Just make sure you understand the reason we have six packages, what you want to look for is the largest hoop that will work on your machine. If the largest hoop that will work on your machine is a nine and a half by 14, if you have a dream machine or a dream two, here's your package, package number one. And then there's a package two, three, four, five, six. Again, the largest hoop in that package should be the largest size that your machine will recognize. I hope I've made that clear, okay? So there's six of these different packages. Feel free to go there and look and then go to all brands and make your purchase, okay? So that's the basic single needle easy package. It comes with four different single needle easy frames. And the reason these are so great, no more hooping. All you do is put sticky backing on the underside, sticky side up, and do what's called float your material. Float your fabric with your garment on top and stitch. That sticky backing holds your product in place so you do not have a two-piece hoop, okay? Nice, clean, and simple. The second real benefit of our easy frames is with the single needle easy frames, your machine will recognize the hoop. So if you put an eight by 12 in there, it's gonna know you've got an eight by 12. And the sewing field for that hoop is eight by 12. So everything makes up just like it was a factory hoop. That's for the single needle machines only, okay? Now these, these, this product, these single needle easy frames are available only for the machines that have the slide in type adapter, okay? A little adapter that slides into what we call the garage the parking lot. It's actually, I guess, called the pantograph technically, but the, the part it slides into, that's what these are for, okay? So that's package, a uh, four-piece four package, six different ones available for whatever size machine that you've got, okay? Hey, From Brent. That, we talked about on Thursday. Uh, hey, Brent, we have a few questions. Okay, sure. Okay, just a few. We have just a few already, but we have so many viewers today. Oh, my goodness. Um, so someone was wondering, um, uh, one of our viewers, Mary, has a Bernina E16. Do you offer hoops for the Bernina E16? The answer is absolutely yes. That company is now owned by, uh, the Melco is owned by Bernina, and the E16 is the same as a regular 16 needle uh, Melco machine. So the answer is absolutely yes. Everything we have, everything we have, we have for that machine. So we have a few more. Um, so Rachel is wondering if these are for flatbed or free arm embroidery machines. Uh, what I'm showing you right now, these are specifically for flatbed machines. I'm going to get to the to the open arm free arm machines in just a minute. But these are specifically for the flatbed machines. And one more. So we have uh, Janie wondering if these are compatible for Viking machines. In the single needle, they are not. In the multi needle, we have several products for the for the Viking 10 needle machine uh, that they have out now, but we don't have anything for their single needle. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'll leave you to it. Okay. All right. So that's those, those six packages uh, contain four different easy frames for the flatbed brother baby lock machines. Let me be real specific brother baby lock machines. All right. So with that, we had had an idea uh, to offer something that's a little different and put a little kicker in there. If you will, now hold this up a little higher in just a second. We took the same concept of the four frames and we said, look, everybody wants that cap frame or most everybody wants the, the ability to make a, a cap uh, as we have shown repeatedly. Uh, this was made on a Luminator, okay? That design was actually in the machine and we made that on a Luminator, okay? So we said, look, the cap frame is so popular, why don't we take a set of easy frames for the two largest machines now? Let me be very specific. This is for the Luminaire 1 and 2 and for the um, Dream 1 and 2. We have two different packages. So order the one if that's what you want for your machine. It includes four, the same four easy frames, single needle easy frames that we talked about a minute ago, plus a bonus easy frame. That makes it five. And then the cap frame is involved as well. So with that package, you're not only going to get the four easy frames that would be in the package I showed you a minute ago, you'll get a fifth frame that's a bonus that's free and then you'll get the single needle cap frame. And again, the way that single needle cap frame works, it simply goes into the five by seven hoop that came with your machine. You take the inner part out, put our cap frame into the outer ring, slide it into your adapter, and away you go. Again, we have videos on our website. You can watch videos on how to do all of it. So this particular one, uh, the, uh, this is the uh, SMPP2. This is for the uh, Solaris from uh, Baby Lock and for the Brother Luminaire. 
So that would be for the Solaris, Solaris 2, Luminaire 1, Luminaire 2, okay? Then we have the same exact thing available. We call it single needle power pack 1. Get you get a good shot of that. And this is for the Destiny and Destiny 2 and for the Dream and Dream 2. So if you have one of those machines. So this is the package that incorporates all four of the frames, just like the first package I showed you, plus a bonus frame, plus the cap frame. So there you're kind of stretching your machine out and letting it do everything it's capable of doing with all of those frames, okay? Any questions before I move on, Kelly? Let's see. So we have two. Uh, Judy is wondering if these work for Janome machines. Janome single needle machines, no. Janome multi-needle machines that I'm about to get into next, yes. Awesome. And then we have Charlene wondering if these are magnetic. No. None of the hoops that we offer are magnetic. No. And uh, so we have another one from Donna. Uh, she has a machine, a Brother SE 1900. She said five by seven is the biggest it will do. So she's assuming it won't work with her machine. Um, but what, what uh, could you maybe offer or do you have any other sizes that, uh, that would work with her machine? Okay, great question. If your machine has a maximum sewing field of five by seven, we don't have a package for your machine, but what we do have is we have a cap frame for your machine. Again, it's just like for the for the Luminaire, Solaris, et cetera. Yours is just a little bit different, a little bit different shape. It looks the same, but it's not. Again, take the inner part of the five by seven hoop that came with your machine, take it out, put our cap frame insert into it, put the cap in, and away you go. So we have the cap frame for your machine, and that's the only product that we've got for your machine. Now, is, is, is your machine, you know what? I wanna make sure that I'm real clear on something now. Does your machine, does, does the arm slide in like this, or does it snap on the side like this? Can you answer that for me? Um, I will wait to hear back from her. Um, okay. And I see some other folks asking about compatibility. Um, if you are curious about whether these uh, frames or these hoops will work for your machine, you can head on over to allbrands.com slash quiltfest uh, and take a look at all of Durkee's hoops. We have lists of like what machine is compatible or what hoop is compatible Great. with what machine there. Great. All right. All right. Good uh, I will leave you to it then, Brent. <laughs> okay. I want to skip over now to, to the multi-needle machines. Again, I said this yesterday, but in case you weren't with us, when we talk about multi-needle machines, we are including, we're including the Brother Persona PRS 100 and the Baby Lock Alliance. Yes, both of those machines are single needle, but they're both tubular arm machines. So those machines function just like the six needle and 10 needle. So the same basic line of products that we have available for the six and 10 needle, we have available for the Persona PRS 100. So let's start with that right off the bat. We call this the ASK MSK starter kit. Once someone has that, that, that new machine, whether it's the Persona PRS 100, which is the ASK by the way, which is the Alliance starter kit or Persona starter kit, it's just slightly different. The products are exactly the same, but the arm widths are just a little bit different. That's why we have to have the two different ones. So if you have a Persona or if you have an Alliance, these are the most basic products we have that everybody, everybody wants. It includes our multi-needle cap frame. It includes our seven-piece easy frames. And it includes the three most common or most widely loved and liked and used tubular hoops that we, that we make available, okay? So those are the three most popular commercial-grade hoops. And we sell these to commercial companies all over the world. So that package includes the ASK is for the Alliance or the Persona. The MSK is if you have a multi-needle, six needle or 10 needle, okay? So the ASK and the MSK. So from that list, we have a question, I'll move to the next one. Again, yesterday we talked about our product called Easy Frames. And if you're not familiar with that product, please go to the website, watch some videos, uh, go online, join some chat rooms. I think you'll have very, very favorable feedback. We created about three years ago, a very, very stable product uh, that doesn't bounce up and down like some competitive products. It's very stable. And that allows you to have better registration, a better finished product, rather than something that's moving all over the place while you're trying to stitch. And we created what we call a four-piece kickstart combo. And rather than trying to make somebody buy seven or 10 or 12 or whatever, however many pieces, 
We said, look, why don't we create a basic starter kit? We call it the Kickstart Combo. And all of our sets include the blue adapter arm, which you must have, okay? Now, one question I did not, I did not address yesterday because it wasn't asked, and I didn't, wasn't smart enough to remember to, to bring it up myself. The easy frames themselves, the silver frames that you see, they're universal. In other words, if you happen to have, let me give this as an example, if you had a persona and you had a 10 needle machine, will those same frames work on the, on the different adapter arms? Absolutely yes, okay? The only difference is capability. That persona, as far as easy frames are concerned, the largest size it will use is the eight by eight, okay? The six needle and 10 needle, they will use all of the easy frames. So this basic kickstart combo, this kickstart combo includes the blue adapter arm, two by four, five by four, seven by five, and eight by eight easy frames. Now, when I get those sizes, those are the actual sewing fields of the frames that come with this set, okay? So that's the four-piece kickstart combo. Now let's move up to the seven-piece. This is our bestseller. Uh, without question, uh, this is the best-selling package that we have. It includes the blue adapter arm and seven different easy frames. And now if you're going to test my memory, here we go. It includes a two by four, two and a half by four, three by four, five by four, seven by five, eight by eight, and the radius, what we call the radius cap back frame, okay? So all seven of those frames are included in the seven piece combo, all right? So now to move on, the eight piece, I don't have a picture of, I'm sorry. It's the exact same set plus the 12 by eight, okay? It's exactly, the eight piece set is exactly the same as the seven piece, that, that eight piece is the 12 by eight hoop, okay? Or frame. Well, we just kind of kicked it over the hill here. What about somebody that wants it all? I don't want to have to, at 10 o'clock at night, I've got a job to do. I don't want to have to be looking for something that I don't have. 12 piece maximum set. We call this the, uh, uh, 12 piece combo, and this is great for, for your six needle or 10 needle machine. Now, this again is the eight piece set we just showed you. And I want to show you four additional sizes of frames that come with this one. They're available, all of these are available to purchase individually, but let me just show you quickly. This is a one and a half by four sides of tennis shoes, tongues of tennis shoes, collars, cuffs, et cetera, et cetera, pockets, obviously. Okay? The three by eight. Shirt sleeves, pant legs, that type of thing. And we call this the five by eight because we call everything by size. Our customers name this hoop and they call it the onesie hoop. It's a perfect size hoop for onesies. Five by eight sewing field, okay? Last but not least is the 12 by four, okay? If you're doing something really wide, uh, long monograms on beach uh, towels or bags or duffel bags or karate belts or dog collars, and that, those types of products. There we go. Something very long. Let's move on. This happens to be our absolute bestseller. It's the two products that everybody with a multi-needle machine wants. Now, again, I say multi-needle. Same products are available for the Persona and the, uh, the Alliance. We call this the multi-needle power pack. These are the two products, the seven-piece easy frames and the cap frame, okay? And by the way, this is what we're about to give away in just a few minutes. And again, I'm going to explain that, okay? Last but not least, to people who have the 10 needle machine, you must have a 10 needle brother or baby lock machine for this package to work for you. It's exactly the same as the multi needle power pack, but it has one more big difference. And that big difference is a gigantic 14 by 14 sturdy frame. Because your machine will allow you to do a split design that has a camera. You'll be able to put it in, stitch half the design, take it out, turn it around, put it back in, stitch the other half of the design and you'll be able to have a 14 by 14 finished product, okay? So that's called the 10 needle power pack. Now, before I turn it back over to Callie, Callie, I'm gonna throw you a little bit of a curve. I'm gonna do something just a little bit different than what we said we were gonna do in the beginning because it doesn't make sense to give a multi-needle power pack to someone who has a single needle flatbed machine. So here's what I wanna do. Whoever the winner is, hear me out, whoever the winner is, when they say, send us your name and address, et cetera, et cetera, please send them the type of machine that you have, okay? Tell them I've got a Luminaire, I've got whatever machine you've got, and then we will know what package to send to you, whether it would be single needle or multi-needle, okay? 
I hope that makes it a lot better for everybody. Perfect. It's kind of frustrating to get, to get a package that wouldn't work for your machine, okay? So, Callie, those Perfect. are the packages. What do you want to do? Let's give them away. Let's give them away. All right, y'all. So, hey, you heard Brent. Let's give them away. All right. So, put those comments in there. React to this post. Go ahead and share this video. Share it. It only takes a couple seconds and it will give you extra entries. Okay. Uh, let me, um, while y'all are commenting, we got another question from Thea. She is wondering if you need the table extension to use the large easy frame on the baby lock enterprise. Any, that's a fabulous question. Fabulous question. Anytime you're sewing anything flat, in other words, you're not doing a shirt that has to go around the tubular arm. Anytime you're sewing anything flat, it's always encouraged to use either the extension arm or the table, if you, whichever one of the two that you've got. Great question. Anytime you're sewing flat, all the support you can give it, great. Awesome. All right. So let's give it another minute or so, because you all are not going to want to miss this. Obviously, you heard. In case you just are just tuning in and you totally missed this, we are giving away a prize pack worth $500. Yes. Yes, you heard that right. This is so exciting. So uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, we've got comments going crazy. The people are just blowing up the comments here. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Okay, uh, so let's see. Um, and we have some other people thanking you for that demo. This has been a really, really informative demo as always, Brent. So thank you so thank much you. for this. Thank you. And Kelly, if I may, the one thing I have been remiss in doing, I, I promise you from my heart, I feel it, I think it all the time, I don't say it enough. And I really, really mean this to all the people watching, to all the people that, and, and thank goodness, there's thousands around the country and around the world that have bought and are using our products. I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you for, for trusting us, for trusting our products. And uh, everything we make is made in the USA. We're, we're fanatics about uh, loving this country. So we love our products and we love you. And anytime you've got an idea for a product, most of the products that I've developed, in the last several years come from you. People are constantly saying, well, why can't you make this work? So please feedback your ideas, but most importantly, thank you for supporting Durkee. We really do appreciate it. We honestly do. Yes, we have one more question before we announce our giveaway winner. So okay. B would like to know how long the sticky back lasts. I'm, I'm gonna make an assumption here because I know I have a lot of time. I'm assuming that you're meaning once you use it, can you use it again? If that's what she's going for versus if you've got a pack of a sitting on the shelf, how long will it last? I'm going to assume she's talking about once you use it, can you use it again? Um, I can't go into a great deal of detail about that right now, but let me give you this. Uh, when I'm at trade shows, I, I laughingly ask the customer, I say, let me teach you how to cheat legally, okay? So, for example, when we're doing cap frames, when you tear off the cap, if you're careful in how you do it, actually any project, but it'll, it'll leave a, a little hole where your, where your sticky backing was stuck to the product and where you stitched. If you'll cut a patch and put on the bottom of that, again, sticky side up, typically you can use that original piece, depending on how big of a design you're doing, typically you can use it two to three times. I would never try to do it more than three times, okay? So we're talking about using the original piece and then cutting a patch and patching where you tore off the first, first project. I hope that answers the question you were trying, trying to ask. I hope so too. Okay, okay. so. I think we have our giveaway winner. So Drunk it's old. Carolyn. Oh my goodness, Carolyn. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, you just won. You just won a gift, a prize over worth $500. Congratulations, Carolyn. Way to go, Carolyn. Oh my goodness, yay. This is awesome. So Carolyn, like we talked about, uh, you've been watching all day, so you know the deal. Go ahead and email events at allbrands.com and give us your name, phone number, email address, and the model of your machine so we can get you the right package. There you go. Because Durkee is so awesome and they are gonna make that happen for you. Oh my gosh, this, is, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much, Brent, for coming on and for giving that away. That is absolutely amazing. And My thank pleasure. you for making the last day of the festival so awesome. My pleasure. And thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I really appreciate you tuning in and viewing with us. All right, Brent. Well, hopefully we will see you again very soon, and we'll talk to you later. Hope so. Thanks. Take care, everybody. All right. Bye, Brent. <laughs>
All right, y'all. So that was our Durkee giveaway. Oh my gosh, Carolyn, congratulations. That is awesome. That is so, so awesome. So like I said, go ahead and email events at allbrands.com. Give us that name, phone number, email address, and the model of your machine. And Carolyn, you're just learning to embroider and this is going to be so easy. Oh my gosh, this is going to be make your life so much easier with these awesome jerky frames. So we will be right back after a very quick commercial break. And then we will have Kate Quinn from So Steady on with us. So don't go anywhere. In the meantime, head over to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and shop our specials, but stay tuned, okay? At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you uh, if you're just tuning in, you just missed an amazing giveaway from Durkee, unfortunately, but not to worry. We are doing plenty more giveaways throughout the day and you will be able to enter through those in our little comment section. Even if you're just watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, whatever, you will be able to join. Oh my goodness. This has been such a wild day and it's it's halfway over. Like today has flown and I am so happy that I've gotten the chance to host this and to hang out with all of you. Larry says that me and all brands are doing a great job. Well, thank you, Larry. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I, I agree. I think it's way more fun to watch live demos and stuff than just watch YouTube videos. There, there's some more interaction there and I love interacting with everyone. So this has been, this has been an absolute blast. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for tuning in. Charlene, hello from Ohio. Well, hello, we are, I'm actually in the Baton Rouge office right now. So hello from Baton Rouge and it's good to see you again too, Charlene. So thank you all again so much for being here. Um, if you have just tuned in, don't worry. All of the playbacks for the festival are available on allbrands.com slash quiltfest. Um, we have playbacks from the last two days up already. And the playback for this video should be up when we end our broadcast at around 6 p.m. Central Time. It's 2.30 though, so we still have about three and a half hours left. So this has been, oh my gosh, this has been a wild day, right? And it's only gonna keep getting better from here. It really is. Um, so we will be bringing in, hello Kathleen from Minnesota. Hi again, welcome, welcome back. So we will be bringing in, uh, we're gonna be bringing in Kate Quinn from So Steady in just a moment. Um, and I don't even have, I, I don't know. I'm still just so like blown away by how great today has been. Um, but let me stop talking and let me go ahead and bring Kate on. Hi, Kate. Hi, everybody. Hi. I am the uh, hand behind the camera here because we have <laughs> such amazing products that we know that's what's really important right now. So as you can see on my screen, I have my So Steady Wish Table, which is a beautifully, precisely cut table that fits my sewing machine. So Steady does custom cut all of our tables to exactly fit your make and model. This is a custom product designed to suit your exact make and model and give you that amazingly clean cut look on your machine. And one of the exciting specials that I'm happy to bring to you is we do have some holiday table specials going on. This table right here, it's 22 and a half inches by 25. So it's really big here. There's quite a bit of room right here in front of the machine, as well as supported in the back of the machine. And this table has this beautiful blue drawer right here, which you can see I'm making really good use of, right? Look at all my stuff in there. So we have our dream table, which is this same size table. And it has all of the same features. It has beveled edges, the amazing drawer. The one thing that it doesn't have is our integrated circle sewing tool. And the reason it doesn't come with that is because we have a new tool called our universal circles and straights tool. And the special holiday promotion for this is going to be, you will get this circles and straights tool. And we're also pairing it with our amazing, huge travel bag as our holiday special. So the way that this works, you get two pieces. And this is the circles and straights mat. It has a little peel off option right here. And all you have to do is line it up on your sewing bed. And there's some pretty clear marks right there that will allow me to line it up right there with the needle and just press it on like that. It's going to stay great. And then this sticky back right here, I'm going to give you a caution. It's super sticky. So tack it on your pants or whatever. And then you can just line up those lines right on whatever circle size that you want. And you're gonna line up the needle in line with that and you'll peg your fabric. And let me show you a really cute sample of how amazing that that sews. Sorry guys, I got a lot of samples here. So this is our circle sewing tool. And this is an example of a really cute design that it can make for you. Isn't that adorable? 
I've got little spools of thread, little hearts, and little elephants. So this is reminding me of my daughter. She already asked for this to be made into a fanny pack for her in miniature. And you can put embroidery designs in the middle. Having this flat surface allows you to do so much. Plus, you can take this same tool and you would just pull it off gently, nice and slow, pull it up. And if you wanted to use it as a straight guide, you can set it over here and line it up at whatever spacing you want. And that can be your straight guide. So you would not be using your ruler foot with this. This would be always with your straight stitch foot or a decorative foot if you're doing decorative circles. So that's part of our holiday dream package. So we hope that you will find that to be really fantastic and amazing. And I'm gonna make it even better. Are you ready? Let me take this off. I got something else to show you. When you take any of your gliders off, keep your foot on to protect that so the needle won't cut it. This has a cutout, so treat it a little gently so you can just pull it up. It comes right off, no problem. And you're gonna keep your plastic backing right there so that you can protect that and just make sure that it's gonna stay nice and sticky. The care for this is just rinse this with cold water and all of the lint will just come off, okay? So we'll just put that away. We'll save that for later. Let me show you what my amazing special giveaway is for our holiday package. We are giving away this awesome ruler work glider, which I adore. You will see a lot of my videos. I'm almost always have this on. And this covers up the gap in the table and any elevation changes with the throat plate, the bobbin case, it allows you to have a perfectly smooth work surface. And this is going to be $1 if you purchase one of our holiday table packages. $1 for this amazing glider, which works fabulous. So I hope you'll take advantage of that if you need a table. And I'm gonna talk about one of our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway specials real quick, because I think it integrates really well with the table discussion. So when I first got mine, my table i had it for about 17 years and one day i was at a show and one of the owner's cousins was chatting with me and she's like oh have you ever polished your table and i looked at her and i said oh no i have polished smallish you know it, it works great i've used it for years and years i don't need any polish and she looked at me and she laughed and she said honey come here and she took her table polish and she you know put it on applied it and the way you do it is you're just going to take a little dab, about a dime, not too much. It works really well. And the bottle will last you for a really long time, definitely more than a year, probably more than two. And it comes with a microfiber cloth, and you're just going to polish it into little circles. And you can polish the table and any of our plastic surface gliders like this one. So the circle mat is polishable. This ruler work glider is polishable. Our grid glider is polishable. And all of our tables are polishable. As well, you can use our polish kit on any of the machine beds that have a clear, shiny surface. They're not as effective on the textured ones, but they, they're not destructive. I mean, it's a very gentle process. And then, like, if you just put your little piece of fabric on there, look at that. Is that not crazy? So we are doing our special giveaway today is our table polish. And if you get a table, I encourage you to add that to your purchase because it is really fabulous. So real quickly, before we get into some of the meat and potatoes of our demo, I'm going to share one more of our giveaways today, which is pretty fabulous. So let me show you these fabulous things that we have and look at how many different colors we have, right? These are called the Crafters Notions Necklace. And we're gonna share some ideas for ruler quilting here. So I wanna pull this up. This is my Notions Necklace and this is my spacing gauge. And I love that it is teal. The one that I've had in the past have always been clear and really difficult to find. So by putting it uh, on one of these Notions necklaces that I can easily take it off and use it and snap it back on. You can use this for many different things. You can put a little USB cord on there. You can put a small snips, maybe a tweezers with a little 
a lanyard like that. And then it's going to be available whenever you need it. And I have mine strapped around the leg of my So Steady table because I'm notorious for dropping it and it falling down when I'm broadcasting. So I love that it is holding it so beautifully and keeping me from getting into trouble. So that's one of the other giveaways that we're gonna share. There are 10 different colors of these awesome little things. And I encourage you to get more than one because they are super useful and you can even color code them for whatever you need, you know, based on either use or based on matching in your sewing room. And they are fabulous, not very expensive. You definitely want those. So let me move this down and I'm gonna share with you my own product and I'm super excited. And this is definitely a shameless plug. I'm so happy to share it with you. So about a year ago, the owners of So Steady challenged some of their educators to, to do something different, to create something that connects the patchwork and the quilting. Because I can teach you ruler work on a plain sample all day, but how do we integrate that to actually use that on our quilted projects? So what I've got in front of you is the fun and fancy template collection. So it's a it's a I, I'm going to call it a six piece set because here you actually get two different ovals. One will be a little bigger and one will be a little bit smaller. And you can use both of these as different pieces. They'll create different shapes. So I'm going to call this a six piece template set. All of these templates are designed by Leonie West. They're not designed by me. But what I've done is I've taken these templates and I've created over 100 different designs and I've written a book called the Fun and Fancy Path to Ruler Work Quilting to show you how to use them, to encourage you, to encourage your creativity, and also to connect it to really quilting your quilt and getting those patchwork blocks quilted, not just looking at these pretty rulers. So Kelly, would you mind um, pulling up the Fun and Fancy album so we can just show some of those images of how those quilted blocks look? Yeah. Most of the designs in this album showcase the actual fun and fancy templates. There may be a few designs that will have some other ones like our circles on quilts. So I just want you to know that, you know, most everything is quilted with these tools, but there may be a few variations. So I'm going to let Kelly share that with you as soon as she's able to get that up. The concept of the book was we are creating step-by-step -step designs and there's a section for each different template to showcase the primary use of that template. And then at the back of the book, there is eight different quilt blocks and it shows you how those blocks are quilted using these tools. And if you're really interested, I also have the pattern for that quilt. So you would have the opportunity to both make the quilt and then use the ruler quilting templates and to quilt them and have the pattern for that as well. So Kelly, how are we doing? Is it, uh, are you able to get it up or? Oh yeah, yeah, it's up. I've been, I've been scrolling through the, uh, through that little, uh, the album. Oh, okay, great, okay. So I'm gonna just make it my image a little bigger so I can see what you're seeing. Oh yeah, absolutely, here, hold on. Let me, uh, let me try and get this going a little better for you. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so you know that that particular block that you're looking at right now, that is the circles on quilts because those are you know um, quarter square circles. But most of the other blocks and almost every single one of the border designs in there are quilted with this fun and fancy set. Now the next question I think we'll probably get is, well, is this for only long armors? No, it's definitely not. I have so much free education for all of these products on So Steady, on YouTube. We have the So Steady University that you can purchase the class with this through all brands. They have that available on their website as well. You can get tons of education or you can just buy the book and go it alone and just play with it to your heart's content. So we tried to create a product that could meet everybody where they are. Some of our users are really skilled and they can see the picture and they can just go right to it. Some people need a little bit more. They want some hand holding. They want somebody guiding them and helping them. So we have staged this product to try to meet everybody at whatever level they are. This 
product is capable of being used by a beginner. It's not an advanced product for only good, good quilters. No, it's for everybody. And it's designed to be a step-by-step -step process to help you. So I've got a few samples that I'm gonna just put up on here on my sewing deck so I can share those with you and we'll talk about a couple of them. All right, I'm gonna have to pick these up before I knock them on the floor, right? So here I'll show you one more awesome thing that you can use. If you're crazy like me and you have a million rulers, this is what you need. I hope I don't drop everything when I do this. Oh, I did. <laughs> this is my ruler rack. For the crazy ruler person in your life, this makes a great Christmas gift. This way they can keep them all organized. They can pick them up and move them to different places if they have more than one machine. And you can stack all the important ones in the front and the less used ones in the back. And then you can always find what you need. So our ruler rack is pretty awesome. You definitely want that. It's really useful. Hey, okay. right. we have some questions. Yeah, hit me. Go ahead. Okay. I love to answer questions. We had a few. Um, so Robert uh, had two questions. He wanted to know what the drawer on uh, that table looked like or how it opens. Um, I'll pull Wanted well, to can, know. He also yeah, wanted to know if the back of the ruler work glider is sticky. All right, so here's my ruler drawer. It just slides in. It's got some pegs, and each side on here has a little ledge that the drawer sits on. So you can see I, I use it well. I've got a lot of stuff. It keeps me really organized. I've got my stitching line discs, you know, extra bobbin, some ruler feet, the echo guides. Lots of useful things, including my uh, quilter's Band-Aid in case of emergency, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so, uh, and Cindy, Cindy was wondering if it matters if the machine is long or uh, short on the shank. Uh, I believe that does not matter. No, um, it does not options. matter. We can cut the table to fit virtually any machine out there. So Steady has thousands and thousands of templates. Anytime a new machine comes out, their designers are on top of it, preparing the new template so that we can try to support every sewer out there. So I think the other question that you asked was um, about the sticky stuff on the back of the template. Kelly, you oh, asked um, that? He was asking about the back of the ruler work glider, if it was sticky, um, I guess, to, to stay on the table. Yeah, so it's got something called a micro suction. So I'll pull on it, right? Can you see that? It is not going anywhere. My machine will move before this ruler work glider will move. So I know that that's been a problem. I've had a glider in the past where it got stitched through and that that can be a challenge. I think our so steady gliders really hold very well if you have a smooth surface. So our so steady tables are very, very, very smooth. You know, they are glass, right? Especially if you polish them. But if you're using a textured table or like a wood laminate or something like that, we can't say that they will stick to that. They need to have a, a plastic smooth surface to adhere very well. Now I've used um, it on my Janome table. It's stayed just fine. I've used it on some other things. It works really well. But the only one that we can absolutely guarantee is a smooth textured surface. So that'll be just something that you might want to keep in mind. Maybe you can test it out, you know, uh, and see if it works for you. And I know that All Browns is very supportive of all their customers. So you can contact them and see what options they would have for you as far as that goes. Doesn't that sound good, Kelly? Yeah. And we had one more question. Um, we had, or actually, it looks like... Um, let me see. No, it looks like we just had two more. Um, so someone was asking if the rulers come with a grip on the back. And I believe I know the answer to that question, but I'll let you handle it. Yeah, so that is a good question. And I actually have it up here. So I'll put one of my samples up here. This is a, not quite finished. It's going to go into like a little mini quilt for travel. So it's got to be joined to its partners. But all of our our templates now come with our stable tape grip. So let me see if I can hold that up a little closer. So here's the comment I always get. Let's put a little more light on that, see if we can help you see that better. Is that better? This is called stable tape, and it's got an adhesive on the back. And the way that you use it, you're not going to use a whole strip like this. You're going to cut this into about half inch pieces. And let me just grab my template real quick. Let me set it down for you. Oh. It's hiding, but you're going to put 
those grips on there in a way that when you hold the ruler, then that's where you're going to be holding. You know, you're not just going to hold anywhere. The grips need to be activated by pressure. And that's what makes them tack to the fabric. They're not sticky on the outside, but they're kind of like that uh, grippy surface, you know. So in essence, this is like you just put a glove uh, between the fabric and the ruler. So it's going to hold that in place. The other benefit for our stable tape that I really love is it's also helping you move that fabric, especially if you have the ruler work glider. It offers that really smooth surface and helps you to move everything together, which is really important, obviously, with ruler work. We don't want this shifting around when we're sewing our circle. So that is really important. So let me grab a couple of other things. So um, Kelly, can you put up the uh, fun and fancy sampler quilt? And I'm going to pull out my my products real quick and show those. So Fun and Fancy comes with a free class if you purchase it as a bundle. So what is a bundle? The bundle means that you're going to purchase the Fun and Fancy template and book together. And this is the quilt that I have made. So I'll, I'll uh, let you look at that for a second and then I'll grab my two products that are those different items. Okay, and then Kelly, go ahead and uh, come back to the sewing machine and I'll, I'll put those products up there really quick. So this is the quilt pattern right here. It's called the Fun and Fancy Sampler. And it's got eight different quilt blocks that are part of it. And this product is designed to work with the Westerly Ruler Cutting System. So all of the instructions there are designed to be cut with the Westerly rulers. And again, we've got a lot of free education about how to use that. So you can just buy the pattern and you can convert it for any cutting tools that you might have. It's half square and quarter square triangles. And then if you are interested in testing out that Westerly system, we do have a bundle where we have the ruler included, just one of, of several different rulers that are necessary to make the quilt. So this is kind of like your little test it package right here if you're interested in that. So the quilt that you just saw, this is the pattern to make that quilt. So now I'm going to bring out my fun and fancy book. So here's the book itself. It is spiral bound, coil bound, so it can lay flat. And then the way that it works is you'll get all of these beautiful designs and it's all step by step. So there's marking lines in white the base design, and then if you want the starter step-by-step -step instructions, green is where you begin, red is where you end. So this line is red, and then when you have the previously stitched line, it'll be black, and the new stitch line will be red. So it shows you how to step through the design, and all of these white lines right there are the markings. So they, they symbolize some kind of chalk marking or something like that. So this is towards the end of the book, and this is the Circles on Quilts design. Right after you finish the designs, that's when you get to this patchwork connection section where we have the quilt image, and then we have the different images of the quilting on the quilt, as well as information about which templates were used. So we have the book available by itself. We have the templates available by themselves. We have the combination product, which has both. I recommend, of course, I recommend this, you know, I do is to get both. You can't really use the book without the templates. And if you purchase both of these together, we are offering a free class called the fun and sassy table topper. And I'll just put it up here. Here it is. This is that actual product. And we show you how to make this quilt. The pattern is included for free with the class. And all of this free motion embellishment on top of the ruler work is also available. And that's about a three hour class, which is free on the So Steady University with purchase of both items. And I'll even show you the back. If you like to do a little more, this has got some amazing sparkly thread, which I'm sure all brands will have lots of different options. And this was done as bobbin work on the back. So here, we'll just pull up one little bit of it so you can see the sparkle. Doesn't that look awesome? So that's just bobbin work, but this whole idea of this quilt is available for free as part of a bonus if you purchase that grouping, the two pieces 
So then the design for the quilt would be one item and then the design for the quilting patterns would be something else. So those are pretty much the content that we have available for fun and fancy. And we've shown you some of the amazing designs you can make with it. And I said, as I said before, we have a lot of free information because I've done a lot of educational demos on so Steady over the course of the last few months while we've been doing our live education every day. So we can definitely support that. And we hope that you'll check into that. You do want to use a half inch ruler foot. So you can use um, a branded ruler foot or our amazing Westerly ruler foot. They both work amazingly well. Just to make sure that it is a true half inch ruler foot because all of our templates are designed to be used with that size. So one of the other things that I get the fun privilege of introducing and sharing is a relatively new product from Leonie West. And it's called the Tacoma templates. So let me grab a couple of these ideas, these images for you. This one was created with the Tacoma templates. So, and you can see it's it's got to be finished. It is done with what we call template quilting. So I'm just going to flip the edge up here. I want you to be able to see it. I've taken a stabilizer and I've put some fusible on the back of this top layer right there. So that's the fusible. This top fabric has a fusible on the back and I haven't yet fused it and I've layered it with a colorful fabric and the batting and the backing. And once I sewed with the Tacoma template, I'm cutting away sections to reveal the color underneath. And so I have one more cutaway round right here. And after I'm finished, then I'll press all of this and it will adhere all these raw edges so that there won't be any raveling of the design. And it really allows a lot of color and a lot of pop in this design. So let me pull those templates up really quick and we'll give you a little sample of what they look like. They're big and they're kind of hard to get out of this package. So the one that I have that is gonna show you first, this is the Tacoma 18 inch size. So this will actually quilt an 18 inch block. And let me just put it on here real quick and show you what the image is of how you're doing it. You're putting a pin in the center there, which will hold the template. So let me show you right there. There's a little pinhole right there. And you would put that on there. And these lines right here are made with our crosshair square. So this is the six point crosshair square. So All Brands has that up on the sales page for this information. And then you can line these up and you'll be able to sew those shapes right there. And you're just gonna sew with your ruler work and go around. So we also have a little bit of a smaller option. Let's see if I can grab that too. So some people don't want to sew something so giant. They want to sew something maybe a little smaller. So the 18 inch can sew a really large block, but we also have this 12 inch size that's a little bit more practical for somebody that maybe has a smaller throat or is just really not doing very large blocks. And you can see as before, our stable tape is always going to come with any rulers that we sew. They tend to um, have enough for you to grip whatever is in the package. You'll also get your pin and your little pin cap. Not necessary if you're on a domestic, but if you're using a long arm, a really important to have the cap on to prevent the pin from falling out. So I have um, a couple more samples that we can share about what you can do with these. I've started a few different designs and I'll put them up and show you some of the images that we have from the Tacoma Ranges guidebook. So here is just a few of them. And these are already trimmed. And this one has the Hoffman uh, big dream panel underneath. It has like a baby dream panel. So you get all those beautiful colors under there. And then here's a couple of other designs. And these are gonna go together eventually but I've got to trim this one before I do it. So you can see this is what it would look like before we cut it right there. And I absolutely love that. It's like that cathedral ceiling, but it's kind of canted on this curvature. And I think it looks amazing. This is my personal favorite design. And in the Tacoma Ranges book, 
one of the designs has um, this cut away in different ways. So like this right here is a butterfly and it looks completely awesome. So Kelly, can you put that Tacoma Ranges book up on the screen? We'll let people look at that um, image really quickly and get a chance to see that. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Hang on just a second. I'll get that up for you. Okay, thank you so much. So let's see, while she's doing that, I've got a couple more I'm going to get ready to pull up and show you. And I've got one with the pin. So if you scroll over that, Kelly, it'll make it bigger and you can see kind of some of the designs in there. So that entire uh, book is all template. And there are a few other templates that are included if you purchase that as a package. So you can purchase the 18 inch Tacoma um, ranges, the book, a circles on quilts package, which, which is designed to work with that actual book. It's a two piece set and a spin effect that Leone uses to create the designs that are in that book. So that, that is available as a grouping where you get all of those pieces, a five piece template set, the book, and um, you know all of the stable tape that you would need and everything else to make that design. So you can purchase this as a group, or you can just purchase this as a two piece, 18 inch template set, or you can just purchase it as the two piece, 12 inch set. So what you'll get with it, no matter what uh, size that you buy, if you buy the, the Tacoma product, you're gonna get the instruction guide, which has at least one of the design and it kind of shows you the alignment. So right here, you'll see right there is your instructions and you get one of the designs and so many different options right here for how to use it. So look at how pretty those are. Really beautiful. It's a really fun product and I've had a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna throw a couple of additional samples up there really quick. So these are not finished because I, I'm using these as educational samples, but you'll get a chance to really see what it looks like. So here is the fusible and the colored layer underneath. And as I'm sewing, the pin is right there. You can see all of those white markings really well. And then if you line it up, let me grab that template out of here. You can line those right up in the center and they give you different sizes. So this you can see will be the one that will go right there. It's gonna line up and it'll kiss right here and make the next set. So these can be used both directions. You'll see as you're, as you're doing one side, you're on this side of the design like that. And then you'd be lined up on the other side to sew this other side. So all of these lines are what you can use to position on the template right here to get everybody lined up to make sure then that you're a quarter inch away right here. So if I line that up right on this reference line, this is that quarter inch differential as the ruler foot is sewing right along, okay? So this one, I, I call this like the snowman. It's just nice big circles graduating. And I don't know, I think we should add some applique top hats on there. So I showed you that purple one up at the beginning. Here's another one. Love this one, so pretty right there. And you can see these ones, the reason that we have two is because one will be this size and the other one will be that half. So that's how come these are aligning. They allow you to stack right in the middle of, of the other one. So we're alternating with this one. We would sew with one and then we would sew with the other one. So one of the smaller circles right here, this is gonna take you around the circle right here. You can see that'll line you up and that's allowing you to travel. So you'll have the pretty circle in the center. Now I have one last one that already has the pin in it and I've already got everything set up. So we'll give you a chance to see a little sewing here. So I always put a little cap there on there to make sure that my pin is not exposed and causing problems. So let's go ahead and we'll just put a little line on here so we can sew something for you. So right here, 
we've got a lot of reference lines and we want to use the same alignment. So right here, this shape, this is going to connect on this blue one out here. We want to mirror it to the next one. So we would line it up on the blue line right there. This blue line, it's going to sew right on that line. When you're sewing with rulers or any kind of free motion, you always want to pull your bobbin thread up, and that's really going to help you have none of none of this ash and trash going on in the back there. What is going on? Let's see. All right, let's get lined up here. Right there. All right, and keep your hands wide. You're going to have fingers on and off the ruler. And when you start with this one, you are going to sew a little bit slowly because you want to go around that little tiny guy right there. We'll stop. Oh, I think my bobbin is having a little bad day. That's okay. We'll just show you the line and then I'll fix it afterwards. So right here, as we come in, we're going to line our needle up right with that line. And that's going to let us touch the top of each of those designs as we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, my bobbin is not doing its job very well. But I tested that, but it's, you know how it is when it's live, right? It has fun, fun adventures. Maybe that's why I couldn't pull it up, huh? Yeah, I think it is stuck there. There we go. We got it. All right, so let me just show you how that would work. So that's how we would line up that template and we would be able to sew additional rows of that and then we would have other ones that would intersect so that Tacoma ranges has quite a few different options for how you can use those templates and that is not exhaustive there is many many different options for how you can use those designs for your own uh, way that you see it you don't have to always follow the book if you feel like you're creative and you want to do something different you are free to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do one more quick demo. I'm, I've got a couple of uh, fabric right here that I can share, but let me make sure my bobbin. Whenever you're using our ruler work glider, keep your foot on and I like to just walk it under there. And it can just stay like this while we're checking that bobbin, making sure that our bobbin is properly seated in there, which it definitely doesn't look like it was. And then we'll just feed that. All right. Put our little cap back on. Right there, there's a little tail. So I'm going to hold on to this right here, make sure that we can pull our glider under there and not get our thread trapped. And you're just going to ease it right under the foot like that. And just press it back into place and make sure that it stays nicely. And I think I will get my bobbin thread up. I just want to make sure that it's going to behave since it was creating some trouble for us. It is not wanting to work. All right, I need a little bit more room here. So we'll just pull that off. I'm just going to switch bobbins. We don't need all this trouble, right? I'm not sure why it's having a little moment but we'll just get it all set that one went in really nice i could feel it and we'll just hold that thread up so we'll get this under here so i i have um a little space that i've created so that we can sew with our fun and fancy collection so let me grab that i've already marked it so the fun and fancy collection is really great with the eight point crosshair so it's different than the Tacoma. We'll go ahead and put our pin right through the center here. Always watch your fingers. I kind of spread my fingers and make the pin go down through the middle, but definitely always be careful. Then we've got a little hole and we can just put that right through there and get everybody lined up on the front. And that's nice because it just really helps us to see what we need to see. So let me grab that ruler. I think that might have been one of the ones I dropped, right? Because I'd put these over here. There's my circle. Maybe we'll use that one instead. You 
guys. See this organization. I guess we'll just play. We're going to put a different shape on there since I can't find that one. All righty. We'll just pull that up so we don't have any batting in there. So right here is our center. I'll just bring my thread right up here at the center. And notice how I was able to get my bobbin thread up really easily. Let's put our ruler right in there. And you're going to put it so that these grips are down. Whenever you're sewing, you want to make sure that those grips are working for you. And I'll just put these threads out here. This is the oval, the simple oval from the Fun and Fancy set. It's going to sew three inches long and one and a half inches wide. And just like you used to do back in the day with the kids and you would do spirograph, this is going to allow you to sew just like that. So you'll stop right in the middle and you can line up this right on the next one. And then you just put another circle in. And we'll just go around like this. And this makes a really, really cute design. So right here, we've got this line. So we want to make sure both lines are lined up. Right there, right to the middle. And then we'll just keep going around and we'll get everybody lined up. Whenever you're sewing with a ruler, Listen to your machine and let the machine talk to you. You want a nice, smooth sound. I'll flip it around so that you can see what we're doing too. We'll just put this in the front. Just like we did in the past, we'll line up the back and we'll line up the front and we'll just keep stitching. Right to the center and we'll just keep going. So you can see, as long as we hold everybody in place and we activate those grips, that glider is helping us to move around very, very smoothly, getting us right back to the center. And we've just got one or two more right here. I really think it's important to have that so steady table surface or the flat surface when you're sewing. If we don't have that, the ruler could be rocking on a rounded surface. So if you don't have that nice stable surface, this is something that's really going to make your ruler quilting so much better and easier too. It, it just allows everybody to stay in their place and everybody to move together. So right here, we'll just add a little something. Our little key right there allows us to go ahead and take our template off if we wanted to we could actually put a different template on there so my tape is very strong here it does not want to come off there we go and that would let us take it off and there's our beautiful design it's kind of like an asteroid i love it so i'll show you one more i'll show you the inside for you. so the inside piece is going to stitch out actually a little bit bigger you wouldn't think so but the fit right here, these both have the same line and the ruler foot is going to be outside of this one and inside of this one. So you're going to get about a half of an inch differential when you're sewing. So, you know, you could always come in. We'll just tack this real quick and we'll do a little jump stitch. Let's put these threads back there out of our way. I can take this other ruler and I can line him up right there on the center line so that right there I'm touching. And right here with the ruler foot, I'm touching. So we'll just start sewing around. This is a really great way to make an echo. And we'll just touch right there. We'll get lined up. So when I get to the top, I'll kind of adjust on the side a little bit, make sure I can get back in there. We'll just keep going around get our pretty echo in there there are so many different things that we can do with our rulers they are amazing the potential of them this is probably the biggest invention that the quilting world has had since the invention of the rotary cutter so people that thought they would never be a quilter now they can be 
you can see, isn't that a pretty design? Super easy, just a few lines as a reference, and we're able to really make an amazing design. So we'll go ahead and finish this up real quick, and then I've got a couple of other ones we can share with you with our circles. The one inch circle is the one that comes with this particular set. And it is so cute. I love it. And I'll show you my little spiral technique. So, Kelly, can you ask people, have, have anybody out there already tried rulers? Do they like that? What yeah, sex do they so have? Let's, we have let's a lot of folks. Be interactive. Let's find out what they're yeah. doing. We have a lot of folks in the comments who are just commenting on how easy you make this look because they're still kind of struggling with any sort of ruler or template work. Um, but I, I, I think that's really all we've got at the moment. And some people are really, really loving these. Erin um, even said she loves the rulers and templates because she is not a proficient free motion quilter. <laughs> I definitely feel like this is a training ground. So let's talk about that for a second. So right now, you know, you, you're seeing that I'm quilting, right? And I know that I'm here because I have some skill, but I'm just like everybody else. I didn't magically wake up one day and feel like, oh, yeah, I'm a really great quilter. No. I've been quilting for over 25 years and probably the first 15 of that, I did not feel like I could free motion at all. And I kept practicing. I didn't give up, but I, you know, it took a long time. It's not like it happened easily. And the truth is once I found rulers, I really felt like that changed quickly. So if I'm sewing and I, if I was going to try to free motion and echo around this, I would have to think every minute, okay, how far away am I? How far am I traveling? Are my stitches looking good? Okay, turn, 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 transition. Okay, connect, right? When I'm sewing with a ruler, if I put this on here, my design decision is finished. I don't have to think about it anymore. It's already done. So I can literally just concentrate on the sewing right now. And then right here, let me show you that awesome tool that we were sharing earlier. This is that spacing gauge. And I'm going to pull it off so I can use it. And I want you to see right there, that's the quarter inch, right? So I need the ruler to be a quarter inch away from that. And the reason for that is with a half inch ruler foot, this is a quarter inch from the needle to the outside edge of the foot. So when I line it up like that, I want to get right back in. I want to sew right to where I left off. So this quarter inch spacer is precisely allowing me to space that so I can get myself right back to where I left off and close that design. And then I'll take a few tacking stitches right in my stitch line. And now we can just cut that. So I never use my uh, scissors button when I'm doing ruler work because I always want to control for that. I always want to have those um, tails up on top where I can see everybody. And, you know, if I have like one little bit of thread right there, I'll probably end up kind of picking that out right there and trimming that little tail. But don't you think that looks so cute? That That's looks awesome. so cool. So do we have a little bit more? Should I do another design, Kelly? Um, so actually, I think our time is almost up, but I think it is time for that giveaway. Awesome. Okay, let's do that. I love giveaways. So we're giving right. away this Notions necklace right here, which you guys saw, and you can let them know which color. And then we're also giving away the polish kit, which I think is so awesome. Make sure if you have a table, you want that. And if you have any of those plastic gliders, they are so exceptional for making them work well and taking good care of them. Yes. And so y'all know the drill at this point, I'm sure. Um, so go ahead and leave those comments. Uh, if you would like some extra chances, go ahead and get in there and share this post. Uh, it only takes a second and it does help your chances. So hop in there and we will pick a name in just a minute or two. Um, but everybody is so excited about this giveaway and I don't blame them because this one is awesome. So while we're waiting, I'm going to just remind everybody, one of the best deals that we're offering is that $1 ruler work glider with purchase of a table. That's really one of the best specials that I've seen in a long time. So there's a lot of value there. Please go ahead and uh, get your table ordered for Christmas. Now, we can't promise at this point that it will be there for Christmas because it does take sometimes three to four weeks. And with COVID conditions, there could be some challenges. 
but you can always know that you're getting a table and it is amazing. I've had mine now for probably about 24 of my 26 years of quilting and I would not be without it. I even have it for my serger and I have it for my smaller machine. It's fabulous. We, we do have smaller tables too. If you have a smaller space and you need a little bit of a shallower table, we have tables that can fit almost any situation. So definitely want to check that out. That's a really great value. Here, I'll show you. This is that value I'm talking about, that ruler work glider. It's awesome. And your fun and fancy set. I'll put that up too. Woohoo! All right. So I think it's time for us to announce our winner. Everybody is so thankful for this presentation, by the way. Um, we have plenty of people in the comments who are saying that they didn't feel like very confident uh, quilters before this, but this has been extremely helpful oh, for them. Great. It, I think it is a great training ground. It's going to make you a better quilter and a better free motioner. So hopefully that will give you some inspiration. And, and we have lots of education for you. If you need help, it's out there. We can definitely help you. All right. So I believe, I believe we have a winner. Uh, let's go ahead and see that name up top. Anita Crane. Oh my gosh. It's your first time here and you just want a giveaway. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Congratulations, so Anita. I've just won that necklace with the colorful space engage and that table polish kit. Oh my gosh. This is such an exciting day. Congratulations, Anita. Um, so Anita, you have just won. So if you would, please go ahead and email events at allbrands.com and give us your name, your phone number, and your email address. And uh, you can specify what color spacing gauge you would like as well in that email so we can send the right color to you. And I believe with that, that ends our time together today, Kate. Thank you so much for coming on. This was absolutely fantastic to watch. Thank you so much for having me. I, I so appreciate that people take the time and, and share their day with us. We know your time is valuable and we appreciate you sharing with, with us and with all brands. Happy quilting. Thank you, Kate. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye now. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was Kate Quinn over at So Steady Westerly. If you enjoyed that giveaway, stay tuned because we have another big one coming up next with our next presenter uh, and our next vendor, the Daylight Company. So we are going to go to a very, very quick commercial break and then we will be back talking about some really, really amazing lamps. So in the meantime, don't go anywhere. Go shop allbrands.com forward slash quilt fest and we will see you in just a few minutes. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. 
Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've been streaming now for five and a half hours today, which unfortunately means that our day is almost over. But I am so happy that we have gotten the chance to spend some time together for the last three days. This has been such an incredible experience. All the giveaways, all the excitement, everything. Everything's been absolutely fantastic so thank you all so very much again for tuning in if you haven't yet please go ahead over to allbrands.com slash quilt fest all of our deals uh, for the entire festival are there so you can go ahead and shop by individual category if you have a specific brand you're interested in looking into we have specific category pages for each one of the vendors you have seen in the all brands mall booth here. And if you are just joining us, hello, hi, my name is Callie, and this is the allbrands.com mall booth here at the virtual Houston International Quilt Festival. So I'm going to stop talking and I am going to bring on Ed from the Daylight Company. We just talked about some quilting. And if you do, if you need some more light while you are quilting, these are the products for you. So let me bring Ed on. Hi there. Hi, how are you, Callie? How's it going today? It's going well, going well. Having a great day. How about you? Today's a fantastic day. We have been having so much fun. We've been doing giveaways like crazy. And I think we have another really good one coming up, but I don't want to spoil that one just yet. So 
<laughs> Y'all wait until the end. And if you do have any questions for Ed, go ahead and leave them in the comments and we will try and get to those and answer them live. But Ed, I'll let you take it away. Awesome. Thank you, Callie. Thank you, everybody, for joining in here again with us at the Virtual Houston Quilt Show with All Brands. I can't believe that today is day three. It's gone so fast the last couple of days, and I hope you all at home are enjoying it to the best possible ability that you possibly can, and then some. Uh, I, hey, I know we're at the season where it's starting to get darker outside, and we're not outside as much. Lights, the sun's gone away a little earlier, so we have some great, fantastic lights here. Hopefully, you were able to join with us yeah, the last two days and see the other lights that I had here in the booth with us. Uh, but I have three of, I'm sorry, four new ones here with me today. Uh, that you didn't see the last couple days, and we're going to get right into it and tell you a little bit about the lights, the lighting systems, and how it's going to make a difference for you at home. Uh, one big thing I always like to talk about really quickly uh, is the actual lights that we use. So we're, we're, we are the Daylight Company. We design task lights. So not lights that are going to light up your whole room, but lights that are going to light up the working space that you're working at. Uh, all of our lights are no longer in any type of light bulb or light tube. We have completely switched all of our lights to an LED lighting system, simply because the LEDs provide a much brighter light. They give you much better longevity. Uh, they are all the LEDs that we use. They are all rated to last you over 50,000 hours of time. So, you know, if you're at home and you're sewing, quilting, reading, or doing any hand working projects at all, um, all of our lights are designed to last you eight hours a day, five days a week, for a total of 20 to 25 years of use, so there's no need to ever worry about changing, replacing light bulbs ever again. You're going to have one consistent light for the next 20 to 25 plus years of use. Uh, that being said, let's get into it. So I did bring back one special lamp because this is our most popular lamp. Then. Now, if you were here with us on day one, you've seen this one already. We've got our slimline LED table lamp. This is by far the best light out there on in the market. I, I think so, at least. But, hey, I'm a little biased. Um, the reason being, it's nice and slim. It's very low profile. It's not a big, giant, clunky light shade that's going to be in your way or in your face or getting in, in, you know, in between you and your projects at home. It's going to almost basically disappear wherever you're working. Uh, it's very, like I said, very slim, very sleek. We designed it to allow the light shade to twist and rotate a full 360 degrees so you can always keep the light positioned where you need it the most and not in your face or anywhere else. Uh, it's got a double gooseneck design, so it allows you to be able to bend, maneuver, and reposition the lamp anywhere you need it to go. So if you're working in one location and you're switching over to the next location, just grab the lamp and move it. No, no worries about tipping or falling over. It is securely clamped onto the table. I'm going to bring you all a little bit closer so you can see that clamp. So you can see it right here. It's not very big. It's not very bulky. It's, it sits nice and stu uh, snug to the side of the table there. So you don't have anything hanging off your table getting in your way uh, of any of your projects or any of the fabric or things that you are using and moving around in your sewing room. There we go. It does break apart as well, too, for easy compact storage or travel. You can throw it and put it in two pieces, put it right into the bag, and take it anywhere you want to go. Now, it is metal, so you can hear me banging out my table here. Just to show you that it is very durable, one thing we really like to do at Daylight is we like to build very look, good quality lamps, something that's going to last you a long time because if the LEDs are going to last you 50,000 hours, the light might as well last you that long as well, too. Uh, the Slimline Table Lamp, it's normally $215. We have it on sale on the All Brands website uh, for $150. So make sure you're going to allbrands.com slash coldfest, I believe, uh, and take advantage of any of the lights, lighting specials and deals that we have. The next light I have, a little smaller one. Uh, I like to call it like a, little, a good little add-on light. So this is what we call our little sewing machine lamp right here. You can see it's got a nice long eight inch gooseneck. Uh, so that allows you to stick the lamp right on the head of your sewing machine and then take the spotlight beam of light and angle it right down onto your needle, your bobbin plate, the foot of your machine and give you a little bit of extra added light right where all the magic's happening on your sewing machine at home. It comes with two different sticky pads and you can see here it's a 3M industrial strength adhesive. It easily atta attaches and detaches 
uh, by a foot and track system. So that way, when the light is stuck on the head of your machine, all you have to do is lift it up and out. The sticky pad will stay behind. You have a second one in the package at home uh, when you get it. So that way you can put that onto a second machine. And we also include wire clips as well. So you could run the wire along the backside of the machine and not worry about it getting in your way as you're stitching, as you're sewing, as you're quilting. Uh, the little sewing machine lamp there, it is normally uh, $52. It's on sale for 40 bucks again, so go check that out. Uh, we have another little, or, uh, actually not little, another floor standing lamp here. Uh, so this one here, we call it our duo floor lamp. Now with the duo floor lamp, it does have two siblings. It's got a, a, a table lamp version where it has a table base that'll sit on top of your table. And we also have a clamp on version. And it has three cousins as well, I should say. We also have it as an Uno version where it only is one light instead of the two. So the Uno will be a floor, table, or a clamp on. So you have six different versions uh, of one style of light. Uh, I like to call this like the more crafty style of light because it's got a nice white color. Uh, the light shades don't twist and turn like the slimline, but they do provide a lot of light output as well. They each, uh, if you go with the duo, you have two different lamps that can move and adjust independently of one another. Then you also have four different levels of light to work with. So you can have one light on, one light off, depending on how, uh, how much light you need, where you're working, what's gonna be the best situation for you. So we like to try to add in a lot of functionality to our lights as well uh, to make sure that they're gonna work for everybody in a lot of different situations uh, around your sewing and around your craft room. Also with the, the Unos and Duos, they have a nice sturdy gooseneck here. So you can see how I can bend and maneuver this lamp up and down. Uh, there's a, on the floor lamps, there is a 12 inch long gooseneck. On the table lamp, it is an eight inch long gooseneck. And it is also an eight inch long gooseneck on the clamp on version of it. Um, the Uno, uh, the Uno lamps, trying to remember my numbers here, uh, the Uno lamps produce an equivalent of about 125 watt light bulb. Uh, so it, it, that one's very bright at its brightest. When you have both lamps on on the duo and put them together at their brightest, it's going to be equivalent to about a 250 watt light bulb. But when you open it out and you spread the light out, it's not going to be as bright as it uh, when the lights are together but it goes still to about 200 watts of light output. So imagine having 200 watt light bulbs in a very sleek, slender uh, design. So you're able to spread the love out a lot more uh, usable or usably, I should say. Uh, so you get a lot of good functionality, good flexibility, good movability with it. Uh, that allows you to you know, put it wherever you want it and take it wherever you want it. Um, with the Unos, uh, the Uno clamp and the Uno table are normally $55. So they're both on sale for $40. Bucks. The Uno floor lamp is normally, uh, I want to say off the top of my head, $75. Uh, but that one's on sale for $55. With the duos, the duo table and the duo clamp are both $93. Uh, they're on sale for $70. And then the Duo Floor Lamp, it's normally 110, but this one's on sale on the All Brands website for $80. So if you saw anything, uh, if you wanna go check out what the Uno looks like, it looks very similar to the Duo here. Uh, I'll show you the base as well too. So it is a nice, small, slender base. Here's my hand. So you can see it is only about six inches across, so it's not a very big base. It's not gonna take up a lot of your space, a lot of your working area going to be able to fit wherever you need it to go. Uh, and again, go check out the All Brands website. We have not just the, the four lamps I have here, but we have every other lamp that we've shown the last couple days and then a few more uh, on the website uh, on All Brands, all on specials, all on deals. If you've seen us at Houston, you know what kind of deals we do there. Uh, we're doing them with All Brands on their website for the show this year. So go check those out. Get yourself lit up for the holiday season and then for the rest of the winter and for, I guess, just forever. Cool. So we're moving right along. And I'm going to bring you closer in because this one's kind of hard to pick up and maneuver without having you here. We have our wafer light boxes. So folks at home, 
we this is the wafer two. I have three light boxes. I have the wafer one, the wafer two, and the wafer three. The wafer one is the smallest of the three of them. It's about half the size of this light box here. Uh, it is a eight inch by uh, 11 and a half inch for the wafer one. The wafer two is a 12 and a half inch high by 17 inch wide working surface. Uh, and then the wafer three is 25 inches wide uh, by 12 and uh, I'm sorry, 18 and a half inches wide. So you have three different size uh, working surfaces to work with um, to give you a lot of good um, ability to work your paper piecing patterns, your applique uh, designs. Uh, if you're tracing any patterns or copying any designs, uh, you can do that. What's really, really cool with our light boxes compared to a lot of others that are out there, we make them with solid plexiglass. Uh, and the reason we do that is for a couple of, a couple of reasons. Uh, one is weight. With the wafer one, the wafer one, when you pick it up, it only weighs about four pounds. When you pick the wafer two up, it only weighs about six pounds, right? And then you pick the wafer uh, three up, it only weighs about eight pounds. So it helps to keep the weight down on the light boxes, but it also adds another really cool feature to it. Uh, it makes them very strong, very durable. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna bring you back a little bit away here so you can see me. So I'm just gonna unplug it so my cord doesn't pull out, but I can take it, I can throw it on the ground, and I am standing on top of that light box right now, stomping around a little bit. So we, I don't recommend you doing that at home. That's just to show you the durability of the plexiglass because we do know sometimes things happen and we want to avoid any of those oops moments. So in order to do that, we want to build it with a good, strong quality product uh, and material that's going to last you a very long time. Another cool thing, the LEDs. So you can see here on the top of the light box, the LEDs there, and then I'll show you the bottom here, LEDs on the bottom. So what we've done is we've taken the LEDs and we put them along the top and the bottom instead of running them through the center of the light boxes themselves. So when you're staring at it for four, five, six hours at a time, you're not feeling like you were just staring into the sun by the time you're done using it. So it keeps it very easy on your eyes. We also use a natural white light source uh, like we do with all of our other lights. Uh, and that's because the white light is a very easy, very natural lighting source on your eyes. So you don't get the eye strain over time. You're, you don't, you're not getting tired. Uh, the white light also helps to keep you more focused, more attentive to what you're doing, as well as being able to shine and uh, permeate through more layers of fabric and different types of fabric. So if some of you at home are working with some of like those thicker batiks and thicker denser fabrics. Uh, sometimes you need like an actual spotlight to shine through it. The, the white light on the light box is going to be able to sh you know, shine right through those different levels, uh, different thicknesses and densities of fabrics. Another cool thing, you got your power button here in the top corner. Top, if you're looking at the top right corner. All you gotta do is turn it on and off, tap it on, tap it off. And we added a dimmer feature in because sometimes depending on the, how thick the fabric is you're working with, you don't need the full brightness. You can dim it down just by placing your finger on that power button there and holding it for five seconds. And it'll dim down to about 10% light output. Uh, then you press and hold it again, you brighten it back on up and you're ready to rock and roll at full brightness again. What I love too, let's say you have your light box station set up. You're working on a, on a particular pro, uh, project where you're not to use very dense, very, very heavy fabric. Uh, you can dim the light down and there's a memory setting built in. So as long as it stays plugged into the wall, every time you turn it on and off, it comes back to that same level of brightness again. Press and hold it again to brighten it back on up. And now you're back at your brightest level. So easy as that. Or you could do the cheap way like I like to do. Just unplug it at the, at the uh, end of the dongle here, plug it back in, it resets it back to the brightest level. We did put non-slip pads. So you see these five sticky, uh, five little pads on the back here. Uh, those are non-slip pads to make sure that when you're working on a smooth surface like uh, like a glass or a, like a glass table or a slick wood table, it's not going to slide very easily for you. It's going to hold its ability, uh, keep its ability to stay in place. 
Cool. So with the light boxes, uh, like I said, we have the three different sizes. The wafer three is normally 375. It's on all brands website right now for 250. The wafer two is normally 275. It's on the all brands website for 170. Uh, and then the wafer one is normally 175. It's on sale on the all brands website for $99. We didn't stop there though, because we know a lot of you paper pieces and a lot of you applicators have to cut your fabrics. So what a, what's a better way of having to cut your fabrics than cutting them right on top of your light boxes? We've added translucent cutting mats to go on top of the light boxes that you can get separately if you're doing any of those paper piecing or applique projects where you're required to cut your pieces of material out. Uh, they're a silicon self-healing rubber mat. So anytime you cut right on the surface, it will seal itself back up. So you're not going to be feeling any of the scars or the marks or anything like that. Uh, just one little warning or not really a warning, but little bit of information because they are clear now. And it holds true with any cutting, mat, whether it's green, whether it's gray, whether it's brown, whether it's purple, whether it's pink, whatever the color is out there. If you, when you cut on that cutting mat, there is always going to be a mark left on the inside. The outside and the external piece will completely seal itself up. But depending on the angle you're looking at, you may see the scar through the center of the light box over time. The more you use it, the more scar marks you put in there, the more likely you are to see a couple scars appearing here and there. Uh, for the cutting mats, they're normally, for the wafer three, $49. For the wafer two, $29. And for the wafer one, $19. Those are all on sale as well. Uh, so go check those out. And then for the wafer two, and just the wafer two, because it is our most popular size, um, we've added a completely clear cutting mat that you can put on top. So this cutting mat here, it is absolutely perfect for you paper piecers, for you applicators. So when you have your paper piecing pattern, you can put it right on the surface of the light box, lay your clear cutting mat over top of that. And if you're in a rush because you're trying to make you know, seven different designs for, or 35 different designs for one quilt that you're working on and you're trying to get it done in the time crunch, you can do a little cheat system and cut your, or fussy cut your pieces right out on top of your cut, uh, your light box without having to trace them first and then go back and cut them. So it just allows you to skip a couple steps and make yourself a little bit more, uh, a little quicker and a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for, um, accurate. Cool. Uh, and the, like I said, the wafer or the clear cutting that only goes for the wafer two. Uh, so that way, like I said, because it is just our most popular size. All right. All righty. Thank you. You're very welcome. So we had, we had a few questions throughout the presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run those by you. But before I do that, I think we should announce oh, what yeah. we're giving away. So, we, haven't yet. we saved the best giveaway <laughs> for last, I think. It's also the biggest giveaway for last, too. I'm going to step out of the picture real quick and just grab something to show everybody what the, uh, the giveaway item is. Y'all better get those comments Guys, in we're now. We're giving away you're one of our one. wafer light boxes, the wafer two light box. As you can see right here, where is it? Where is it? There it is, wafer two, right there. Like I was just showing you at home, that light box there, we're, we are giving that one away to one lucky winner. So make sure you're commenting down below to get yourself a, a free one, the chosen light box. Yes. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> get those comments in because this is amazing. And we are giving it away for free. Oh, my gosh. So. Um, we had a few questions, so let me um, let me go back and get those for you. So we had someone, um, I believe it was Peggy. Yeah, Peggy Anderson was wondering, her tabletop hangs over the side, and she was wondering if she could still use the clamp. I think I know the answer to that, but I'll let you take it. tabletop hangs over the side. Uh, so if you, do you, Peggy, do you mean like you have a lip overhang? So if this is the, the, the straight side portion of your table. It overhangs by a little bit. So as long as you have that lip and that ability to, you know, have something overhanging, you can clamp the, uh, the lamp right onto the edge of the table. So someone else was wondering, I think this is when you were talking about the duo. Um, they said, how sturdy is the bottom? Because it seems like it's too small to stand without tipping over. Um, and I think you'd be really surprised, Roxana. It's, it's extremely sturdy. Yep, here, I'll, 
So it, yes, it is a smaller base, but because it's not a very heavy lamp, if I bump into it, it's not going to fall over on you. I hope that was a, a good visual description there. <laughs> yeah. Hard to do this at home with the camera. And uh, Karen wanted to know if they had different brightness settings, but I think that was before you showed the brightness settings. So yep. yes. So with them, they have, I'll turn one off and then move it away so you can see it. So you have the four different levels of light. So one, two, three, and four. And that holds true with both lampshades. And let's see, I think we had a few more. I just got to find them. Um, someone asked, oh, someone asked if you would consider marketing to the medical profession, because it seems like a lot of doctors could be using these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't currently market to the medical profession because uh, for whatever reason, we have to get a certain level of certification and we haven't gotten that just yet. But I do sell some to individual doctor's offices for the light boxes. Uh, that don't have the or haven't updated their, you know, their technology to, you know, using or getting the x-rays like right onto an iPad or a tablet. Uh, so instead of using or buying those big, thick, you know, medical boards, uh, I've had several doctor's offices buy a bunch of the light, uh, my way for light boxes for x-rays and things like that. Yeah. Um, and Robert was wondering if you can purchase the mats by themselves. And yes, you can. They are on our website. So go over to allbrands.com slash quiltfest. You can find just where we have those daylight specials. And these are specials that you're not going to be able to get any other time. They are nope. amazing deals for what you're getting. So get in there. Get in there. And Mary said um, she missed the last part when the light boxes come in different sizes. And they do. Yep. So there are multiple. Yep. Three different sizes. You have your wafer one, your wafer two, and your wafer three. So the wafer one is the smallest. The wafer two is the middle size. Wafer three is the biggest. And just to give you a, a visualized picture at home, the wafer one will fit a eight and a half or eight by eleven and a half inch piece of paper. Your wafer three will fit a full fat quarter on the working surface. And then the wafer two is right in between those two sizes. All right. So I think we have our giveaway winner. All right, let's let me get my winner. Let me get my winner package. Let's see that name. Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh my god. Congratulations, Stephanie. You have just won a wafer two light box. Oh my gosh. Okay, today has been such an exciting day. We've had so many. Congratulations, Stephanie. This is fantastic. Congratulations, Stephanie. And thank you so much again, Ed, for your time today and for giving away this wafer two. This has been a fantastic weekend and we have had we've all had so much fun. So thank right. you for coming and thank you for making this weekend so awesome. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me be a part of this with you guys and everybody at home. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay merry. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Have a great holiday season. Uh, you, we've all and we've all earned it at this point, I think. Hard agree. Hard. <laughs> All right, Ed, well, thank you so much, and hopefully we will see you soon. Thank you, everybody. See you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that was Ed from the Daylight Company, and congratulations, Stephanie. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Stephanie, so since you won, please email events at allbrands.com and make sure you give us that your name, your phone number, and your email address so we can get that way for light box to you. Oh my goodness, today has been so exciting. Wow. Um, so we still have plenty more coming up. Um, we have been streaming for almost six hours and we still have two more to go. Yeah, we still have two more to go. We still have some more giveaways in store. So please do not exit out of this video. I was going to say, don't touch that dial, but we're not on TV, but same difference. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, so we're going to go to a very, very quick commercial break. And then we will have Taylor Henderson on from Anita Good Design. So don't go anywhere. Go on allbrands.com slash quiltfest and go shop those specials. And we will be back in just a few minutes.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are just tuning in, hi, my name is Callie, and this is the allbrands.com mall booth at the virtual Houston International Quilt Festival. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you have missed anything from the last two, the pre previous two days and today, don't worry, all of the playbacks for the last two days are already available on allbrands.com slash quiltfest and playback for this live stream will be available as soon as we go off the air around 6 p.m. Uh, central time. So, um, oh my goodness, today has been so full uh, with so much fun. Um, and thank you all again so much for commenting and sharing and everything. I see everything going on and y'all are absolute rock stars. So thank you so much again for tuning in. I know the festival is a little different this year. This is my first quilt festival uh, and not at all what I anticipated, um, but I hope that it's just the next best thing. Um, I'm glad we're all able to do it safely and still do it together. This has been a really a whole lot of fun. Um, so now I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to bring on Taylor from Anita Good Design. So let me bring him in real quick. Hi, Taylor. Hello, hello, Miss Callie. Happy Saturday. 
Happy Saturday to you too. How you doing? I am doing fine as frog's hair. Doing good. doing good. If I got any better, I'd have to sell tickets. <laughs> All right. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. We do. Um, yes, we do. I want everybody to stick around because after this presentation, we are going to be giving away a $25 All Brands gift card. So yeah, $25. So stick around for that. And if you have any questions for Taylor throughout the presentation, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll interrupt whatever Taylor's talking about and ask him the question for you. <laughs> and folks are already telling you hello. Hi, Michelle. You're doing good out there. Like Callie said, it's a, it's a different quilt market. Everything this year has been different, but we're all in the same boat together. So here we are. Um, so it is fun. Thank you all for joining. Um, I'm Taylor with Anita Good Design. I appreciate y'all being here um, and spending this next hour or so uh, with me and Callie and All Brands um, and everybody else that is out there. So let's let's get to it. Um, so what we're going to kind of do today is I'm going to show you all some things that we have come out with in December. Uh, some of our releases, some of our, our samples that I've got here um, that, that we you know um, had uh, come out this month. And then I'm going to show you some things that we are working on, some things that's uh, on our table here um, that we are going to be coming out with uh, maybe in January or the next couple of months. So you can kind of get an idea of where we are going uh, with that. So let's just go ahead and without any further ado, let's get going. So at Anita Good Design, we come out uh, every month. We release brand new designs. We never repeat um, you know, um, designs. I am not on that team that, that comes up and, and is uh, so smart. Uh, if, if you know me, I am not that smart. <laughs> um, and so I, I, I do not come up with, with all these ideas um, here, but every month they come up with brand new ideas and designs. And every month it is a great mix of quilting in the hoop, fun projects, and embroidery and applique uh, designs. So I'm gonna kind of, again, show you some of those things. This is just a tip of the iceberg here on the, you know, some of the things that we come out with in December. And again, some of the things that we are working on. So let's just, again, get into it. So one of the things for December here um, is called Perfect Pockets, all right? Now what this is, these are just neat little, I'm gonna kind of bring y'all a little closer. Y'all come on in. All right, there we go. Um, so these are just freestanding designs. They are finished here with a nice satin uh, uh, stitch around the edges. They are really cute. They're just uh, mainly applique with some some you know embroidery in there. Um, so neat little kit in there. Uh, and then we've got just just chilling. He's picking out on some watermelon. And so what what we did with these is these are just freestanding. And you could put these directly onto a, well, you can't see that there, uh, put these directly kind of onto a shirt, right? Just attach it there and you've got a, a neat little patch. But what we did with those is we, you could do that, but we actually made a pocket out of those. So if you've got a t-shirt that you want to, as I like to say, kind of gussy up, um, and you, you're like, you know, I've got this t-shirt, you know, just laying around or it's just really comfortable, but I, I, I kind of want to dress it up then you could do something like that and stitch it onto the shirt. And then you've got an, just a neat little uh, pocket there, right? Now, the, the interesting thing about this is when, if, if you've ever tried to stitch anything onto a shirt, then a lot of times if it's, if it's heavy embroidery, then it'll want to, you know, just make it kind of go into a knot uh, like this. Um, if you are like me and you've stitched and, you know, you've got something that's got maybe you know, 30,000 stitches, it's going to stitch out perfect, but about on stitch 29,995, it's going to mess up. And if you're stitching it onto your shirt, then you've, you've possibly messed up your shirt and you have to start over and it's, it's just a, a hot mess. So the beautiful thing about this is you stitch these completely separate. So if you mess something up, then it's not a lot of fabric. It's you, you've just messed up some, some fabric and some thread here. You can start over. So you can, you've got a complete perfect design here. And then you just put it onto your shirt. And then we just use a monofilament thread, which is just a fancy word for clear thread, and go along the edge and attach it to our shirt. If you wanted to make a patch out of it, you would just, you know, go on all of the sides and attach it. 
Uh, and if you wanted to make a pocket, then you just would not, you know, you just do the three sides and leave the top open, right? Now we we did it obviously on this, you know, on a shirt here, but you could do it on anything, like maybe an iPad, you know, holder, or maybe like a, a Bible cover or a, a book cover, anything that you had that you wanted to add a little pocket, maybe to put pins or something like that in, you could, you know, do that, right? Now the other thing that I like about it is that it is, thank you, Judy, um, is that is this is not permanent. So, you know, if, if you have a, an embroidery design and you stitch it directly onto this shirt, then it is pretty much permanent. I don't know anybody that would take a seam ripper and rip out, you know, thousands and thousands of stitches. If you do, then you're, you're pretty much going to ruin your shirt. The beautiful thing about this is if you get tired of this flamingo on this shirt, you, the only stitching that you've really done into your shirt is just the little, you know, again, the stitching along the edge. So you could easily take that, uh, you know, seam ripper, go along the edge, undo it, take this off and maybe put on another one. So it's, it's, it's not permanent there. So again, these come out in December um, and they are, they were called perfect pockets uh, on there. So just, just a neat little uh, kind of thing there, kind of sticking with some of the other projects that we did um, here. We did these neat little tissue holders. This says uh, tissues uh, for your issues <laughs> uh, there. And like I told the group yesterday in 2020, we have all had plenty of issues, right? So we're just ready to, to get rid of that. Uh, but these are just neat little um, you know, tissue holders here. Um, these are actually called woven tissue holders because you can see they've got kind of four little sides that look like they are just kind of woven together and tucked in there, kind of, kind of like a, a neat little basket weave. Um, this is just all fabric. Uh, but right here, it's kind of got like a, almost a little like crazy stitch uh, embroidery that you can put on there if you want. If not, you don't have to. You could just let the, you know, if you have some fun fabric, you can let it speak for itself. Um, the, you know, these are these are completed in the hoop. Very, very easy to uh, do and a really nice size there. Um, and again, this one just says, uh, bless you. We need one that says bless your heart. <laughs> uh, but that just says bless you. And again, they got fancy with some lame there. And you can see this the stitching right there. This one just says happy tears. And then there are some, uh, there's there's a lot of other ones, but then there are some that just have a really pretty embroidery uh, design on there. So again, these are just neat little things that, you know, with Christmas coming right around the corner, I don't know if about y'all, but Lord knows I did not expect Thanksgiving to be here, um, you know, much less Christmas uh, will blink and, you know, Christmas will be here. Um, another project uh, kind of that we did is called LED embroidery. So um, we always love to give ideas and, and different things with our embroidery designs. A lot of people say, you know, th those are cute designs, but you know, Taylor, what in the world am I going to do with this? So, and, and we get that, you know, there's, there's only so much that you can do. There's only so much that you can put on a shirt or, or a bag. So we, we are constantly trying to come up with different ideas um, and different things to do. So one of them for December, again, everything I'm showing here, y'all, is was released in December, um, is LED embroidery. Now, we just put this in a just a really inexpensive kind of shadow box here. There's, there's no glass or anything here. We just stitched this on some very inexpensive, um, you know, felt. And then the little moon and the, the, um, the clouds here are applique. And it's got some light stitching. Um, but then there is, again, light embroidery on here. So all of that tells you it's a, it's a quick stitch out. But you'll notice that there is holes in here. Normally, you don't want holes in your embroidery. But in this case, you do. Because what we did was went to a hobby store, got a very inexpensive uh, little like light kit and put it in there. And let me turn it on. And then you can see there's little lights uh, in there that's, that stick through. So just neat for maybe like a nursery or, or you know, anywhere in your home, just kind of some a neat little decoration. I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see. We just, again, take that there. Very easy to take that to the back and put your lights through. Um, and I'm going to show you on some other ones here kind of what they uh, look like. I'm going to turn that off because they will tan my hide if I run them batteries down. Uh, but this is another one here. We just did it again on some pink felt, but you can see that there are holes in there. Uh, and it, so we show you very easily where to, you know, put your little lights through. Um, so there's, there's one there kind of for some, you know, flickering uh, candles. I love this one here just because it is in time for Christmas. That entire tree is applique. So you can just see that would be a very quick stitch out and a neat, just, you know, a neat little gift uh, there for somebody. Or you don't have to be a gift. It can be a from me 
to me gift, right? Those are those are my favorite gifts for Christmas. Somehow I always know what I want for Christmas. <laughs> so from Taylor to Taylor gifts are, are amazing. Um, and then here's one. I really like this one, kind of a, a camping uh, scene here. So you can see these little circles is where you would put your little uh, lights through. So again, just something kind of kind of different to do uh, with your uh, embroidery. Now we also do, you know, quilting. So this is one, this is folk needlepoint quilt. Again, this one was in December as well. So we use some, some kind of folkish colors um, here. If you've never done our, any of our quilting, it's all, it's all completed in your hoop. Um, so these blocks would be completely done in your hoop. You would set each block aside. And then when you're done, just put right sides together, stitch them together, and then just back and bind that. But when you put them together, we can see here these little, um, you know, these kind of little uh, triangles, not triangles, but these little diamonds form uh, here with fabric. And so everything you're seeing here color wise is fabric and thread. And that tells you that it is all changeable. So if you look at this and say, I love that pattern, but that's just those colors don't really, you know, kind of blow up my skirt there. It's not my favorite. Um, that's OK. All of that can be changed. Now, I'm going to get a little closer. Now, these blocks come in five by five up to 10 by 10. So we, we have, you know, great sizes uh, for all different kinds of hoops uh, there, but I'm just gonna get up a little closer so you can see how beautiful of a stitch that is and how thick that is. Now you may think, okay, that's, I'm using maybe a thicker thread or, you know, maybe even like an embroidery floss, but that's not. We, what, when we want a thicker look like this, um, it's just built into the digitizing. So they would actually digitize that thread or that, that needle, I should say, in your machine to go back over itself multiple times to get that look that we you know, want. So it's not, you don't have to worry about trying to find some kind of specialized thread or anything. Um, let me just kind of show you all a little more here. So it's just really, really pretty um, here. Just very, very pretty uh, stitching and um, again, you know, playing with, with fabric and thread. And again, this is Folk Needlepoint. And this was a December uh, release, uh, some just, again, for embroidery. Uh, we've got these uh, big guys here. Again, all December, this is uh, called On the Serengeti. So these are just exactly what you kind of would expect, some animals that you would, you know, see kind of in, in Africa there. Now, this is, this big guy here, his, his color is done with applique. I'll kind of hold this up here, and you can see that that is not all embroidery, that when we, we want that realistic, you know, look like, like this guy is, um, there's not really all of that much stitching. There is, you know, stitching there, obviously, but it, it, with, the, with the color and the way that it's digitized, it gives you that, that detail and we're able to play with colors and shading to make it look realistic. As you can imagine, if all of this were uh, thread, it would be bulletproof. Like he would, you know, probably stand up and run off by himself uh, because it, it, it would be bulletproof. But this has a very nice hand. It's, it's very, very light, um, you know, here. So we, we love to kind of, you, you know, play with fabrics and the background. And then that way we can, again, our digitizers can, can really play and get creative uh, with some shading to, to give a realistic look. So again, as the name suggests, these are just some, you know, really kind of common animals that you're going to see uh, there. Um, this guy I often see at my family reunions uh, here. I'm just joking. Not really. Um, so again, but just just really pretty come in, come in different sizes there. So again, every month, as you can see, we've got, you know, quilting, we've got projects, we have uh, embroidery. Uh, speaking of, we've got uh, also for a December release, uh, we have ginger jars um, here. So I will have to be honest, I didn't know what they was uh, when I said, what in the world is ginger jars? You know, I, I didn't know I had to Google it, uh, but obviously they are decorative, um, you know, vases. Uh, here, if you want to be fancy, vases, but you know, where I'm from, it's, it's just a vase. Uh, but they are beautiful. They have applique in the background and then all of this beautiful stitching here. And of course, these flowers are included. Uh, they just kind of used uh, in some of these, some metallic uh, threads there to kind of give it some, some detail. They use some uh, gold lame there again to just really help kind of set that off. You know, I think I could probably see these in some, some pillars. Um, you know, too, for some for some decoration, also framed. Uh, I always say that's one of my favorite things to do is, is to do a quilt block or to do some of these designs and just frame them because they are beautiful uh, pieces, I think. So again, these are ginger jars. Again, a December release come in different sizes. 
uh, there. So they're very pretty. A uh, couple of more. Let me see. There's a, I really like that little, little lady there. So very, very pretty. Okay. So that is Ginger Jars and was a December release. Now, let me kind of clear this because this is also uh, something that we have gotten tons and tons of requests for. Over the years, I have been with Anita Good Design for uh, 10 years now, um, and time flies. I, I have absolutely loved it. It seems like it was about two days ago uh, when, I, when I came on board. Uh, but we have constantly, constantly, constantly gotten requests for fonts, for you know monograms, which monograms are just the same thing as a font. Monogram is just, you know, three fonts put together. Um, and so we actually are coming out with, or we have come out with, Anita's fonts. Now, there are, I think, five different ones that, that we actually created. Um, it's not something that we went out there like a Times Roman numeral or Helvecta or whatever all those other crazy ones are that are out there. And we just, you know, redid them and, and put them into an, an embroidery. We actually made our own. So they are... Um, and I am pun intended here, but they are tailor made. Uh, they are Anita made uh, five different fonts that we created um, here. So let's look at them. So most of them come in two different forms. They all come in different sizes, too. So that's great. So you can do something for, you know, kind of small or you can get something, you know, really big and impressive. I'll kind of show you all some options. But the the options that they come in. Most of them is one uh, is a bean stitch. Now, if you're not familiar with the bean stitch, I'll kind of hold that close and you can kind of see it looks like little beans kind of laid uh, on, you know, next to each other. It's probably where the name comes from. But what what that is, it's where the in the digitizing, they digitize it to go forward twice, back once, forward twice, back once so that each ply of the thread uh, gets three layers of that, okay? So there is, this is the, the, the bean stitch here. Um, you know, I, like I told the, the you know, group yesterday, this, this ain't any kind of, you know, uh, English here that none of this really makes sense uh, here. They just put this together so you could kind of get an idea of what it would look like. Uh, this is one of the fonts on it, obviously, and it kind of looks really pretty and almost like a really nice kind of cursive. Uh, there now, one of the other you know ways that it comes is in a really nice satin stitch. So again, this this writing is is I think this is English. Yeah, that's English. Uh, the words just don't make sense necessarily together. But you can see that's just really pretty. Uh, you know, a satin stitch uh, there. And again, how those you know I love how these you know connect here and just looks like that these were meant to be you know put together. And so all of these you you actually get all twenty six letters. Uh, in there, you don't have to pay for any extra letters. All of the letters are included uh, in there and numbers. And so you just simply, you know, put them together with whatever you want to say. And then it, they, they go together and just looks like they were, you know, meant to be like you're just typing it out on your you know, machine. Now, let's look at some of the other ones here. So you kind of got an idea of that. Uh, this one here, you can see how big that is. And yes, that is a true statement, y'all. You always need more fabric. Don't let anybody tell you any different, okay? You don't need that negativity in your life. <laughs> you need more fabric always, okay? Uh, but again, this is one of the fonts there. You can see how, how big that is uh, and some different things that you can uh, do with that. Um, here's just something else. We put this on a, on a napkin, and that's just really pretty. I love how the T and the H goes together there, how it's got that little, you know, that little fancy, uh, you know, um, Connector there again looks like it's kind of handwritten almost uh, there. So just really pretty. You can kind of see that sizing. All of these come in, you know, different sizes. Uh, this is one of the fonts here too. So this is a fun one because even though this is, you know, one font, you can kind of see how it's not on, you know, how it's not straight, how it kind of goes up and down. And it's it's meant to go together like that, just for, you know, kind of for some fun. Again, that's that is just another one of the fonts there. The top one is. Uh, in the uh, bean stitch. Okay. Now here's another one too. Um, here again, you can see that how, how, you know, big that is and how so much fun these can be. All right. And again, that's the one that has uh, some of the uh, satin stitching uh, in there. Okay. All right. Now you, you, th these are great and you say, okay, I could see these on, you know, so many applications and so many things, but in true and needed design, we love to say, but wait, there's more. All right. But there is more with this because what if you wanted to maybe create something special and you wanted to put it on a pillow, 
but you wanted to kind of step it up a notch and not just stitch it directly onto the pillow. So what we did was we also give you, and I don't really know the technical name, but we'll just call it maybe banners, all right? Maybe just between y'all, we'll just call these banners. How about that? So we give you something like this. This is applique, okay? So we just use a really pretty rich red applique here. Um, and so you could stitch directly onto this, maybe uh, in some like a, a metallic, maybe like Merry Christmas, um, you know, something like that. Um, you know, happy holidays, whatever you wanted to stitch on there. So we, we give you a lot of different of these kind of backgrounds that you could do something uh, like this, you know, different sizes, different shapes. Again, this is embroidery around here. This is applique on here. Uh, I told the group yesterday, you know, I could see somebody, maybe if you had a, a dress or uh, something from a, a loved one, uh, maybe like a shirt or something that you could use as the applique, um, and then write on there, you know, something meaningful and, and special that was about that person. Again, maybe turn that into a pillow or put that onto a shirt or again, something that you could frame. That would be great to maybe give as a gift uh, that would contain that special message and also, you know, a, a shirt or some fabric or something from that person. So just just some some neat ideas that I've, I've seen things out there and some things that I've, I think I you know could could use this for. Uh, but again, all of this is included, different sizes. Um, here's just a couple of more, again, really pretty with those flowers. Again, this blue applique there, there's some squares there. And here is one in this size there. Now I'm gonna show you what we did with this too. Now you, you, you see how the, you know big this is here, right? Now look at this little bitty one, all right? So what we did, again, all of this is included, y'all, is we took this and just put this on a you know rag and used the fonts included and just put face on there. So if you have those, you know, guests that come over that may not be that bright like me <laughs> and they're like, mm, I've got to see all these towels. What do I use them for? Then you say, hey, this one is for your face. All right. And then we did that one. And then this one would say, hey, this one is for your hands. It's a little bit, you know, bigger there. Now, this one, don't ask what this one would be for. I don't know. <laughs> That'll be up to y'all. I'm not going to tell you what to write right there. All right. That's between y'all and Jesus. Um, but again, all of that is included in there. OK, so just tons and tons of different things that you can uh, do with that. So, again, y'all, that is Anita's font. And that did come out in uh, December uh, in the all access. OK, now you may say, what is the all access? I appreciate y'all asking. I'm going to get into that. OK, now everything that I just showed y'all, that's not everything that come out in December but that is some of the things that did, you know, that we did come out with in December. Um, and so those are, you know, current releases. OK, now what I'm about to show you, um, I'm just going to be a little stinker and show you things that you can't get right now. These are things that we are going to be coming out with that we are working on them on our work table as we speak. Well, not as we speak, because it's Saturday uh, and I'm the only one here in the building, uh, but we are uh, working on them and we will be coming out with these, okay? So I've got a ton of stuff to show you, so I'm gonna uh, get to this. Now, again, these are things that are coming out, y'all. You can't get them right now, but I am going to tell you when I'm done showing you all this goodness, I am gonna tell you how you can get it, um, this and tons more um, at the best prices, all right? So let's get to it. So one of the things uh, that we are working on that we're gonna be coming out is a pin cushion. All right. So this is just a I think this like a, a I think we're are going to call it a five star pin cushion uh, here. And if you can see, they just have some nice, again, a bean stitch uh, design on top of it uh, there. You can just kind of see on each of those. Uh, they've just got fabric around here. Got a nice little button on the bottom there. And it is a really nice size, as you can see. And it's, it's really heavy. And it's just a nice little pin cushion. Again, if you're a member of a guild or you've got, you know, got some friends or whatever that, that you know, stitch or, or, you know, do tailoring or do anything that they, you know, use pins for, this would be a great gift for them. Also for you. All right. Now, there are different options. Uh, this one here, you can see, just has some kind of different stitching on the top. All right. I like love that little smiley face in the middle. Uh, there, cute little guy there. And then we've got, again, fabric around here and then just some fabric around the bottom. So a great way to maybe match your, you know, your, your sewing room or just use some scraps you've got around. Again, they're, they're great sizes too. And then we also have one that uh, you can just leave, you know, there's no stitching on the top of this one. 
We just have that pretty kind of floral pattern, but then your stitching is actually around here on the uh, edge. Okay, so you've got that pretty kind of bean stitching there uh, along the edge, and then the, of course the, the fabric on the bottom. All right, so those are gonna be coming out uh, there. Um, I know that every woman just about loves bags. We love bags that need a good design too. And so we are working on these here. These are just a vinyl zipper bag. But the neat thing about these is that we have uh, actually kind of, I'm gonna open this one up, is we've kind of in, this is this is the back of it here. The front of it there says, ooh la la. We just used some, some vinyl uh, there, some really shiny vinyl, and um, have that on the front of the bag. And then the back, we used, again, clear vinyl to make the entire thing. But in there, we've kind of like trapped some little uh, goodies in there. So you could go to, you know, like a, a little local store and get some tchotchkes, anything you kind of wanted to trap in there, um, kind of almost like a snow globe, right? But it's actually in the lining. It's actually not in the bag itself. So just neat little bag. Again, it's vinyl. It's you know going to hold up really well. And one of the things I like about these too, y'all, they're all done in the hoop. And it is a top zipper. So I know a lot of y'all love a top zipper bag. It just kind of makes it a, a little bit kind of nicer there. But again, there's one of them. This one says uh, the good stuff uh, here. Whatever you want to put in there can, can be the good stuff. And then you see on the back, we use some uh, gold and black uh, stuff in there. And again, it's not going to come out because it's, it's trapped in there. Okay. So that one is this one says uh, shine bright. Uh, there. And again, if you're going to be making a lot of these, you also could use your, you know, cutter at home. To, if you don't have a cutter, you need to, you know, get one, uh, you know, scan and cut or, or whatever you, you have. Uh, we, we have them here and use them and they're smoking all the time uh, because it'll, it'll cut through this vinyl. So if we were making, you know, 10 of these, you could cut that vinyl so that you could just lay it down and, and you know, make these, um, you know, without having to, to cut all of this out, your actual bag or your actual, um, the, the scanning cut would, you know, cut this out uh, for you there. All right. So again, these are just really neat. This says, you got this. Love that one there. All right. This one says, uh, best day ever. All right. So again, we just put some, some shiny stuff in there. So again, some nice um, bags there that we made out of vinyl. All right. Some other stuff we've got here. Love this one. Uh, this is uh, just, I really, really love this one. When I saw this, I said, well, this is going to have to be on my list for some, uh, some of my family for Christmas. So these are cotton blossoms. Uh, if you can kind of see that, this is all embroidery, no applique in there. So again, just all embroidery comes in different sizes, really, really pretty. And it's exactly what it is, y'all. It's just cotton kind of in, in different blooms. Again, because this is all thread, you can do this in different colors. You know, if you don't like the blue there, guess what? Just change your thread and you can have a different color flower, whatever you like. I'm gonna just show you a couple of more here. Um, this one obviously is in a vase, but it is just, you know, different cotton blossoms in different seasons and different forms uh, there. OK, so and again, you can see how really pretty size. Again, I could see this, you know, beautiful on a, a pillow, you know, for, for decorations, kind of like in a farmhouse or modern farmhouse uh, kind of thing. Tons and tons of different options there. But again, this is cotton blossoms. OK. All right. So there we go there. So that's some that we are working on. Uh, another one here uh, that we are working on. These are really unique. Have doesn't have anything like this that we've you know ever even kind of come close to kind of like an art nouveau uh, almost here but really really beautiful that some applique most of this is embroidery uh, here with these beautiful just detailed uh, women and and all of the the just great rich embroidery um, here I kind of show you some more again um, again great I think on a pillow or, or even framed uh, there okay some some applique but most of that. Uh, is embroidery. All right, got a couple of more here I'll show you. So these are just some of the things that we are working on and kind of uh, seeing when they're going to be coming out and how they are going to stitch. All right, kind of get a little close on there. One more here. All right. So again, these are uh, some some things that you can't get right now, but they will be you know coming out. We'll be working on these. A couple of things for um, quilting. Uh, we've got these here. These are just little kittens and puppies. 
um, kind of like a patchwork almost here. So they just kind of played with some some really bright fabrics, but you can see here a couple of different, uh, you know, fabrics and appliques in there uh, for these little guys uh, there. So again, just fun with some different scraps uh, of fabric uh, there. All right, I'll show you a couple of more here. Uh, and again, they just kind of went crazy with the with the fabric colors uh, there. And again, that's all, you know, pretty much fabric. So if y'all don't like that, then like I said, it's an easy change, easy change. I love to see what, you know, y'all do with, uh, with, you know, our creations when you change the thread and the fabric and make it your own. I love it. I love it. Okay. So again, that's going to be some of the quilting, uh, that they are doing another quilting. We get a lot of requests, uh, to, for different things. And one of them is kind of like mystical, like fairies and dragons and things like that. We, we have some, uh, but we don't have tons. Um, and yes, I would agree. I, I, I love those. The person before Miss Anita had the little picture of a dog. Yes, Carolyn, you, I see that. Oh, that is an adorable dog there. So cute, that face. Um, but yes, those are adorable. So there's tons more that I didn't show y'all, but those are going to be coming out. We, we have a lot of requests for, you know, for, for puppies and kittens and, and dogs and animals. So I'm excited to see what uh, that actually, you know, come to fruition and see what they do there. But this is one, this is going to be kind of like a, a fantasy uh, quilt. This is done again with a bean stitch. Um, here, see if I can get that to be still for you. So again, that's done in a heavier bean stitch so that you can kind of really see it there. And then if you can see that stippling in the background, uh, if you've never done our quilting before, that's actually built into the design. So this entire block, this, this would be one block here, would be done in your hoop. We, we, this is what we call a, a folded fabric border. Some people are in the industry, it's generally called like a flip and sew or sew and flip or flip flip so so uh but we we, we kind of call it a, a folded fabric but all of this this is a completed block that would be 100 percent done in your hoop uh you would complete all of your blocks and then just stitch them together and then back and uh bind that and you have a completed uh quilt um i've got a couple of blocks that they just have kind of put together um here so this is just a couple of more there. Again, you can kind of see the dragons and the, the fairies and the, the unicorns. And again, these also uh, come in different sizes. So they come in five by five up to 10 by 10. And you can see how when you put it together, how really pretty they are. And again, the colors they chose there kind of match that fabric with the greens and the purples um, in there. So really, really pretty. And with this and any of our other quilting, when you see that stippling, let me see which block I'm on here, y'all. When you see that stippling in the background uh, there, they, they match that thread to the fabric. So you can kind of hardly see that, but that is again, all completed in your hoop. That's not an after effect or something as, as uh, um, one, of the, um, one of our customers a long time ago at one of my events uh, called it uh, quilting by check. And I said, what in the world is that? She said, well, I piece my quilts and then I send them out with a check and somebody else quilts them for me. So I call that quilting by check. So you don't have to you don't have to quilt by check anymore. You can complete this because all of this, all of your quilting, everything is done. And then you just simply put your blocks together and then back and bind it. Um, a quick note on that, too. A lot of people always want to know how we finish our quilts or or whatnot. If you go to our website, there is tons of education there. Y'all you just our website is AnitaGoodDesign.com and you can go to Customer Center um, and then there's PDF tutorials, video tutorials. And you can go there and see tons of videos and, and different to, uh, you know, tutorials and how to's on how we do things. There's a great one under uh, video tutorials that shows you how we back and bind our quilts. It's about 10 minutes long, but it is uh, great. Uh, Cindy, do you mean my, my back or the quilt? I'm just joking. I know you mean the back. Now, this is not, <laughs> um, I can't believe y'all said that. So this is the front. Cindy asked to see the back. This is not completed, but this is what it would look like. This is, this is our back of the quilt here, all right? Now, what we would do, these blocks, again, these four blocks are all uh, done in our hoop. We have put them together uh, and I need a good design. We do half inch seam allowance. I know, you know, generally traditional quilting is a quarter of an inch. We do half an inch. And then when we put them together, uh, we take an iron and steam these seams down. 
Okay, because then what we do and also if for, for those of you that aren't familiar and again, there's tons of more information on this. I don't have you know time to, to get into it a lot here, but in each of these blocks as you're building it, there would be uh, your batting. There is batting in here. Um, and so the only thing you're hooping with our quilting is your one layer of, of just a no show mesh. All right. So we don't hoop our batting. We don't hoop our fabric. Uh, we build it as we go and we only use what we need. All right. So again, there is batting in each of these. And I say that to say once your you know, blocks are complete and you, you've got this, you know, looking like this, the next option would be to to complete it. You could put more batting and then your back fabric on here. We at a need a good design do not do that because we don't want a heavy quilt. We don't need it. We're in North Carolina and there's about two days out of the year that we would need a heavy quilt. Um, and so, again, you've already got batting in each of these um, as, as well. Uh, so what we do is we would then after this is together, we've steamed our you know, seams down and we butterflied them open. You can see how those are, are butterflied again in traditional quilting. You generally put them all to the left or to the right. We don't do that. We butterfly them open, which means we just spread them open like again, butterfly, like when you're doing kind of like a cooking and, you know, like a, a chicken breast or something. Um, and then we would just simply put a layer of fabric on the back and then we stitch in the ditch to attach it and then we bind it. OK, so that is our completed uh, quilt. Again, this is obviously not completed. This is the, the, the back of it uh, here. Um, let me grab. This is just one that would be completed on the back here. All right. So we can see how we've stitched in the ditch. Our ditch is just where our you know blocks go together. And then we have this one bound as well. OK, so. Just kind of a little quick side note there of, of, of how we do that. More information, again, on that. That video, again, is on our website, anitagooddesign.com, uh, customer center, and then video tutorials. All right. And then it's how we back and bind our quilts. And it takes you from, you know, your completed quilt blocks like this to putting them together to getting your quilt looking like this to then completing, uh, you know, having it complete. OK, so great question, Cindy. And sorry, we can't kind of can't get into more of that. But hopefully that little, you know, quick tidbit um, help there. All right. So a couple of more things and then uh, we will get moving on. Um, some other releases that we've got y'all here uh, coming out. Uh, I love these. These are really different for us, too, um, are some cherubs. Again, really great size. All of this is embroidery but just really detailed. I love how they did that, um, um, you know, shading on here. You haven't done any embroidery, Josie? Wow. Well, hopefully after this, uh, after the, the next, uh, you know, hour, uh, after Callie's done and here, then, you know, go and get on your machine and 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 have fun, have fun at it. It's, it is a lot of fun. Um, but again, this is all embroidered here. You can see just how with the shading and just have fun with colors here. Absolutely beautiful. I think, too, it would be pretty to maybe write something in here, you know, with, with Anita's fonts uh, in there, too. So th just some other things. Again, just kind of very angelic, just cherubs uh, there. There's just, you know, again, two different ones. Great for accents, you know, too. Maybe, again, I keep saying this, but just decorations and, and pillows. Um, again, different sizes, but these are really, really great. They're really big. I'll kind of get up close there so you can really see that um, detail. Enjoy your working on Escher's cats. Wow, that one is very interesting. So have fun. If you haven't seen that one, you can look at that one on our website. It's called Escher's cats. And so if you've seen, um, if you know, I think it's MC Escher that just has drawings that just confuse me all to pieces, but they are really, really neat. They're cats that are kind of all over the place, but really, really unique. But again, that is cherubs. And I'll show you this last one. This one I think is absolutely beautiful. Can y'all imagine that on a pillow? Again, these are all colors, y'all. This is just thread. So if you look at this and say, ah, that's just not my colors. Guess what? Just change them. Have fun with fabric. Okay. Or not fabric, but have fun with, with the, with the thread and change it to whatever you like. It could be all, you know, a couple of colors. You could do it tone on tone. Uh, throw in some metallics in there, go crazy with that thread. Okay. All right. And so we've got, what else have we got? Oh, last one here. I think that we uh, have time and then we'll get into the, um, the clubs really quick. These are Lord knows that we need these now. 
Uh, these are, I told the class yesterday, these uh, look like little um, kind of little jackets for rats, but they're not. <laughs> uh, these are little um, for the um, hand sanitizer bottles. This says keeping, uh, keeping it clean since COVID-19. I love, love that one. But these are just, they, these, these are completed in your hoop. Very, very quick gifts for you and for, for, again, if you've got a guild or friends or whatnot, family members um, on the back here, it just shows you, again, completed in your hoop, y'all too. You put on a little Velcro, you put your little bottle in there and there you go. You are good. Very quick and easy little gifts. Some of them, this one says keep calm and sanitize. Ain't that the gospel? Uh, this one says spread kindness, not germs. Um, and we also show you how to, if you would like to, put a ribbon on uh, and then put a, you could, so you could put that on a keychain. Now you could make that larger or, you know, if you wanted to put elastic or something else on there, you could. Uh, but we do show you how to include this little, uh, you know, ribbon or, or some kind of holder if you wanted to put it onto a keychain too. And then there are some that just have pretty little pictures uh, on there too. Okay. So you know, there's not all, you know, they're not all sayings or whatnot. So, uh, and again, Lord knows we need these for, for these, these times. And there's, there's a really pretty one there, I think for the, um, you know, patriotic. Okay. All right. So that is just some of the stuff that we are working on. I've got, you know, tons more here, uh, that we, that that's going to be coming out. Uh, but we've only got so much time. So speaking of that, I want to get into our all access uh, really quick. And then we're going to get to some giveaways and some some things that all brands is doing for just for y'all and for some discounts. So everything that I showed for December, everything that I showed that's going to be coming out, you could go to our website, you know, when it eventually is out and piece it together. Uh, but you're going to spend a lot of money when you do that. Uh, some of our collections are you know, $60, some go all the way up to 250 uh, for, you know, for one single collection, simply because of the number of designs and the work that goes into that. Um, the average month is about $450. Now that means if you were to, you know, go into a store or go to our website and buy everything that comes out in one single month, it's going to be an average of about $450. Okay. Now you can certainly do that, but why not get it at great discounts? And the way to do that is with the all access. All right. Now think of the all access kind of like a magazine subscription. I told the class yesterday that, you know, think of it. If you subscribe to, let's say, Southern Living, then every month for, for 12 months, you get a different magazine. They never repeat it. The magazine they send you in January, they don't send it to you again in July, hoping that you forget. Right. Every month it's brand new. That's the way we are at Anita Good Design. I mentioned earlier that every month it's brand new designs that we come out with. Now you get them. This is the book for December. So every month you get the printed tutorials. And I'm going to show you what's, what's, what's in here. But you get your printed tutorials for all of the designs that come out that month. You get exclusive content that's in here. And amazing, amazing, again, to, you know, tutorials, how-tos, articles. Just it, It's more like a lifestyle magazine. So there are pictures of your individual designs in here. So you know exactly what you're doing uh, there. There are, again, pictures here, step-by-step -step instructions. If you've never used our tutorials, I think they are the best in the industry um, there because, again, that's when, when I started, Steve set me down at a, at a machine and said, here is our instructions. Here's thread. Now go. <laughs> um, and I, I, I learned that way. And it's, it's super, super easy. But there's step by steps instructions with pictures. I'm very visual. And so there, there's step by steps of exactly what you're going to do. There are instructions under here telling you what you're going to do uh, for each of the you know, different uh, you know, uh, designs that are in there. In the back, another thing that I love is for each individual collection or each individual design, I should say, there are the numbered machine steps. So, you know, this one may have 10, this one may have seven, this one may have 12, but it's going to match your machine. No matter what machine you have, it is going to match your machine. All right. So no matter if you have a Janome or a brother or a baby lock or a Bernina um, or a Husqvarna, whatever you have, it is going, you know, if this one has nine steps, it, your machine is going to have nine steps and these steps are going to match in your machine. All right. So it's really, really intuitive and just really easy to follow along. And the other thing I love about this, you know, these magazines, y'all, is, again, it has exclusive content. So in here, it shows you things that you can do like this one here. 
Um, this was a previous release. This was actually a quilting collection we come out with a couple of years ago, but it says, hey, let's do a rewind and show you how to make a bench out of quilt blocks. If you don't have this one, that's okay. You can take any, any um, you know, particular quilt block that you have and we show you how to make a really nice uh, you know, bench out of here. Here's like the completed one. So it's just inspiration in every, you know, in every magazine, um, you know, here. So again, it's, it's, it's more like a, an inspirational magazine that just happens to have tutorials in there. All right. So um, really quick. So every, every month, again, it's brand new. So we only have one all access. Okay. But there is a couple of doors. I'm going to talk about three different doors to get into the all access club. All right. So it's again, a 12 month subscription. So one of them is for $1,400, all right, you get the 12 months of all access. So for the next 12 months, you would get everything that we come out with during those 12 months. Every month is brand new designs, never repeated, okay? And then we turn around and I'm going to email you a gift card for $1,400. You heard that right, you're paying $1,400, and I'm going to email you a gift card for $1,400. You're paying 14, I'm giving you a gift card for $1,400. That gift card never expires, and you can use that on our website to get all of the designs that we have previously come out with, um, you know, up to that $1,400. If there's a sale, you can take advantage of that sale price. We've been in business for about 17 years, so there's literally thousands of designs that you can get with that uh, gift card, all right? So tons of stuff that you can get with that gift card, but you're paying $1,400, and I'm going to email you a $1,400 gift card, and then again, every month, you're going to get the brand new uh, issue of All Access for the next consecutive 12 months, okay? At the end of that 12 months, it stops. We never automatically renew you. And so you could, you know, rejoin if you wanted to at the end of that 12 months. But at 12 months, it will automatically stop, all right? So that's one door. The next door to get into All Access, again, the same All Access is $999. You get 12 months of the same All Access book, okay, sent directly to you, but there's no goodies with that one, okay? So with the $1,400, you get a $1,400 gift card. With the $999, you, there, there are no goodies. You just get the 12 months of all access, okay? And then these books are sent directly to your door, okay? They, they, will, they will come to you um, every month for, for the 12 months, okay? Now, the third door, if you will, speaking of, um, is a uh, option. It is a digital option. And that means that this book will, will, you'll, you'll get this book, but not the physical book. Okay. It'll be emailed to you in a digital version, meaning you can look at this book on your computer or your iPad. You can flip through it. You can print if you want to any of the pages, but you would not get it physically. You would just get it digitally. Okay. And you would obviously get all the designs that come out that month as well. Um, and that is, that's just, we call that a digital version because you, we aren't shipping anything to you. It's all in an email and a digital version. And normally that is $7.99, but y'all, I hope you're sitting down for this. We have a special going on right now and it is only lasting until Sunday. I think it's the December the 6th for $4.99. You heard that right. The digital version is $4.99. OK, so the three doors is physical book, 1400, 12 months of all access. I'm going to email you a gift card for fourteen hundred dollars as well. So it's almost like you're robbing Peter to kind of pay Paul. Right. All right. And then you get the next 12 months of all access. The second option, the second door is nine ninety nine. You again get 12, you know, uh, 12 months of all access physical book sent to you. That one has no goodies. And then the third door is for, um, yeah, I see, I almost said $7.99. It's $4.99. Wow, I cannot believe that. It's $4.99, uh, and that is the digital version where we email you each month uh, that uh, the, the book and the designs. It'll come to you in your email, okay? Now, um, All Brands is going to um, actually pay for the home shipping. That's over a $100 value for, for the first two options, the $1,400 and the $9.99. They're going to take care of that home shipping option uh, for you. Normally, it's like I said, it's over a hundred dollar value that they are paying so that those books, if you chose one of the first two doors, 
is going to come directly to you. OK. All right. So they're taking care of that. And then the other thing, and I'm sure Callie will kind of you know, reiterate this um, here in a second, but they are also doing free financing. There is a there is a finance fee that they are taking care of. And so they are financing that. Not not many you know, dealers out there do that. Uh, just FYI. And so they are financing that for you. So that is saving you a huge, huge chunk of money there too. Okay. So y'all, uh, if you want to find out more, you can, if we, we've got some videos on our website, but do not go to our website to purchase. Okay. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. You want to go to all brands site to purchase because that is where you are going to get those savings. You're going to get free home delivery and you are going to get those, uh, that uh, free uh, financing. And Carolyn, I agree with you and that beautiful little puppy face there. Wow. That is great, great savings. Okay. Okay. So Miss Callie, back over to you. Uh, okay. All right. So okay. we have, we have about two okay. questions. I think uh, I've only noticed two. Um, Patty asked earlier while you were showing the hand sanitizer, uh, covers what size i do not know right require? off miss peggy this is the this is the size of it here um if we were to undo this i am going to say just so that i don't get myself in trouble i would just say it could be a five by seven but i just to be safe i would maybe say a six by ten just to be safe okay but i i don't know right off they are this is still in being worked on so i'm not i'm not quite sure possibly five by seven just by looking at it and like i said kind of shooting from the hill uh but i will say six by ten it a hundred percent six by ten but possibly five by seven okay um we have another question from josie she is wondering okay, what so will josie, the, the second option second the second option. door uh was a physical book as well and that one was the one for 999 dollars so there's no uh freebies with that one so the first two options, you do get the physical book. So the physical book will be shipped with a $1,400 version that you get the $1,400 gift card. And then the second option I think that you were asking about is still the, the physical book, but it's just a little bit cheaper at $999. There's just no goodies uh, with that one, but this the actual book and the designs will be shipped to your door. The third version is the one that is for $499, and that one is nothing to show up. That will be emailed to you each month. And then Shirley is wondering how you want to get that right now, Miss Shirley. So you want to get that because with that fourteen hundred, that's the only one with a gift card, and that is the one that um, that that All Brands is going to do the financing for. That's going to save you a lot of money, and then they're also taking care of that home shipping. So those two things right there are is worth doing it right now. So I think this, Callie, you can probably answer when these specials are going to end for, for all brands, right? Yeah, so these specials are going to be, um, I believe that they are going to be ending. Okay. Um, I okay. believe they're going to be ending tomorrow. So tomorrow. if you yes. want to do that, then now's the time. Yeah. Definitely hop in, hop on the website and make that happen yes. because it's a fantastic deal, um, especially yes. with the you financing and the free shipping. You got it. You got it. Those are awesome. Those are really great. So I think it's time for us to pull Ooh. for our final gift card. Uh, but this one's twenty five dollars. So let's get those comments in there. Well, I'll let y'all go for a, like another minute or so, and then we will pull our winner. So comment, give us some likes, some shares, definitely. Um, shares, sharing it only takes a few seconds. It'll definitely up your chances and it'll see, um, your friends will see it on your, uh, on your Facebook or on their Facebook feeds. So they won't miss yeah, out on these really good deals you know, because... I'm a good friend. I wouldn't want any of my friends to miss this. This is so great. This is for anybody that can go to, you know, the all brands this So if you've got a friend that can't join, um, you know, tell them, say, hey, I, I know that you love embroidery, or if you don't, you need to love it. You need to start right now and take advantage of these specials that all brands, you know, has going on. And, you know, he or she would love you forever, uh, you know, because of that. Uh, and yes, Miss Donna, on the fourteen hundred and the uh, nine ninety nine, you do get the book and you do get the designs on these uh, CD. Yes, yes, you do. 
Awesome. All right, y'all keep on going, keep on going on those comments. We will be ready to pull that name very soon, but keep going. No, 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 no. Keep no, going. No. Tell Taylor how awesome he is. Um, <laughs> oh, you were, you were cracking Josie up earlier. She was I tell you, during, the, during when I was talking, I looked and there was a lizard in this room. So if, if you hear me scream like a little girl and all of a sudden disappear, you know that that lizard is close to me. <laughs> it looks, I would swear it's as big as right. a kimono dragon. It's really not. It's about this big. But is, it, I, I keep looking around for it. So, again, if I all of a sudden disappear, you know that that dragon got me. <laughs> all right, so let's, pull, let's pull that final name. I think we, we awesome. have it. We got that. Who's going to be? Gene. Ooh, congratulations. Nice Gene, you have won a, a $25 All Brands gift card. Congratulations. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. That is so exciting. Very nice. So thank you for entering and, and commenting. Please email events at allbrands.com and give us your name, your cell phone number, and your email address so we can get that over to you. Um, oh, we had one more question, too. Sure. Oh, my goodness. Where did it go? Okay. Rochelle wanted to know, the one that costs $499.99, do you just get the CD? Um, no. For the one that's $499, you do not get the CD and you do not get the actual book. It is digital only, so we will email that to you, Rochelle. So you, on the first of every month, you will get in your email um, the designs digitally. So it'll come on a link. You'll just download them from that link, and you'll get the book in a digital form. So there's nothing to ship to you. There's no CD and no physical book with that option. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so very much for joining us today, yeah. Taylor. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been so fun. Yes. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Me and the dragon here at Anita Good Design, wherever it is. Thank you for coming <laughs> today. <laughs> All right. Well, we will hear from you hopefully again very soon. Yes. But it was good to see you. Yes. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye, Taylor. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all, we are going straight into our final dime presentation of the day. This is Hooping 101 from Eileen Roach. And hold on, I messed up. I need to share the audio so you can hear what Eileen has to say. Uh, but in the meantime, while we're watching this, give us a roll call. Tell us where you're coming Virtual from. Festival. We want to hear from you. Just at a time here's Eileen. everybody really needs to gather together and talk about fun projects like, you know, quilting with an embroidery machine or hooping or just making beautiful quilts. And of course, I wouldn't be here without our gracious host, All Brands. So a big thank you to All Brands. And we do have some special pricing. You know, there's lots of specials here at Quilt Fest, just like if we were walking the halls of the George Brown Convention Center. So uh, in a little while, you'll see a sign on the bottom of the screen will, that will direct you to a special shopping cart to take advantage of the event pricing for my class here today, which is Hooping 101. You know, several years ago, I traveled the country with my, my sister Marie Zeno, and Marie is a commercial embroiderer, and so together we taught as the Stitching Sisters, and we would teach all over the U.S. And when we did that, we learned embroiderer's biggest challenge was really hooping. So we wrote a book called Hoop It Up, and it is the Stitching Sisters Guide to Hooping. It's a 80-page book full of different ways to hoop a gazillion different things from tote bags to onesies to left chest to um, cosmetic cases, you name it. And it has 99 tips in it. It also has some tools in the back of the book that are quite helpful. They are target ruler, target ruler and centering rulers, target stickers, and an angle finder in case you don't hoop straight. So let's head over to PowerPoint and we'll take a look at um, some of the specials that are in that are available to you. So in the event pricing, it's $26.99. Normally it's a $39.99 book. So you get a really great discount. And don't forget about those 99 tips. That's a lot of tips. So we talk, you know, we address hooping on both single needle and multi-needle machines because Marie's a commercial embroiderer. So she really only worked on multi-needle machines. So if you go over to that shopping page there that's listed at the bottom of the screen, that's where you can get take advantage of these specials and add it to your cart to check out. Okay, 
first, let's talk about a couple unique hoops. We um, make a hoop that we call the hoop that comes with self-adhesive a stabilizer. And we also, of course, make magnetic hoops. I know many of you are familiar with our magnetic hoop. So in today's class, we're going to hoop with both of these products. But I'll just kind of discuss why the sticky hoop is so helpful for hard to hoop items like an embroider, uh, embroiderable stuffed animal. This is an embroider buddy. And you know, these um, blanks unzip and the pod, the belly comes out of the little stuffed animal so that you can flatten the air embroiderable area onto a sticky stabilizer and embroider uh, a message or a child's name, maybe a wedding anniversary date, something like that. Also, cosmetic cases are, you know, kind of, you really can't get them in a regular hoop. So this flat hoop provides the perfect bed for a cosmetic case. You would most certainly use your template to center your design. And then once attached to the machine, you would center the needle over the template, that crosshair, and stitch your design. Slippers are a fun gift to give someone. And what a nice combination, a pair of slippers and also a cosmetic case and in matching colors. Well, you know, one of each of the same color would be adorable. In this case, these are Velcro zipper slippers that, un, you know, unsnap and flatten out that um, fabric that goes over the foot and there you can monogram them. You could add a nice phrase like best foot forward, but that big hoop allows is a landing place for the sole of the slipper, which is, you know, what you want. You want to maintain a, and control that slipper. So it's not flopping all over the hoop. So that's a great reason to use the sticky hoop. So let's go over and take a close look at sticky hoop. When you purchase it, right now at this time, we only have two hoops that are available. We have a six by 10 for baby lock and brother. And then we also have a five by seven for baby lock and brother. And when you purchase it, you know, it's a flat hoop, of course, with the attachment that's recognized by your machine. And it comes with 25 sheets of pre-cut stabilizer that have been cut to perfectly fit this hoop. So there's no cutting involved, no preparation of stabilizer. You're just going to adhere it to the back of the um, to the back of the hoop. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. I have several here. Here's the five by seven, and uh, it also comes with rulers that you will apply to the metal frame so that you can easily see the center of your hoop. This is the protective paper that covers that sticky stabilizer and you can hear how tacky that is. And whenever I have the sticky stabilizer applied to the back of the hoop, I keep that protective paper over the entire hoop. And then that way I know that I'm not going to get any lint or pieces of fabric or anything on this sticky until I, it's time to use it. So I would remove the protective paper. And then I'll take my cosmetic case and open up that zipper. And I want to make sure that I position the flap, the, t the lid of the cosmetic case so that the zero is, the center crosshair is aligned with the zeros on my ruler. And then I know I'm centered. I put the body of the bag over to the right, keep that out of harm's way. Or I could even put it down here towards the front of the hoop because this is the way it will slide onto the machine and so the foot and needle will have to clear this area of the hoop i would probably flatten that make sure that the foot doesn't catch this lip you know there isn't half of the zipper there and so then just center that needle over the template and i'm ready to stitch i can peel that away after the stitching and then i would have a hole there and I can patch that stabilizer from the wrong side so that I don't have to replace the entire piece. But that's an easy way to do a cosmetic case. And what a great last minute gift with the holidays coming up, right? Imagine, they're so adorable. And I know they're really popular for um, brides, you know, wedding party gifts, that kind of thing. But you know what else is really great in a, a hoop like this is a unstructured hat. 
So here we have beach bound. We have a template that I've adhered to the hat centering that vertical cross line right with the seam. Now you'll notice there is no um, heavy buckram on the crown of this hat. It's just a soft structured hat, just cotton fabric, cotton twill. And I'm able to pull back that facing so that I can flatten it in the hoop. So to help with that whole procedure, we also make a product called Hoop Clip, which is literally kind of like a mini clipboard. This just opens up to um, capture the bill of a hat. But on the wrong side, there's two heavy magnets, and they snap right to the metal frame of Sticky Hoop. And so at that point, I can then lift that clip, slide the bill into position, put it down, and now take the time to work that facing, the sweatband, flat and away from the crown, and then just finger press the actual hat to that sticky stabilizer. And then at the machine, I would flatten all of this so that I can get underneath the foot and the needle, position my needle right over the center of that target, uh, that template, and then remove that and stitch the design. And then before I remove the hat from the hoop, I would take the time to position the back of the hat and embroider around that arced opening. And, I, you know, beach bound, follow me, right? That's where I'm headed to the beach. Again, I would just center my needle over that target, over the crosshair. Now I have kind of trimmed that away, but um, you, you would know how to do that. And, and then I just stitch that. And now I've done both the front and the back of the hoop in one hooping. It's so easy to do that. I love this. You know, hat, very great gift item at this time of year. They stitch up so quickly. These um, soft structured caps are available in lots of supply houses and even big box uh, stores, you'll find them. So that's an easy way to do a hat. Okay, so I'm going to now let's do, talk about another popular gift to give, and that is napkins, monogram napkin, napkins. I love to give monogram napkins as a wedding gift. Um, they're really personalized, so, but often you have to do at least six, right? Four at an absolute minimum. And if you're like me, that wedding shower is at one o'clock and maybe it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's and you don't have a gift. So I always have a stack of napkins in my embroidery studio, and I have already added the template to each of the napkins. And so I'm going to position two napkins towards the back of the hoop. And I'll do that just kind of allowing space for each of those napkin points. I take the time to position it so that I know it's going to Fit in the sewing field. And then when I attach the hoop to the machine, I'll stitch this first monogram. And then I'll move the needle over here and carefully move these portions of the napkins out of harm's way. Once these two are stitched, I then peel this back and add my third napkin. And I, since these napkins are fairly translucent, I can see the, you know, the first napkin behind it. And I know that this design will not stitch on my previously stitched napkin. And then I'll do the same for napkin number four. And then attach that to the machine and stitch uh, three and four. And after that is done, same thing for napkins five and six. And boy, is this fast work. And of course, you know, most likely you're going to use the same thread for all six napkins. If you're going to do a matching set, it's not mandatory. You could have some fun with color. But boy, you you can finish a set of six, six napkins in about 20 minutes. The monograms aren't very large, right? And, you know, because you're loading the napkins from the back of the hoop to the front, you never have to worry about the previously stitched napkins stitching, getting caught on, you know, the next napkins that you're stitching. So just take your time in placing them and then take it off the machine, rip each one away. And boy, you are, you're ready. You have your gift already. So I love those three things in, um, in our sticky hoop. 
Okay, so now let's head over and take a look at our other magnet, our other hoops that we're really known for, which is Snap Hoop Monster, right? Maybe you already have one. Maybe you've had your eye on one. Uh, maybe you're a little worried about, gee, how does that work? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how they work. We're going to hoop everything from a terry cloth towel to a t-shirt, tote bags, onesie, sweatshirt, and even a quilt, okay? So I'm going to um, clear all the worry from your uh, mind. But remember, this is the address where you can get that special event pricing. If you jump over there, you can take advantage of that special event pricing. And when you go to that page, you have to select your machine brand and then your hoop size that you are requesting, and then it will allow you to select your model. If your model's not available, then the cart will say not available, meaning that hoop size does not fit your machine. Now, if your machine, if you know your machine and you know the size of the sewing field and all the hoops that work on your machine, then you know exactly what hoop will work on your machine because these hoops are recognized by the machine and you don't have to worry about them not fitting. If, if you have a five by seven that fits your machine at home, then so will ours. Okay, so let's take a look of if you were in all brand store and you uh, went, you're shopping for the hoop, this is what you would find on the shelf. So you, let's take a look. It's going to have the brand, the size, and this LM8 is an internal item number. You know, helpful for you to know if you're ordering, but it's not that important for you to know. This pretty piece of market of uh, packaging is just a sleeve, and it only is marketing. That's it's just to tell you exactly what's inside the box. So when when you order today on that website, and we ship it to your home, we ship it in a box that does not have that sleeve. So in order to save on packaging, we just use the white box that is inside the sleeve. You will still see the uh, identifying label. It tells you the size, the item number, the brand, and it even has the compatibility on the other side of the label. It also has a little label here that says this is our eco-friendly initiative so uh, that we are eliminating that outer sleeve. So. Everything that's in the box is what you need. You don't need that outer box. It's everything that you need. So then people often ask, well, what size do they come in and what size should I buy? So I would tell you that you should purchase, if you are going to do quilting with your hoop, then you should purchase the largest hoop that will accommodate, that your machine will accommodate. So let's say you have the dream machine, then you should purchase the nine and a half by 14. If you have some other a machine that maybe doesn't have a very large sewing field and you're wondering what size of the monster hoop would be best for you, then consider what hoop you use the most now. Do you always reach for the five by seven? Then you should purchase a five by seven monster hoop. If you always reach for the four by four, then buy the four by four. Okay, so let's take a look at the hoop. It is a flat magnetic hoop with the attachment that's recognized by the machine. Comes with corrugated plastic, which we call the magnet shield. And when you purchase it, the magnetic shield is layered between the outer, the magnetic top and the metal bottom. And that just is a great way to store these hoops so that you can easily separate the top from the bottom because they're very strong. And when you place them together without any fabric in, in between and they're aligned, it's difficult to remove. Possible, but it's difficult. So when you do go to remove them without fabric, slide them apart. That's the easiest way to do it. Now, people often want to know, will these hoops hurt my machine? So let's take a look at that. Um, here's a, a pair of scissors. And when I attach that to the bottom of the magnetic top, you can see that it clearly sticks right to that magnetic surface. But then when I apply the metal bottom, I, it, won't, it won't stick onto the bottom of the metal because the magnetic shield from the top is now stopped by this metal. So you're not actually getting a magnetic force into the body of the machine. The, the metal bottom frame stops that, so you don't have to worry about that. 
And then, so that's the good test. I often do that. And now you probably want to know how to hoop. Like, let's, how will we hoop a basic terry cloth towel? So let's go ahead and get our five by seven hoop. This is a very popular size. And frankly, it's a hoop I use an awful lot. So I'm going to remove my plastic shield. And I would place my uh, tearaway stabilizer over that metal frame. And I just butt up the edge right next to the attachment. Now, you know, this is tearaway, right? So you, with a standard hoop, you're going normally, you center that stabilizer over your frame. You don't need to do that in a monster hoop. You just want to butt it up right next to the attachment. And then take a moment and take a look at your towel. And I would imagine by now you have already placed a target sticker or a template in, on the towel that will designate the center of the design you're going to put on the towel. So in order to get this nice and square in the hoop, I place my towel over that stabilizer and I fold up the border because I have a nice straight line at a border. And then I align that straight line with the inside edge of the metal frame. So you can see that edge is right down there, right? And I, I can just feel it. So I'm just lining that up. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And then I just smooth my towel and make it nice and flat. And then I take my top magnetic frame and position it in a perpendicular fashion right against the attachment. So you can see this lump here is my attachment. And I make sure with my thumb that this thumb, I can feel that, oh yeah, that's where the bottom frame is. That's the bottom edge of the bottom frame. And then I just drop that, keeping my hand out of the way. And you can see I am pretty straight, not too bad. Now, the beauty of these hoops, you can smooth and tug on that fabric and make minute adjustments right in the hoop. You know, in our standard hoops, we're not allowed to do that, right? They tell you, don't tug on the fabric, which is very good advice because you will distort the fibers when uh, the fabric has to travel over the outer ring, under the inner ring, across the sewing field, and up and over on the other side. And then when you go and tug on all those layers, going through those hills and valleys, that's when the, the fibers get distorted. On a magnetic hoop, you don't have to worry about that at all. It's just fabulous, I love it. So that's a towel, which is pretty easy. Now let's take a look at a big hoop and a, a quilting sandwich. I just wanna show you how big they come. This morning I did a class called, uh, quilt with your embroidery machine. This is so big, we can't even get it in the camera. So this is the nine and a half by 14. And um, of course, the magnetic shield most certainly in place. So I'm going to lift that and remove it. But I just want to show you how easy it is to do a quilt sandwich. We're just going to layer that quilt. And this quilt is actually already quilted, but that's okay. It, it's a good example. Just lay it right over the frame. Do the same technique where you are placing it perpendicular to the attachment and drop it. And now when I go to lift this and pull it, it's not going to come out of harm. It's not going to fall out of that hoop. It's nice and straight. I can use the marks on the ruler to align seams, right? So I want to make sure I didn't do such a good job. But if my seam was right at the eight at this end of the hoop, I would want to at the eight at the other end. And if it's not perfect, we just lift that top frame, kind of pull that fabric a little bit. And now I have the eight and an eight. I know I'm gonna have a nice straight line and I can stitch, add my quilting in a square manner. So quilting with your embroidery machine on a monster hoop is the way to go. It's so fast, so easy. And the best part about it is you don't have to remove the the hoop from the machine during the quilting process, you just lift that top frame and advance the quilt. But that's another class. <laughs> so you had to come to that this morning. Okay, so now let's move on to some tubular items. Now, tu what's a tubular item? Well, a tubular item is something that's finished. It is a, um, a t-shirt, a tote bag, or a onesie, something like that. It's a blank that's already been sewn together. 
And so we have an exciting new product called the Totally Tubular Hooping Station. This is unlike any other uh, hooping station that's out there because it is, uh, it's not over-engineered. It is just allowing you to dress the hooping station with your tubular item. And let me show you how easy that is. So here we have um, the totally tubular hooping station and it comes with uh, two boards, right? So we have two boards. We have a 13 by 13 inch board and a 13 by eight inch board. You also see a post here and two plates. So this comes apart very easily just by sliding the two parts apart. It will come apart and then you can uh, store it flat. It also comes with hoop mats. So uh, the 13 by eight fits the small board, the 13 by 13 fits the bigger board, and that gives you a non-slip surface for hooping. So the first thing we'll hoop on this, I guess, is a pair of blue jeans. And let's see how we can do, I, I'm gonna flip this around so that you get a better view, because otherwise um, I sometimes put it right in your face and then you can't see it all. So I have a pair of blue jeans here that I already have embroidered on one pocket. And now I want to add that embroidery design to the other pocket. Now I'm going to tell you a little secret and maybe it's not really a secret, but 99% of women don't use the back pocket of their blue jeans. So I would suggest that you consider <clears throat> losing the use of your pocket. In this instance, I have fusible web that I've applied to the packet be pocket between the pocket and the pant leg, fused it in place before the embroidery so that I didn't have shifting layers of fabric because you know, as that needle travels down towards the bottom of the pocket, I could get some puckers and bubbling here. So fuse that shut and then you're good to go. Or if you really have to have the use of the pocket, then remove all the stitches below the bar tacks. So all of these, remove all of that, release the pocket, and then use adhesive stabilizer to uh, adhere just the pocket. It would kind of be like a flap at that point and stitch the embroidery design. And then you could lay it back on the blue jean and top stitch it down in place. But we're going to consider losing the use of this pocket. And I'm going to locate my four by four hoop. Here we go. And um, we're going to position this so that the pant leg, um, I'm actually going to put it so that the attachment is in towards me and, and towards the body of the pant leg. And there's a good reason for this that I'll show you in a, in a moment. But now I'm just going to dress that board. So maybe we get a good look at the underneath. You can see I'm just sliding that pant leg, that whole um, back pocket area onto that metal frame. And I can feel it underneath. And then I'm just going to snap that magnetic uh, top on in position. And then I'm ready to stitch. Now, so the big key to do here now is to pull the legs wrong side out. We want to turn this garment wrong side out, all, all, both legs, even though we're only stitching one pocket, because you want to work the whole body of the quilt, I mean, not the quilt, of the pant leg up above the machine bed. So I would take the time here to pull that pant leg wrong side out so that I can nest the uh, pants around the embroidery design and around the hoop. Because underneath right now, see what's happening? The crotch is very close to, to the hoop. So without turning this pant leg wrong side out, I would get into some trouble. And then take the time to pull the pant legs around the machine table itself, you know, up on top of the table so that the pant legs aren't dragging on the, off the table and pulling the hoop and the fabric out of the hoop. Okay, so that's an easy thing to do. Let's also take a look at how we would do a, um, a ribbon, embroidered ribbon. This isn't really tubular, but that's okay. So I would use a five by seven hoop and I can, you know, hoop right on top of this non-slip slip surface, which is just wonderful. And I would take my stabilizer and place that over the hoop 
and then take the moment to place two ends of a ribbon over the stabilizer. Now this is a wired ribbon and it's going to uh, turn into a big bow around a package. And you know, it's, eventually it's going to say happy on one of the ribbon tails and birthday on the other. And so then I just position that top frame in place and now I take a moment and make sure that my ribbon is straight in the hoop. And again, I can use those marks on the hoop to ensure that my ribbon is straight. It's a nice strong grip, so you might have to lift it up a little bit. There we go, and get that situated. And, and then we're ready to stitch. I put my needle right at the center of the crosshair, do the same over here. I should have a template there, and then I'm ready to stitch that in one pass. Love that. Super easy. Okay, so now let's take a look at left chest embroidery and how we would do a logo on a man's polo. So I already have my dime logo in position and I would take a four by four hoop for this and place the shirt, I mean the bottom frame on my total, totally tubular hooping station and just dress the board. And I'm going to do it uh, at the hem first, not at the neckline, because I get a better view, or be larger opening. And now I just wanna make sure that I'm nice and square, and we'll drop that in place, and there we go. And I am ready to stitch. Now, on a single needle machine, I most certainly am gonna push these sleeves wrong side out. Same over here, push that sleeve wrong side out. Get all the pieces of it out so that you can identify the parts. And then when I'm going to the machine, I'm going to take my magnetic shield, lift it underneath the hoop and transport it. And then when I'm at the machine, I unearth that design area. And so here's my attachment on this side. So this area here will lay flat to get underneath the needle. And then all of this will just open up so that uh, I can access that design area and stitch the design. It's awesome. It's so easy to do that in that four by four hoop and the totally tubular. But what about a big hoop? Well, we just flip the board over if we're gonna use a bigger hoop, like a eight by eight. So now I flipped it over to the larger board on top, and then I take my non-slip hoop mat and put that on top, and I'm gonna get my t-shirts. We'll get one first, and I have an eight by eight hoop that I'm going to use. You know, I love this size hoop, the eight by eight. It's a great size hoop because it allows me to do a really big design on a t-shirt, and yet it's not so long that you know, I have difficulty hooping on it. So here's my attachment on the left-hand side, and I am going to slide my shirt, hem first, right over the frame. And I again, I, here's my template. I can see that design. I can feel my frame. Pull that down a little bit. I do have our fusible no-show mesh already attached to the whole design area, fused in place. And then we just place that metal frame on top, aligning the edges, top and bottom. And again, I'm gonna turn that inside out. You have to do that on a single needle machine, right? Because we don't wanna stitch it into a bib with just one layer of fabric all stitched together. So I turn that inside out. Here we go. And again, I would use that large magnetic shield just place it right underneath the hoop to transport it to the machine, and then I'm good to go. Again, here's my attachment on this side. This area gets flattened out so I can travel underneath the needle and open the design area to expose the t-shirt. Center my needle over that, and I'm ready to go. Yeah, it makes that so easy, doesn't it? You know, I've always struggled with hooping t-shirts and how do we how do we hoop them properly? I used to use an ironing board. Well, you know, okay, kind of works, but it doesn't really accommodate my hoop properly. And it has a pointy end, which is not very helpful at all. 
So now let's take a look at a, just a regular sweatshirt. Wide ribbing at the neck, wide ribbing at the bottom. No decoration at all on the front, just really plain. But on the back of the garment, it has a yoke, an identified yoke by a seam here with some top stitching. This is exactly the kind of t-shirt you often see in tour, a sweatshirt you see in tourist shops. It might have, you know, California or Mexico or Florida emblazoned across the back, or maybe, you know, San Francisco 49ers, who knows? So for this class, I printed a template of five for now, and uh, which was Nancy Zeman's classic sign off of every sewing with Nancy show. So I like that phrase. And, uh, but I, I have a tip here for you. When I print a template of lettering, I trim that template right at the baseline of the lettering. And then that way, when I position the template on the garment, I can make sure it is aligned with a design detail on the garment. In this case, the yoke. You know, on a blue jean jacket, you would also have a yoke. And even if that yoke is not perfectly symmetrical side to side. Like in this instance, here we have the seam from the shoulder to the yoke. Let's say that's four inches. And if I took the time to measure the seam on the other side of the, of the garment, maybe this is three and three quarters, or maybe it's four and a quarter. It's not exactly straight. Don't worry about that. What you want to worry about is centering it in this horizontal center of the garment and landing that lettering on that straight line because that's what the eye will use as a reference mark when the garment is worn. They're never going to know that these uh, shoulder seams are not identical. This is what's going to matter to them. So again, on this garment, I would use my eight by eight hoop and I'll put that metal frame down first and hem side first. I'll slide that over the uh oh well we have to do a design area first here i have the front and then we're just going to slide that right over and i'll make sure that i can feel my metal frame underneath and attach it i didn't do such a good job getting that square there we go now i would use this is exactly when i use the marks on my hoop to verify that i am straight in the hoop i want that yoke line to hit the zero or maybe the one, whatever it is on right or left, we want it to be the same. And we can take the time to flatten this out. Again, I would use the fusible no-show mesh on this garment to uh, stabilize the fabric so that I don't have any puckery. But this makes uh, hooping absolutely a breeze. I just love this new totally tubular hooping station. I don't know what we did before with, without it. <clears throat> We're going to hoop a couple of tote bags, but before we do that, um, we're going to flip the board over. And remember, it comes with two mats. So you always want one mat underneath because that's going to hold the board from uh, moving on your work surface. And then the other mat on top to hold your hoop in place. So since I have a, a big blue one here underneath, I'm going to just flip this over and put my uh, white hoop mat in place. There we go. And I wanna show you how to do a, a couple tote bags. So in this instance, I'm gonna do this in a multi-needle hoop, in a four by four multi-needle hoop. Now the beauty of our multi-needle hoops is it comes again with the uh, magnetic top and the metal. But these are interchangeable. So sometimes if I'm doing terry cloth towels, I'll put the magnet frame on top of the metal frame. So I'll have my terry cloth towel and stabilizer over top the metal and then put the, the magnetic top on top. But when I'm doing a tubular item, I want to do it in reverse. I'm going to do magnet side down and metal on top. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the, this is the magnetic side of the magnetic frame. And then I will take my tote bag and slide that over the totally tubular station. And I wanna center that design 
within the frame. And I have these big, bulky, not kind of a nautical looking tote bag. Aren't they, isn't that fun? And then I just place this frame on top, centering, aligning the edges. I can smooth and tug that fabric. And now when I go and lift this top frame, this will go right into the machine, allowing the body of the tote bag to go over the throat of the machine. So those of you who have a multi-needle machine, you know what I mean, that you want to have that tubular ability. And we're here, we'll do one other type of tote bag so you can get a good look at that on a multi-needle machine. And here is our khaki bag. Now let's take a look at this attractive bag. So this, on one side, it has this decorative zipper um, placket. So we're not going to embroider on that side. We could possibly put a monogram in this area, but it, this pocket's not real deep. So I probably would pass that up. On the other side, it's plain. I've added my template, although it does have... Um, a zipper pocket on the inside. So I have some options. I could try to open that and work around it, or I could zip it closed and just lose the use of the bag. It also has one of those padded dividers for like a laptop. So I have to be careful of that, that I don't hoop that all the way through. So I will place my magnetic frame magnet side up on the totally tubular device, and then I'm just going to dress that board slide it over, and then take this metal frame on top. And now I have this hooped. I can go right to the machine, and I can uh, insert the throat into the opening of the bag and stitch that very easily. I love that. I can't wait to do that bag. I just bought it the other day. Won't that look so nice with a big applique on it? I think that's going to be great. Now, I know many of us have single needle machines and we want to do tote bags too. So I'm going to take a four by four, I mean a five by five design hoop, not a design, but a hoop. And we'll separate, remove this ribbon, get that out of harm's way. And um, this time we are going to position our hoop so that the attachment is off the edge. And I'll bring this in so you can see that a little bit better. Um, so you can see the attachments off the edge. And then I will take my tote bag, and this is black, so forgive me for that. I know it's really hard to see because it sucks up all the light. And right now it's right side out. So I'm gonna take the time to turn it wrong side out. Well, no, I guess I won't do that first. First I'll hoop it. So because I'm on the totally tubular station, I can open up this tote bag, center that target sticker right over the opening of Monster Hoop, and then just snap that in place and take the time to make sure I'm centered where I want it. Make it nice and taut. Now, at the machine, I am actually going to turn this inside out all the way, completely inside out. And because it's so large, it is really a big mouth. It's about 23 inches opening. That's how big the mouth gets. I can literally attach this to the machine and lift it over the head of the machine and just allow the needle to travel in here with the bulk of the bag up over the head of the machine. So great way to do tote bags on a single needle machine. But of course, you're going to need a large opening. It's definitely going to need a large opening. Now, I didn't show this the other day, but I do want to show you that um, this, our totally tubular hooping station, is designed to do double duty as a pressing station. We have wool mats that are available as a separate purchase that fit perfectly over the board. You get a set of two. One is 8 by 13, and the other is 13 by 13. And you notice that little cutout there? Well, that is to accommodate our perfect alignment laser, which I opted to not show in today's class because lighting can be a challenge with the light. You know, in here I have bright lights because we're doing video, but normally uh, you wouldn't 
you know, in your home studio, it's not an issue to see that laser. So the laser actually can attach here. I'll just attach that right now to the station. And we just tighten that up. It has a little clamp there on the bottom. And maybe you do that side cam so that you can see how easy that goes in. And our PAL, which is our laser, just slips right into that hole. And if you want to then switch from placement, from hooping to pressing, that cutout goes right over PAL. And you can apply heat to this with um, a small iron, a large iron. It doesn't matter. You can even, it will even do triple duty at, when you are applying heat transfer vinyl. You can dress a onesie or a t-shirt right over this board and then apply your vinyl on top of that. So that laser with placement is just beautiful. See, like you don't really see it, but that's a bright um, red light. Okay, so you probably want to see how to do a onesie. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to remove, I'll just move this out of harm's way and pull away our um, <laughs> who, uh, wool mat. Okay, now I had everything out here. It was so nice. You should have seen it. It was beautiful. So now let's do a onesie. I know we all want to do a onesie. So yesterday I kind of struggled with the onesie. I had a, uh, I kind of fell asleep on the job. So we're going to place our four by four standard monster hoop with the attachment on the side. And I'm going to dress the totally tubular hooping station. And I'm centering that target sticker within the frame. I can feel the frame. I have to come over just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my monster top. And I also want to add another device of which we call the hoop guard. And the hoop guard is a flat barrier, metal barrier, that attaches to our magnetic tops. So take a look at the cross section of it. Here you can see we have a sharp right angle and we have this channel in here with a little lip. And this channel was designed to perfectly fit and attach to our monster hoops. You see it just snaps into place, the magnet holds it in place, and then I can use that to um, open the design area on a onesie. So I'm going to center that top in place and you can see i'm pretty centered i could do a better job of that but that's okay for this demonstration and now i'm going to take the time to turn this right side out so we're going to wrong side out we're going to push the sleeves in work them through now remember this is where the bulk is right this is where the attachment is and then i work that through and because i have that hoop guard in place um it's going to open up that design area and I'll be able to stitch my embroidery design with no problem at all. So I love that combination. What a powerful trio. We have the hoop guard, the monster hoop, and the totally tubular hooping station. That's awesome. I love that. So if you have any questions, just write them in the chat. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, I know we're kind of coming up on the end, so I just wanted to share with you some other products that we have on special, you know, our friends at All Brand, they're all about special pricing at Quilt Fest. So they said, well, why can we do a thread special? Why not? So $179 for 60 spools of thousand meter spools of exquisite polyester 40 weight thread, beautiful colors, beautiful colors. You're going to get a light, a medium, and darker tone of several different colors so that you could do shading and highlighting of even your most favorite colors. And you know, when I'm doing lace or quilting, I'm often winding a bobbin so that I have matching thread top and bottom. So sometimes maybe the 5,000 meter spool is a better buy for you. If you are using a multi-needle machine or you do a lot of embroidery that you also need a matching bobbin with for like lace or quilting. So that's a great special also. $179.99 for the 30 spools of 5,000 meter. And boy, if you're like just getting into uh, doing embroidery as a business, this is a great buy for you. 
going to give you your most needed colors uh, for all of your co commercial requests. So in today's uh, class, you know, everything we just did, we kind of do every week at one o'clock on Facebook Live. And I sure hope you'll come and join me over there on Thursdays. And in fact, we've had so much fun there in the year 2020. Believe it or not, that's where we were able to find some fun that in January of last year, I started a whole program of giving away a free design every month, the last Thursday of the month. And we did a whole year campaign and we called it the Dime Doors. And here they are, aren't they adorable? So January was kind of like a ski chalet. We see we have some skis propped against the wall there and a wintry wreath is attached to the door. And February saw a snowy cabin with a snowman and a Valentine's a um, mailbox. And of course, March was a nod to my Irish heritage. You'll notice the address is 317 for St. Patrick's Day, March, March 17. And April was the potting shed. That's when we all are starting to itch and want to get out in the garden and, you know, add some beauty to the landscape. So not only do you get the decorative door and the sh and the shovel against the wall, but you get those welly boots and also the wisteria that is just embellishing that whole potting shed. One of my favorites. May was when COVID really kind of hit. So we did an emergency ward door and that small sign that you see on the window is, uh, it says heroes work here. You get part of an ambulance and uh, you know, some people, put their own, they, they do their own thing. They didn't really want to do a hospital. So instead of writing the word emergency, which is included in the design, they wrote market or quilt shop. And they changed, they took off the red cross on the ambulance and took out the word ambulance and, you know, just had a blue, a, a blue stripe on a green truck. They do all kinds of fun things. So you're probably wondering, well, how can you see what other people do? Well, if you're on Facebook and you search for hashtag dime door, you'll see hundreds of doors, what people have done to create the door and put their own stamp on it. And I love that. I just love that. So June was a nod to a very popular wedding month, right? Many people get married in June. So it's a kind of a church door with a beautiful rose trellis that uh, flanks the door. And July is... Um, my favorite month of the year. And so I did a beach shack, which I just thought was so fun. We got a really cool surfboard there. That's an applique surfboard. So we saw all kinds of different surfboards in July when people were doing it. And some people didn't want to do surf shack. So they, they didn't do the, um, they didn't make it look like a lifesaver ring. They, you know, they, they put all kinds of crazy things. It's so fun. And then for all the people who enjoy fresh water, that's a lake house cabin on August. September was a little different. We went to more of a lesson on fabric manipulation and that whole tree trunk is really one fabric and it's treated differently with an extra layer of batting and um, some darkening fabric, some tool to make that door look recessed. Then Halloween and November and finally the gingerbread house for December. Now, all of these designs are still available on our website. You can see that at the bottom and they're going to be available till New Year's Eve this year. And then poof, they'll be gone. On January 7th, we'll start a whole new campaign. So I hope we'll see you over on Facebook. And uh, here's just a good example of what someone else has done in putting their own stamp. Robin Madston Rhodes, she had a pig flying over her barn. But look what else she did. She also added doors that open some animals inside. Amazing. The creation that we have enjoyed this year has been really amazing. So I hope you will join me on Facebook Live. Like our page. You'll be notified when we go live. And thank you so much for joining me today. And to all brands for being such a gracious host. Hope you enjoyed Quilt Fest 2020. Bye. All right, everybody. So that was Eileen Roche's final presentation for the 2020 Houston Virtual International Quilt Fest. So that's a mouthful. Um, but if you are still watching, 
Thank you so very much for staying tuned in with us. This has been this has been an absolutely amazing experience. I have had so much fun hanging out with all of you and just given, I don't even know, I have I have so much to say about how fantastic this was. Um, for a lot of us, I know a lot of you have been to the quilt festival in the past in person. Um, this was my first quilt festival, point blank period. Um, so this was absolutely fantastic. This was, so different than what I expected, but so good in so many ways. I have gotten to hang out with so many of you over the past couple of days. And for those of you who have been tuning in, you know, over the last three days, thank you from the bottom of my heart, me and all brands, we thank you so, so, so much. Um, but don't think that this is the end of any sort of streaming or live streams that we are going to be offering because we're, we're, we're still doing these. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, we are currently kind of doing live streams um, and we're streaming on both Facebook and YouTube still. Uh, so if you are curious about any other live demos that we may have going on outside of the Quilt Festival, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. Um, I believe we are all, um, there's All Brands Corporate on Facebook, um, but we are at All Brands 1976. So go ahead and give us a follow, give us some likes, uh, take a look at all of the stuff that we have. Um, and oh my goodness, I've got so many, so many, so many comments here. Um, wow, this has been a really great show, Kathleen. I wholeheartedly agree with you. And Elizabeth, this really has been an educational weekend. I, I feel like I've learned a lot too. And I thought I knew a lot about these products. And turns out there was a lot more to learn. Um, Thank you. And thank you, Carolyn, for tuning in. You've been here pretty much all day and, and around for the whole weekend. So thank you. And thank you, Christy. I might be exhausted, but I am happy to be hanging out here with you guys. I mean, we're, we're encroaching. We're, we're slowly approaching eight hours, but this has been this has been an absolute blast. And thank you, Thea, for tuning in on YouTube. This has been a fantastic day. And thank you, Lisa, for tuning in. So, oh, my gosh, this has been so much fun. And this warms my heart so much and our owner john do uh, he is tuning in as well thank you for watching oh my goodness this has been such a blast wow wow and thank you for tuning in larry i've been seeing you pop in and out over the last three days so thank you um and one of our educators from earlier kate quinn is here and watching thank you so much for coming on earlier kate and thank you for giving a fantastic demonstration Oh my goodness, you guys, this has been such a fantastic day. Um, we've had so many giveaways over the weekend and don't worry, a lot of these deals are not going away. Some of them are, so I need a good design. You're gonna wanna hop on those all access club deals soon. Um, those are, but the ones that are gonna be staying, we still have Eversone um, that's gonna be going on until December 31st. We still have that Brewer 10 off coupon that is gonna be going until the 31st. So you still have plenty of time to get those little stocking stuff or notions or even a big sewing machine from Eversone if that is something you are looking for for a Christmas gift. Um, this has, oh my gosh, this has just been an amazing day. Um, so again, this wraps up the 2020 Houston International Quilt Festival. Oh my goodness. Um, there have been really fantastic live demos. I've had so much fun watching them and hosting them. Um, and like I said, like I've been saying for the last couple of days, head on over to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and please take a look at all of the specials that we are running. We have so much going on. If you go to that page, you can go then shop by category. So if you really liked a specific vendor's presentation, you can just hop in there and go look at all of the deals that we are running with them. Um, and oh my goodness, uh, you guys are making me so happy in these, with these comments. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Barbara, for tuning in as well. Um, so I believe Facebook is going to kick me off of this live stream if I don't hop off in the next two minutes. But I wish I could stay here for longer and thank all of you for all of this. You are all so fantastic. Ah, wow. Um, 
So again, I, I know I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. If you've missed any of today or of the last couple days, that's okay. You can go over to our website. You can go to allbrands.com slash quiltfest and you can see all of the deals that we have been running. Um, and all of those playback videos are still up there around the top of the page. So you can scroll through them a little carousel. You can watch the mall booth playback videos. And I missed a little of the brother booth because you've been hanging out with me. You can go watch all of Barbara's videos over at the brother other booth as well. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this quilt fest. Uh, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, see what we're doing because the best is yet to come. We are still working on so much more for you guys. So thank you all so much for a lovely Saturday and hopefully I will see you all again very, very, very soon. Have a great night or day, wherever you are. This is the allbrands.com mall booth signing off. Good night.